What is up? <clears throat> a little bit later today because I just uploaded a video. But I do want to try something. I'm not going to abuse it in the playthrough. But I want to try if it really is as easy as it looks. Um, apparently there's a way now to duplicate materials so that's really easy. And I want to try that real quick. This duplet, yeah, that's what I want to attempt. So I think, as far as I know, all you do is you pause the game, drop the bow, equip the bow, and don't do that because you have to unpause, pause. Okay, I failed it there, which means I didn't pause, unpause, pause enough, uh, fast enough. I don't know how tight the timing is. Okay, they definitely changed. They all oh, the timing is different. You can't pause as quickly as you used to, so I think pressing double pause is probably better. I feel like this probably worked because it was fast. Nope. Damn. Maybe not as easy as I thought. Um, I'm gonna get some... Instead of B and pause... Yeah, I, I don't know, because if I, I'm trying B and pause, right? But then it doesn't let you pause as fast as it used to. Ah, uh, maybe. It's just different timing. It's, re it's weird. It's definitely different timing than it used to be. I try it again. Okay, that was fast, and that was with B. Didn't work. One, one more attempt. Wait, am I forgetting a step? For me, it's been, uh, it's between switching, it, it, for me, it's been switching between being consistent and being inconsistent. Hmm, I wonder if lag plays a role. Actually, probably, right? The sky is pretty laggy. Let's go somewhere, like, where it's, like, really not laggy. Like, in a shrine. Good point, actually. Yeah, the pausing is already, they slow down the pausing either way. The menus load slower, because I guess they're more intricate. But uh, lag can always be an issue. Yeah, you have to link your Twitch to Discord if you want the sub role. Again, I'm not going to abuse the glitch. I just want to see if it works. Or quote-unquote how easy it works. So this is a small shrine. Uh, there's some enemies in here and some items, but it should be fine. It's, just, it's not very laggy here. That wasn't super fast. Yeah, I think I'm still doing the inputs too slow, but it's weird because it's so different. That wasn't fast either. I guess I'm gonna stick with B and plus, unless it worked this time. Nope. Okay, I'm not forgetting a step, right? Pause. It's dropping, right? You actually have to drop it, not just... Yeah, you have to drop it. It's not just um, unequip. That was pretty quick. Feeling pretty good about this one. It worked, okay. <clears throat> but it seems like the timing is more precise than I thought. So I do a quick tutorial, even though there's already tutorials on YouTube, if you want to try this yourself, and I'm then not gonna use it again. At least for the rest of the casual playthrough. So basically, what you need is two bows and a material you want to dupe. Right? So let's say we want to dupe... What is like a good material? A, a Gleok Thunderhorn. We fuse it to the arrow. 
It's fused to the arrow right now. I pressed B once, so I can walk around with it fused, which actually looks absolutely ridiculous. Um, and what you then need to do is pause the game, drop the bow, the weapon, the arrow is fused to, equip another bow, and then unpause and pause really quick. And so far, this seems to be the hardest step. Like, there I messed it up. Thankfully, if you do mess it up, you can just try it again. You don't, like, lose your material or whatever. That was pretty quick, I think. So I dropped the bow. Uh, um, unpause, pause. And now I'm dropping the other bow. And it didn't work because it was still not fast enough. It seems not super consistent. Um, but I'm sure it'll get consistent. And they might also just patch it. But that's what I just did with the bomb floor. I want to try it until I get it one more time. Okay, so fuse to a bow. Drop this bow, equip another. That was quick. Unpause, pause. Drop the other bow. Pick them up. Didn't work anyway, though. Interesting. Very inconsistent. Huh? I feel like that was such a fast unpause, pause. You got the timing down. Are you doing with plus and B or double plus? Because... You can't go too fast, otherwise it just doesn't pause. Double plus? I see. Okay, I'll try double plus again. That was so slow. If this works, I'm very shocked. Yeah. That was also very slow. I'm pretty bad at double plus and pause. Oh. It worked. <laughs> I actually don't understand. Because... Uh, that was bad. That was like worse than when I was doing it the with the plus B thing. <clears throat> okay, I, I try one more time, but I reload. I'm not gonna get even more horns. Just to at least know how it works. They're probably gonna patch this, because this breaks the game completely. I <laughs> ripped the rocket. Yeah, indeed. See, that felt bad, but I don't even know if this is gonna work now or not. No. Hmm. Timing is critical. That felt good. And it worked. Heh! Yeah. Uh, I don't understand the consistency for this. But I'm gonna reload. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna use this quite yet. <laughs> because this is a bit game-breaking. The, the thing that makes this really game-breaking is being able to duplicate uh, large Zonite charges. And stuff like that. So you can like max out your battery or like duplicate diamonds. Like I could technically dupe two diamonds now to get the silver scale trident, which is something that I want, but I'm not gonna do that. Um, but anyway, I'm the real gameplay is gonna be to finish the shrine that I sort of activated as two more, I think. Yep. Two more, no, three more, four more, five more. I guess we start up here. And then finish up some quests and then go to Elden. Does this not work better with multi-shot bows? Has any, I'm, sh I'm sure people have tried this with multi-shot bows, right? I'm kind of curious because it technically fuses like three items to it, but that would be... No, I'm not duping the diamond. Nope, nope, nope. This is my casual playthrough. <clears throat> I'm glad to hear it. Um, I hope you're enjoying the game too, Miss Wine Rip. It's probably based on consumption. Right, but you don't consume anything. Like, the thing that happens here is that the horn is still attached to the arrow when you drop it, right? So how does... Yeah, okay, but you still only see one horn. 
attached to it, even during a multi-shot bow, so I, I think it would be the same. Mallet smash. Ah. We have to build a mallet. Huh! Ah! How did it even walk onto this? Try press try pressing up again to switch fusion. What? Oh, that's what you mean with consumption. Um because only one is uh, consumed. And it tries to give you back the ones you've consumed if you cancel it. Probably. Wait, did this log just get longer? I swear, it looked like it got longer. Oh, this is a brittle one. <laughs> I see. A brittle stick. Has anyone tried to cheese through these gates yet? This is something I do actually want to try real quick. I'm assuming they removed the, these scope clips though. Does the camera still have a selfie mode? It does. Wait, this actually might work because it kind of looks the same still but it probably doesn't it still looks kind of glitchy hmm maybe not Maybe they made the gates thicker. Imagine? Yeah, that would be a bit broken. All shrines would basically be the same. I actually wouldn't like that. Did you know duplication glitch was found? Yeah, I just did it. I'm not gonna use it in my playthrough though. Alright, let's play the game again. Um, what's going on here? Another mallet that we have to smash? Oh. The best melody you will ever see. Sounds about right. Wait, is this one too long? Nah, it's fine. Oh, because... Oh, I see. I didn't actually know that until now that the rocket... <laughs> this is so scuffed. That the rocket needs to... Um... No, I haven't beaten the game. I did finish the memories yesterday, so be aware of this. Um, but I still have two dungeons to do. Will you do a casual playthrough ever again? I want to watch you play something live, like but you are much further in the game than me. and I don't want to spoil myself or anything. Um, yes. I will actually. My um, my plan is basically um, to finish this playthrough, which will not be 100%. I will probably it will, it will still take some time. I basically only want to do what I want to do, and then I want to check out any percent a little bit, right? And then I'm going to do a 100% playthrough. Um, have I cried when the game came out? No, but I cried multiple times during playing the game. Um, <laughs> Maybe it wasn't super obvious because I, I got like teary-eyed or whatever due to some cutscenes that I thought were really powerful. 
Um, which dungeon I do second? Water Temple. So I'm going to finish this playthrough within like the next week or so. Um, doing everything that I want to do. Then I'm going to check out any percent. Um, and see if I even like it. And whenever that's done, I'm going to do a 100% playthrough. Where I actually do everything. And that's where I will make the decision. Because I'm not going to do any percent long term. It's not something I enjoy grinding. I will basically pick between all shrines and 100%. Um, I know 100% sounds absolutely ridiculous, but that's exactly why I'm interested. So, um, I do a 100% playthrough and then I'll decide what I like more. But that's not gonna be for, let's probably in June or something. Is it better even than Breath of the Wild? There's basically, you can't make a point for Breath of the Wild being a better game than this. The only thing you can say is that Breath of the Wild made this game possible. It absolutely did. But... It's basically impossible to argue that Breath of the Wild is a better game than this. At least I haven't really heard a good argument for it. While constantly thinking about the fact that this game is only possible because of Breath of the Wild. Right? Obviously. You can't make a world like this without Breath of the Wild existing. But that made this a better game. Or makes this a better game. Uh, also, I've beaten one Gliok of one type. I eventually want to beat one of each type. I know there's one here, but I feel like... Ice is probably the scariest. Um, well, I, I'll see. I fought a Thunder one. Also, if you haven't done a maze yet, I highly recommend it. I think that was the, my biggest mind blow yet. The, the Like how the mazes work? Holy shit. I only did one so far. It's similar to Mario Galaxy, I think, right? Most people will say Galaxy 2 is a better game, but of course it needed... Um, it needed Galaxy 1 to exist. Is the Gliocon the strongest fusion? I doubt it. I still... At, at one point I might ask you guys where I can find a Lionel, because I have still not seen one Lionel in 50 hours of playing this game. And I'm assuming they are pretty strong horns as well. I'm gonna explore a little bit more before I ask, so please chill. Not, don't tell me yet. But uh, if I don't find one in this stream, I will probably ask. Because <laughs> I cannot find one. I've been looking for one for like 50 hours. The Gliok Horn is 30. Uh, but what it does is pretty cool. It um, makes like an invisible electric blade. I haven't shot one with an arrow. So I don't know how that's gonna play out. Okay, I keep not reading these names. What is it? Alignment. Oh wait, this was in the art book, this thing. So we have to ascend through and then align it. Doesn't seem too tricky. The boat or, ta boat or tail whip is a unique weapon. I want to do that today, by the way. I want to rebuild Lurlin. Um, I need to find some rice. Oh, no, no, no. We need to we need to align it first and we can ascend through the whole thing. Oh. Wait. Ah, we have to align it with recall? I suppose. Chill, chill, chill. That's so sick, though. Okay, that's not the best alignment I've ever seen, but... Maybe it'll work. You see the clip of someone kick-flipping a skateboard made with fusion? I have not. You can dupe Zonai parts and materials, it's extremely easy. Yeah, I just did it. I know how it works, um, but I'm not going to use it in my playthrough. Does the Colosseum have anything relevant? Uh, I would check it out if I was you. 
How consistent is the dupe? Uh, I think you can get... I, I'm gonna explain it one more time because more people got here, but there's already clips on YouTube. Um, it is not super consistent, but it's probably because I'm bad at it. Um, so the better you get, the better it get, the easier it gets. What you have to do is you have to fuse something to your arrow on a bow, right? You can press B, then you can walk around with the material. Fuse to your arrow. Um, and then you pause the game. You drop the bow your material is fused to. And equip another bow. And then this is the hard step where you have to unpause and pause the game quickly. Which is not as easy as it used to be. Like, that was too slow. I can already tell you. The next step would be to drop the second bow that you just equipped. And if it worked, you would have two of the, you would have duped your material. I did not do it because I'm not very good at unpause pausing yet. It's kind of like menu overloading, but the pausing timing changed, which is why it's harder now. Again, I'll try it until I get it once so you can see that it actually works. Fuse the two my bow. Unequip this bow. Equip another. That was probably still too slow. It didn't feel great. Let's see. It was faster, but probably still too slow. Yep. So it didn't work either. It's weird timing. Um, that felt a little bit better, but still not good. I feel like I saw the game for too long. Oh, it still worked, though. Um, that's it. Right. Now I have three instead of two. I will leave one in the shrine because, again, I'm not using it in this playthrough. Rip Cleocon. But yeah, it works. <clears throat> yeah, uh, I wonder, um, like, I, the more I see this sort of stuff, the more I'm curious. Like, what I hate, what I really hate in speedrunning, and we got really lucky with Breath of the Wild, is I hate speedrunning on different versions. Like, there's gonna be people that will just speedrun the game on this version, right? And maybe I will do that for any percent. Um, like, I'm gonna wait to patch my game, essentially. I also have the physical copy. With the, with the physical copy, you're always safe, essentially. Um, but all of these things already, if it gets patched, maybe it somehow doesn't get patched, which would be wild, um, then I would even more consider to do glitchless runs. Because um, then at least I'm always on the most recent version. And honestly, this game glitchless also sounds pretty sick to do. But we'll see where the future goes. Did Hollow Knight and Elden Ring also um, need prior copies for good speedrunning? Uh, Elden Ring, yes. Um, Hollow Knight, I think so too, right? Yeah, yeah, any percent definitely runs on an earlier version. That is true, yeah. And it just gets confusing. I'm, I just don't, I'm just not a fan. Can you show us some glitches that easy? Your first when watching the game. I just uploaded a video um, on my channel, exclamation point YouTube, that goes on over 10 really easy tricks. Nothing as complicated as menu duping. Just really easy... Uh, basically tricks to make the game a little bit more convenient and I explain them too. So if you want to see that, that's where you'd find them. And I again missed the shrine name. What are we at? Wings of the Wind. Okay. I'm assuming you cannot fuse this orb to your shield. I've never even tried this. Nope. So the game wants me to get a wing. Right. Okay, I want to try something. I do want to try something. Okay, that's too far. I wanted to see if you can maybe like go over here. A, like recall and then grab it, but I, I'm go, I'm go, I'm, uh, I'm going ahead of myself now. Duping is the only major glitch found so far. Um, I've heard some rumors about some other broken stuff. Not sure if it's real. Um, I don't really want to get into it because it gets too spoilery. Oh. 
chill. Oh, that's not steep enough? I see. It's already better sprinting. I was I was trying to look into this. Um, I didn't find any. I heard people say stuff about ascent, um, but I haven't tried it yet. Crouch sprinting. How do you even crouch in this game like this? What is that supposed to do? Uh, no, actually, no. Let's not. Let's actually switch topics because now I'm getting distracted. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not in speedrunning mode yet. I need to remind myself of this. Okay, what do we have here? Soon, soon enough. Appreciate the offer, like I actually do. But again, I want to chill for a bit more. I've watched the memories, yeah. Okay, this one is not grabbable. How do you know which chests are grabbable? The, the, are the green ones never grabbable? Because I know some of them are. Oh. There's a much easier way. You just check? Yeah, but I feel like usually that's the sort of detail that Nintendo does, like... Usually they ta they pay attention to stuff like that. Like a small visual detail. Nice. I have no idea what the strongest, um, well, I guess the strongest construct horn is like the flux level 3 core, unless there's a level 4 flux construct. That's at least, I think, the strongest one I've come by. Is there a level 4 captain? Even I've only found a level 3 captain so far, but the flux cores definitely do more damage. What's the estimates of Koroks and Shrine in this game so far? Koroks, no idea. It's really hard for me to gauge because I haven't looked for them too much. It could just be 900. It could be less. I hope it's not more. I haven't found as many. I feel like I found like 40 or so. Um, maybe 50. Obviously, I haven't really looked for them at all. Like, it could still be 900. Um... Is it? Can it be more? I feel like it's not more actually, because there's less sky islands in the game um, than I thought. I don't think Koroks can be underground, and the surface can have around the same, I guess. So maybe 900 for shrines. It. I feel like it has to be over 120. I would be surprised if it's only 120. I can show you the material inventory by, uh, by fuse power. Yeah. Because I, I think this is like my 65th shrine and I have not properly explored the world. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if it's 150 or 200. So I'm interested to see how many there actually are. Once I get there. There is, there is an amount, yeah. Um, I haven't seen as much of the depths as I would want to, mainly because I keep getting sidetracked on the surface. There's like so many treasure chests I have to get down here. Um, so not much. That's also on the agenda. I want to do Elden and Korok Forest today. And then before I go to Gerudo, I want to do much more here. Probably follow the Koga quest line more as well. Thank you, Dave. I kept it pretty simple with this one. I'm already aware of other tricks, like, again, material duplication. I'm not using that yet. Um, but yeah, I think that's it with the shrines for now. No, there's another one. 
There's two more. Okay. And then I'm gonna do some quest cleanup and then we will head towards Elden. How much playtime do you have so far? Probably 50 hours. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, of course. I'm still in my first playthrough. I have I've only done two main story plots. Oh, well, I guess if you count the memories, three. Sifu, Sifu Mim. Mimufis. Probably down here. Mimufis. <clears throat> Uh, no, I have. Well, the only time I played off, stre off stream was today, um, because I recorded a video. But everything else is basically um, captured. Oh, another Eventide Shrine. I wonder how many. There are. I guess these are just the new tests of strength because I feel like I would have found the test of strength um, by now. Flow. I see some time bombs. <clears throat> Wait, did I just pick up? I didn't pick up a bow yet. Wait, this is actually kind of rough. Well, it's it's rough and it isn't because water is broken. <clears throat> but I would like to pick up some stuff they have. Was not able to do so. Oh wait. Wait, what is this? Oh, it's just a fuse menu. <laughs> I was like, that looked so weird. But because I quote unquote lost everything. Hey. Oh, there's my arrows. Thank you, Beer. Okay, so there's letters here. That guy was about to shoot me, so I jumped down. Okay, here we go. I love the sound they make. When they, like, see you. That's what I get. Your switch isn't telling you your playtime. Interesting. You can't take that out here. Hmm. He doesn't know. He doesn't know Pepe Love. This is actually why I want, like, imagine optimizing a shrine like this without oh. <laughs> Optimizing a shrine like this without glitches. Like, sounds so fun to me. Oh, the music in Retro Village, especially if you visited the uh, main story area there, is my favorite in the game so far. Other than activating towers. Activating towers is still number one. Mm. Again, I've been missing so many chests. I'm sure there's a chest here too. Oh, maybe not. 
Because this, yeah, so this is like a test of strength. Okay. Um, I will eventually clean those up. Dun, 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 dun. This beer is actually not bad, but it's ugly. And I've also used it quite a bit. Towers plus lightly seas? Like, how many do I have? I have all of the towers, but I have not even closed all of the light seeds. Uh, light roots. Oh, like a category. Oh, I don't know about all light roots, but all towers sounds incredibly fun. If you think about it. It was already a fun category in um, Breath of the Wild, but I think in this it might be even more fun. Yeah, well, I mean, maybe even with glitches, because for all towers, you would just use movement glitches, no, like duping or really broken stuff. Uh, I'm most interested right now in all shrines. The only thing that annoys me is that it seems like you don't need to go into the depths for all of the shrines, which it would be kind of a shame to run a big run where you don't even go down here. I've been underground, yes. Okay, I needed some Hylian rice to repair this. Oh, there's one more shrine. And then I want to go to the rest of the main finish a quest there. There's gotta be some shrine quests to go to the depths. If there is, I haven't found it yet, but maybe. This is number 65. Oh, this seems very Gerudo. Hidden metal. Okay, that was not very hidden. Now what? I go on the on the wheel. Uh, is there a gap between day one and day two? I remember day one stream was like, yeah, yeah. I split the I, I, the, the, the parts are not the days. I whenever I took like a food break, that's why I would cut the vod stitch. So they it's still the first day of part one and part two. But for example, part five is just all one stream. It just depended on if I took a eating break or not. Oh, if that's how that works. I've never tried this, but that would be so cool. Wait, I can't see up here. I, I feel like that's not the solution, unless it is because it was really clunky. But that's so cool. Wait, but I don't know what else he would do, actually. Fuse like a weapon in between them? No, I'm going to Death Mountain after I'm done with my quest cleanup. Wait, is that really what they want you to do? Because the camera is so weird. I did similar, just no recall. I forced the ball with a bounce around and fuse at the right time. Okay, okay, so you can just like swing it. That makes more sense. Yeah, true. Oh, this is a big one. I like it. Man, the recall sound doesn't... I mean, all of the sounds don't get old. They're just so sick. Uh, I do like my wing shields. What I hate is like right now I'm kind of forced to drop a weapon. 
Which this would have less. Uh, okay, sure. Um, because I don't want the chest to stay closed. I mean, the shrines are more fun, but like, holy shit. This shrine is fun, but there's s such incredible shrines. Like yesterday, I found one where you basically drive around on a car. Um, and like, <laughs> I mean, yeah, there's some like really, really fun ones. Yeah, there was there was like a combat shrine where you like GTA, you like drive over the constructs. <laughs> it's, it's wild. Okay, wait, hidden metal. Okay, so I could technically steal this metal, but then what would happen? Would the connection break? Oh, the connection doesn't even break. I see. What? I didn't attach it. Uh, I don't need to attach it, but it just fell down. And I've already seen a shrine on Twitter um, that I haven't found myself yet, which I can't wait to find. That seems like the most fun shrine to IL speedrun, which means like just speedrunning a singular shrine. I'm sure it's going to be the most popular too. Well, not sure. You should never be sure. All right, kid, I'll see you later, potentially. Interesting. So I have a lot of um, Yiga locations, but actually I should go to the stable real quick to get the pony point. It was up, Zach. Uh, of course. I, I also need to go to Terrytown. Oh my god, I still have so much to do. This is just... Which fabric am I using? Um... It's called the Zonai fabric. It's not super easy to get. Again, um, you need to just tell me straight up if you want me to give you an answer, because I'm gonna always try to keep it like vague. So what, do we have to clean up the stable or something? It's for you to potentially find it yourself. Okay, the thing is... Wait, I don't know, maybe we have to actually break the boxes? I'm just gonna steal more of them. Which fabric was I using yesterday? The one with the dragon? It was not Dinrads, no. It's one that you have to take a picture for. Ah, this looks good enough to me, huh? Edison, what do you think? Yeah, perfect. I feel like this is the sort of puzzle that makes this game also so incredible because there's almost basically no way that people did all of these signs exactly the same. Like, even with just a tiny change, there's got to be so many ways to do this. Yeah, the mashing is incredibly fast. And not just the mashing. Have you noticed how fast you can, like, uh, cook? I still need to use these sleepover tickets. <clears throat> yeah, you can, like, speed all of that up really quickly. Hmm. Looks like the stable is... Um, will we ever clean this all up? Hey, no worries. Oh, wait, someone wanted to see my inventory with fu by fuse power. That's it, basically, right now. I'm saving diamonds now. Still haven't seen a single white enemy. Um, I might have to do another dungeon or something. Yeah. 
Wait, I finally... Maybe it's time to finally use some of these time bombs. No, I'm actually not going for the Great Eagle Bow. I'm going for the Light Scale Trident. Which used to be the worst one, in my opinion. But now a powerful spear, like a baseline spear, seems really appealing. Eventually, I want the Great Eagle Bow, though. Don't get me wrong. But, yeah. How do you get these weapons anyway? You have to solve the main quest and then talk to specific people. Perfect. This is how you clean up a shrine. A stable, I mean. No. There we go. Wait, I thought they would maybe combo. Maybe it was just out of reach. Maybe we should talk to this guy first to get the quest. Property of the Stable Association. Um, good job making it in here. I mean, it's impressive that you came all this way, but the stable has been closed. It has closed its doors for good. Thanks to this extreme weather. I don't even know what's going on in Gerudo, by the way. Almost no one rides through here. We get very few visitors of any sort. Making things worse, Princess Zelda gave the order to that everyone had to stay away from our well. But we need that water, not to mention the mushrooms that grow inside it. It's only temporary. I'll help. It'll help, she said. I'll be right back to fix it, she said. <laughs> And then she completely abandoned us. Oh, sorry about that. The sadness just gets to me sometimes. Anyway, if you're looking for a place to rest, I recommend Karakara Bazaar. Just head out of here, turn west, keep going. You'll find it. It's a bit of a hike, but if you can find some transportation at the desert's entrance... Oh? Maybe sand seals? Maybe something else? Um, maybe a, a, like a desert... Sled? How do you feel about the main story so far? Um, it's good, but I have some issues with it. I'll go over those more when... Um, when I'm done. <laughs> Mushroom risotto, I'm assuming. Delicious. Hey, I cleaned up the stable. <gasps> All the junk is just gone? I wasn't sure you were up to, um, what you were up to, truth be told, but clearly it was all part of masterfully removing that junk. Mm -hmm. You saved me, thank you. I sort of let the junk pile build and build until it blocked the entrance, which was a real problem. There's still some work to be done, but thanks to you I can get out of this place. That said, given that I'm wearing the uniform and the stable still standing, would you be my final customer? Ah. Okay, welcome to Gorilla Canyon Stable. You, sir, have the honor of being very, the very uh, last guest the stable will ever have. And that dear customer deserves com uh, com com what, what do you say about commendomation? <laughs> Celebration <clears throat> in the final form of one pony point. Thanks. <laughs> Commemoration. There it is. Now then, I still have a little more junk to clear anyway, so I better get back to it. Thank you for the help. Wait, so did the quest? <gasps> Hmm, I forgot about those. The Stable Association sent us those frames a while back. Aww. They just sort of got buried under all the junk. Huh. Let me just take off that wrapping. Hmm. They're even nicer than I thought. Maybe a little art on the walls would be nice. Just so the final, the Stable's final days don't have to be so lonely. Ah. Arling, that has that empty frame caught your eye. Can I put a picture there? I was focused on cleaning up. I completely forgot about these frames the Stable Association sent me. I owe this stable a lot. After all the good years it's given me, I'd like to put up something nice so it can go out in style. You know, I heard an interesting story from a retail traveler who stopped by here once. Ah. There's this local attraction nearby, Spectacle Rock. Just check your map. This place is famous. And this traveler told me that while they were flying over Spectacle Rock, they glanced down and saw it smiling. Mm. What's better? Uh, that's what I want to frame. What could be better than sending the stable over the smile? 
It's just a shame that I can't fly to capture the view for myself, but if I had even a picture of the smiling spectacle rock, I could copy it for the frame and cheer things up in here. Okay, same for this one, or...? Ah. This is probably another one, right? There's three quests just in a single stable. How many quests is there? Turns out they sent two by mistake. Kind of ironic, given we're about to close. I think a picture of the giant sword stuck into a peak in the Gerudo Highlands is the neat goodbye to the reserves. Again, mm. it's just northwest of here, but I won't be able to go see it. I have cleaning to do. Besides, it's cold up there. Even a copied picture of the giant sword would liven up, liven up this old place. Two stables, two pictures for one stable. I wonder, is, yeah, is the stable gonna be like our base? Um, I'm not doing that now, but I wanted the pony point basically, and we have that Edison. Perfect. Okay, so the quests that I wanted to clean up. Also, why do I have a star here? Probably for the memory. I, I hate that. Like, it's so easy to forget why you put a star down somewhere. No, no, not sure what this was either. Um, I definitely know what this was. It's definitely a cherry blossom tree. Um, okay, Zora's domain. I want to fi finish the food quest. Wait, I s there's a bubble frog in here? Hmm. Haven't found that one either. There's one in here? Jesus. It's a giant sword. The geoglyph. No, I think it's... Um, the one from the first game. Because it said Gerudo Highlands, right? The one from the 8th heroine statue. There, uh, I'm assuming it's still there, the way he said it. I am having a nice day, I just started the stream. So there was a guy here that wanted to get a... Bright eyed... well, 10... Bright-eyed crabs. Who was it again? This is Frong. He wants to find his wife. Can I mark these quests? I don't even know how that works. Crabulous deal. Wait, were you able to do that before? Could you track, like, people? Oh, it's the shop owner. I feel like I've never done it in Breath of the Wild. Yeah. Like tracking down NPCs. But maybe you can. Um, general store. Yep, yep, yep. I know. Here's the crabs. <laughs> it seems you have what I need. Care to make a crab trade? Yes. Surely I'm gonna get a great oh. reward. Just gazing upon them, I can feel that umami goodness washing over the intense pain in my mouth. Uh, yeah. Yeah, oh. not bad. You know. They're not as uh, worth as much as they used to be. Is this rice? Yes. Oh. Perfect. We need that for Lurlin. Ah. So that's done. What else do I have in Zora's domain? New champion's tunic. No idea. Uh, well, I have an idea where to get it, but I don't want to go there yet. I haven't found a wife. I ha don't have the diamonds yet to make the trident. Um, haven't done this one. This is the Great Eagle Bow, and this is the Treasure and Retail. This is all for the cleanup. Also Retail. Okay. Then, in that case, let's go to Lurlin, because we can do that now. What's the difference between side quests and side adventures? I think... Not much, other than the fact that the side adventures is something that is like a developer's recommendation. Maybe there's a reward to do all of the side adventures later, but it seems like those are like the more special side quests, where the side quests, the normal ones, are just give me 10 crabs and you get a sapphire, right? Where the side adventures are like more intricate. Um, like this one, the hunt for Bubbajins has like cutscenes attached to it and gives you like real rewards. This one got, got me a big, bigger reward, like a more unique one. Um, this one was like a giant one. Right, I think it's just like the scale. I'm not sure if this is true, but like, yeah, these ones were all big ones in like Hateno. This one leads to like a ferry, and I think the side the side quests are just go here and oh, that's a shrine quest. Go here and give me, I don't know, yeah, give me bring five diamonds to get an item, yeah. 
Not sure. Not sure exactly though. This is like my understanding of it. I do have to get the travel dolt in. That's the next thing. Well, I, I have it, but I need to. I uh, can upgrade it now, I think. Whatever that means. Okay, Bolson. I think they were just standing around in the open. Or I should just track him down. Like this one, I would believe, is probably a side adventure, right? Yes. Wait, no? Yes. We're gonna start rebuilding. Right, we did this already. I have the logs and I have the rice. So can you go? I like the hustle. Um, collect logs. I have those too. Oh. Oh. Wait, I don't have those. Oh wait, oh. literally logs. Oh. I got plans for those palm, tre palm trees. Oh. 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 Wait, I literally have to bring logs. I see. I thought it's like, um, I thought it's like the wood, right? Or the chest. Oh, <laughs> that moment when you can walk during ultra hands. Well. I can use the wood for something, I'm sure. Five rupees, beautiful. Thank you for the sub, by the way. Uh, Rela scene, or Rela sign. Rela sign? I hope I didn't start it too bad. Um, so I guess uh, this is too close. Sorry, sorry. I don't know if fuse, them fused together is going to bother him. Huh? Wait just one minute, I'm guessing you want me to add this to our lock collection. Sheesh. How about a hi, how are you doing to go with it? Okay, I could have talked to him there and then he counts them. Ah, okay. That's actually good. It's weird how you have to pick up rupees with A. I haven't noticed that yet. Um, that's, uh, that's interesting. Oh. Oh. I I probably did it just like without really thinking about it, but yeah, you used to be able to just walk through them, right? Ooh, the transition. Okay. Um how big is our ultra hand range? Because I want to see if there's other convenient log locations. Oh look at these porgers. Oh, they saw me, never mind. Oh. This ocean dwelling fish comes with one root. Attitude. The compounds in its flesh elevate your competitive spirit when it's cooked, increasing your attack power. Still, I wonder if amiibos... Actually, speaking of amiibos, I'm on Porgy. Um, speaking of amiibos, I want to scan one real quick. Um, actually, I want to scan at least a Link amiibo to finally get that paraglider fabric. But what happens, and I haven't tried this yet. If you scan the Wind Waker one, does it still drop fish? Because if it does, I'm kind of sad. I'm kind of sad. Sizzlefin trouts. I guess we still use those. Um, this fish makes its home in cold water, um, giving its extra layers of fat. Giving extra layers of fat will restore all your hearts and temporarily increase your maximum hearts when used in cooking. Stealth fins still back. Consuming the bioluminescent compound that makes this fish glow in the dark will increase concentration. Dishes cooked with it will suppress noise when consumed. Do you have cards or full amiibo? I have cards, but I also have full amiibo. I'd okay, that was lucky. Um, I also have this one. Okay, that was lucky. First try, baby. Um, a boomerang said to have been used by a hero who traveled the Great Sea. So those are still back? Wait. 
I didn't that I didn't even click at first. That's that's gonna make a lot of people unhappy actually. Me included, kind of. It would be cool if they just put those items somewhere, you know. Um damn. I'm not a big fan there. Ah. What do I get rid of? I have two of those. I probably get rid of this joke weapon actually. Sorry, joke weapon. Party thing is much of the 35. Um, it's good to have you back. I hope you're enjoying your game. I finally experienced moon jump in this game yesterday and it felt like, yes, that's what it keeps saying. Like when you use moon jump in this game and go back to normal, it feels like when you jump on a trampoline in real life and then jump on the, the real ground again. That's what it feels like. I'm sure everyone else is uh, getting a similar, having a similar experience. Um, right, uh, the Link Amiibo. Uh, I've been scanning this every day and I still haven't gotten the Paraglider uh, Cloth. And I will still not get the Paraglider Cloth. Feels bad, man. One day. I got the other two first try, I think. Wait. I, at least I believe. Not safe scamming? Nah, nah. I, I don't need it that bad. I, I like the one that I'm using now more anyway, but I guess just for completion. Oh, and also, there's, isn't there, is there two different um, um, Majora's Mask Amiibos? Because I have the Majora's Mask Amiibo, um, the Fierce Deity one, but I don't think that gives you the Majora's Mask Paraglider, unless it does. Yep. I think it's the small one you need. Well, that's a nice broadsword. Okay, enough Amiibos. I need to find logs. I would assume they're probably scattered throughout the village, but maybe not. Uh, thank you, Ness. Enjoy your day. I don't think I managed to get um, anything from my Amiibo in Breath of the Wild. Yeah, it's, it can be a little bit annoying to hunt down. This boomerang is interesting, though. I haven't used boomerangs a lot uh, in this game. Or, like, ever. Can you fuse things to them and it still works that way? Like, are they still... Let me fuse one of those, actually, to make, like, a water boomerang. <laughs> Was there any water? I can't tell. Cool, though. Have you tried fusing stuff to the Master Sword yet? Yes. I have something fused to it. Um, thank you so much for the 16, Pearl, dude. Okay, logs. We're doing logs. Oh, put a flame emitter on it? Okay, I actually like that idea. Well, Rip King scale. Wait, okay, I also like this idea real quick. Well, that didn't really give me the intended result. Wait, but the rocket didn't break. It's kind of interesting. Oh shit, <laughs> wait, that's not good. Can I ask something in dungeon music in general I noticed? Uh, sure, to me it seems like they kind of made medleys of the other light motifs, right? Like the attack on Varmedo one was kind of prominently used in the Wind Temple one. And it goes beyond that, honestly. I I don't know if there's going to be an explained connection, but like all of the sages seem to have like divine beast masks on. Any cool armor sets? Um, I'll show you my favorites. This is one of my favorite combinations, actually. Um, the Zonite set with this on. I obviously like this one. 
I like this one the most without something else on. Um, the Zora armor looks even better now. Like this is the dyed version of the Zona of the Zora armor. It looks, in my opinion, even cleaner. I like the pants especially. I did. What did I do yesterday? Like this one and the the glider pants look pretty cool with the snow cool armor. I thought. Um. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but that's that's the same as it was before Pearl Dude, right? In Breath of the Wild, depending on how many terminals you do, the music changes, and that's still the same. The Hylian Hood pulled down, you have to talk to a NPC in Hateno after fulfill maybe after doing the quest? I did it after the quest, but I don't know if that's needed. Yeah, it's CC C is the NPC's name. Not sure actually I think somebody said you don't need to do the quest. So maybe you don't need to do it. That's what I remember. Okay. Wait. But that's a palm tree lock. I'm not allowed to use those. I feel like I can't find any more locks. There were like two around. Not like I've super properly explored. But... Uh, the Hateno quest was my favorite side quest so far. Quite a bit of stuff to do, but I really liked it, especially the music. Wait, this actually seems so ridiculous. I really want to try it. This weapon is ugly. Wait, no! Fuck. <laughs> At the wrong weapon equipped. Actually, this still seems funny though. Oh, it just turns into a fan. I wanted to wanted to boat over with a sail. I'll find another sail, it's okay. That duplicate did earlier is so broken and kind of easy. Yeah, it's pretty... It's relatively easy. You just gotta get good at the pause timing. Uh, does anyone know who found it, by the way? Because I just know it's a thing, but I would like to credit whoever found it when we talk about it. The... The fuse item dupe, yeah. I did, didn't know there was a weapon dupe. Like the fuse material dupe. It was Li Shen, okay, a Chinese player. Uh, you can dupe materials now. Uh, I'm not doing it in this playthrough though, but you can find tutorials for it on Twi uh, YouTube. It, it's not as efficient like IST, it, it, as far as I know, it's only one at a time, but it's still pretty broken. Yeah, beating this game without Paraglider will be a fun one. I think what I would like to attempt is beating it without abilities again. Which uh, would be weird because the map is an ability. Aware. But that's not for now. You can do any weapon bow shield once with the item prompt. And that's also possible on this version. Um, because I heard there was some... some what version exclusive 1.0 stuff? Yes, okay. <laughs> yikes, careful. This guy loves saying yikes. Whoa. Oh, every time I leave. Mm -hmm. I see. Also, I wonder actually. Oh. I do want to try something real quick. Oh. This is basically what we used to do, right? For farming wood in, uh, at the stable. What am I up to? I'm trying to rebuild Lurlin. I want to see if by warping to the same place it still respawns the logs. Or if they're like... Unique. 
Okay. It still does that. <clears throat> does auto build work? That would be interesting, yeah. I guess it would cost Zonite though, right? Okay, that's kind of broken. I don't want to waste my quote unquote waste my Zonite though. <laughs> Trading um, wood for Zonite. I mean, Zonite in general seems just insanely valuable. If there was IST for Zonite, like duplicating it really quick, you could duplicate your buildable things. You could constantly make things like my favorite item here, which is basically just a wind bomb, but on a whatever it is, on a plank. Of course this game is going to be broken. I mean, it's already shaping up that way. Ah. Mm -hmm. mm. ah. ah. Seven ah. more. Damn, I'll probably get to that point eventually where I'm getting interested to try, try ideas, but I still have quite a bit of stuff to do first. I sure wish combos were more, combo was more broken. Wait a second. Just just hang on a second, trust. Um, I think it took a little bit for combat to get really broken. And I've already seen incredible potential in some stuff. I think four or five days is not really enough to gauge the potential. Um, I'm at a point where I can beat the final boss to so explore the world and then beat it, or the other way around. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do all of the main things, main quest stuff first, um, and then clean up. Like, I'm doing whatever is fun to do, right? But I will beat the final boss before being fully done. Not only to kind of like make myself um, more immune to spoilers, but also because I want to uh, kind of have the main stuff done and then run around, finish quests, finish shrines and stuff. There's so much utility when you combine Ultra Hand with Recall. Yeah, I did it. I, I solved the shrine yesterday by throwing like a wind glider off and then recalling it back and stopping recall just in time so it's still over the air. Um, to basically make it glide, which I know you can also just spawn them mid air. But yeah, a lot of stuff to be discovered. My depths is, is pretty empty. I have probably completed. Like 15% of the depths. I um, have mostly done surface stuff. It's on the plan. Mm -hmm. On the agenda. I do have to go to the underground Colosseum. Mm. 12 now collection. Oh, Three oh, more. Oh. Okay. How much zone would I have to pay to just finish this now? 12? Do I just do it? Nah. Nah. I think I sort of taught my shrines in an unintended way. 
Understandable. Wait, okay, so I'm gonna... Put one lock in the collection and then dupe the other. Oh wait, but I won't count as a... As an auto build. Are there also like 120 shrines? I believe more. But I don't know it yet. Because I already have like 65 and I have not properly explored. I feel like there's gotta be more. Yeah, please don't tell me the amount. I don't want to hear the amount. What will be said about the any percent is that the runner probably won't get to use a lot of the Zona devices. Right. Which is why I'm already pretty sure that I, this game is too massive to just focus on any percent for me personally. I'll still try it and maybe it's really fun. But this has so much more to offer that I'm probably going to choose between all shrines and 100%. Probably at least 1 million shrines, that's right. Ah. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure you can also just Google the Shrine Mon. It's definitely out there somewhere. I'm just trying to avoid it. Mm. First thing I got to do is use those locks you collected to shore up the foundations under the buildings. So hold tight for just a bit. I'll do the foundation work and check the state of the buildings while I'm at it. I'll be back before you know it. Do we get to keep our Hateno house? No, but uh, I recommend you go there. Yeah, I think Zonite is one of the most broken resources, especially because auto build exists. But then again, that would only be really valuable for categories that do get it. Because I'm pretty sure it's optional. Um, okay, do sorry for the wait. The foundations are nice and solid. There's like no change. Now it's time to move on to repairing the buildings. What do you need now? Oh. There are five buildings that need fixing. Three of them are establishments, the inn, the restaurants, and the lucky treasure shop. And two of them are the homes, the village head's house and army's house. The repair process will depend on the building we're working on. So I'll explain once we decided where oh. we're set. Now we're getting to the real meat of the great Lurline village revival. So which building should we work on? An establishment. Mm. The shop. Oh. We're building the lucky treasure shop, are we? Wait, one house at a time. Did you ever mm. use your nader onto a weapon? I did, yes. Um, the lucky treasure shop is over there. It's a charming spot that beguiles travelers with a treasure game that rumor has it no one ever loses. Oh wait, it's this shop. It's the Gamba shop. I thought it was an actual shop this time. Mm. Uh. Was it sick? Um... It is pretty. It is pretty good. Um, I have it fused to the master sword at the moment. Um, hopefully, Bolson makes himself an umbrella. Poor guy. I agree. Okay, I'm still gonna fix this one. What do you need me to do, Bolson? Once upon a time, a palm tree grew up through the building's second story roof. Everyone loved this one. Everyone's favorite Korok seed. Um, it used to be a bit of a landmark because of that. But now, well, the damage is worse than I thought. There has to be a central pillar. It's a crucial support for a building. I already used the locks you collected to shore up the foundation. Ah. Look at that house over there. What I'm thinking is we'll use a lock from a palm tree as a central pillar for the lucky treasure shop. But this building is big, so rather than connect the roof and floor, the palm tree lock would go in the plant pot on the second floor and through the hole in the roof. Oh. It's easy enough to get a palm tree lock from the palm trees growing around here. But how are we going to get the lock into the plant pot and through the hole in the roof? It's quite a conundrum, isn't it? So what do you even do, Bolts? This is just me.
This is indeed a good game, yep. Wait, the plant pot. So into this in this thing he wants it. Oh, that's not good enough for you, Bolson. I see. It is kind of hard to do. Eh. Wait, is that not good enough? Oh, what the lock is okay. There we go. It's perfect. I couldn't have found a better pillar to hold this place up myself. I uh, just leave the rest to me. I'm on it. Okay, if that's all we got to do for this, that's actually not bad. How does gear grading work? Is it the same then more or roughly the same? I've only upgraded a single piece of gear because I've only um, gotten one ferry yet. So I can't really tell uh, that yet. Okay, he's still the same. Very hard at work. It is perfecto. It's the biggest building in this village, so returning it to its former glory wasn't easy, but the owner is gonna love it. Whoa, what exactly is going on here? I was sure the monsters had done my shop in. I heard the pirates were gone and came running. I can't believe I can open my shop again. I never thought this day would come. Ah. My place means everything to me, my old man. Rest his soul left it to me. Here, please, have, uh, I have to thank you. Take this. Five bomb flowers. <laughs> Woo! Um, I picked several of them while I was hiding out. I was planning to throw them at the pirates. But there's no need for that now. Because of you, the lucky treasure shop is back in <laughs> business. In fact, you don't even need rupees. You can be broke and still come on in and try your luck? Doors are open starting now. Is it going to work differently? Wait, I can g gamble for free? Oh. Hey, hey, this is no time for resting on laurels. There's work to do and it ain't doing itself. Look, we're beasts of construction. We'll have this village put back together in no time. Okay, looks like you still win rupees, but is it just free now? <laughs> You're him, aren't you? The kid who sent the pirates packing. The kid who rebuilt this, uh, the village, including this humble establishment. I'd given up, you know. I thought this town was history. Glad you proved me wrong. Ooh. But enough sappy stuff. This is the treasure, the lucky treasure shop where I run what you call a game of luck. Pick any of them and open it. Don't be shy. Middle. Uh, great. Uh, do we know what the checkmark in the caves means? I think it means that you have found the cave's bubble frock. Ooh. Come here, kid. Let's see it. Green, okay. So that means... Oh! So it's not the value, it's color-based. That'll net you the price on the left. <laughs> Take it, thief. I don't know what that ah. is. You must be pretty happy scoring that price for free. If you like it, deliver to your place of residence to bed. I don't do that. Also, I'll take that rupee back. <laughs> it's not for you to keep. So that's the game. Pick a chest and win a prize. All upside. There's no catch. I have to cap how much you play or I'd go bankrupt. Uh, wouldn't want to shut me down right after you've been back in business, would you? Come back later if you want another round. So maybe every day. What is this? An electric Lizalfos horn? A, that's kind of cool. A horn charged with as much electricity as a bolt of lightning. Cook it with a critter to make an elixir. It will discharge electricity when stimulated. Oh, what is this? Oh, maybe a blue Hinox horn? I don't know if I found one. I think I've only found a red and black one. Hmm, interesting. What's the plan today? I'm finishing up some quests right now and then I'm heading to Elden. Um, for the third, presumably, temple. So, that's kind of cool. That Lizalfo sound. Let's fuse that to a boat ore. Wait, that analytically looks kind of cool. <laughs> oh. 
So, boats, next up. What's next? Can we just do the next house? Um, how about we do... A restaurant. It's over there. Azure Bay is known for its incredible cuisine. Let's go. So, I guess we just need to use Ultrain to rebuild at this point, which is good. Then I can actually finish this up. Oh. Yep. Uh, and there's already ways to duplicate materials and weapons now that I didn't even include in my video today. Um, because they might get patched. So if we can place a log from a palm tree through the holes in the roof and floor, like I mentioned, that should do it. Oh. When you pick a palm tree log, just make sure it's a straight one. Okay, that makes sense. You, me, Pa, let's return these places to the former glory. Okay, that's like easier. Wait, did he say to remove the shrine of light, shrine of light nearby? I already have that one, so there's another one. I didn't even... Wait, is it inside the well? I only came here to clean up the boko. No. But it's probably in some cave. I don't know what to eat, so I'll let you all decide. Noodles or rice? Ooh, it really depends on what you are having with them. Fisherman's shield. Often carried by fishermen, so it's a fish... For, fi for its fish design, which represents hope for a great catch. Slight wooden construction makes it convenient to take on a boat. Okay. Oh, it's probably all the way up there. To avoid a patch of digital version, just don't update when it prompts right. That is right, because you cannot down patch on digital. At least not as easy or without like breaking your switch or something like that. Um, with digital, uh, with uh, physical, it's different. You can always return to the original version that way. But uh, yeah, which is I mean, it's going to lead to all sorts of discussion if they do patch it, which I'm already not looking forward to. But yeah, uh, I, I choose rice more often personally. But again, I feel like it really depends on what you. Combine it with. Okay, this one's pretty even, right? Did he say to break the locks? I'm just breaking them. I'm sorry, Hudson. Hudson. I don't know if I have enough height. I might have to walk up on... ...these things again. It sometimes is scary when you turn something around like that. It's like I'm scared of hitting Link. There we go. Some Chinese style dish. Ooh. I think I still choose rice most of the time. I feel like it's more like filling for me, I don't know. Do you have any idea where I can get diamonds? I found like three or four so far, but they can definitely still drop from rare ore deposits. So if you really want them, you can find a rare ore deposit and save scum. So once you find one, you can save before you break it and then break it until you get a diamond. You know what I mean? Rare ore deposits are the norm normal ore deposits with like yellow spots. What a quest indeed. Get a lot of my handiwork. Talk about a perfect restoration job. The old building skills are still sharp as nails, baby. 
There's Sebasto, the owner. I remember this dude. Oh, yeah, this is what used to be the quest with the uh, the paella. And to clear, clear out the monster camp. Look, Zuta house, it's all better too. I just came to check on my restaurant and my house. I was so worried about them. Was it you? Did you fix them? Please, I want you to have this. Really? Surely we're gonna get a massive reward. We're gonna get a Lurlin outfit, finally. This game has to have a Lurlin outfit. And we're gonna have we're gonna get it and restore the village. Copium. Copium. I was trying to find one to dupe them. <laughs> yeah, okay, fair. Um I if I, if this was I would do it, honestly. But I want I wanna keep it super casual for this playthrough. But duping diamonds casually is probably the easiest thing to do because you can make all of the champion weapons, so that's pretty sick. Um, I still won't do it myself. Hey, hey, this is no time for resting on laurels. There's work to do and it ain't doing itself. Look, you and me were beasts of construction. We'll have this village put together in no time. Right, um, am I... Can I, like, order? Like, can I buy food, you know? Or is it just... Do I just say it's a restaurant? Because last time, this just had a quest. Okay, I know. Never mind. They also don't have quests for me now, right? It doesn't look that way. Maybe later, what happens here? Welcome to Azerbaijan, the, the, the village premiere and only restaurant. Wait, I owe you in Bolton a lot for rebuilding our house and fixing up my restaurant. So please enjoy the special menu I whipped up. Aww. Care to try our special day? F 46 rupees, sure. Seafood paella for 46 rupees? I just got scammed. I, I just built your house and I you scammed me. No fisherman's birthday bash would be complete without this top shelf seafood dish. I just got... Okay, sure. Great. Uh, next up. Yeah, I found that gloom teller yesterday too. Really, really scary. Um, this is my first big job in a while and I admit I'm absolutely thrilled to getting back at it. At it. So let's build the last establishment, which is the inn. Ah. It's known far and wide for its salt spa. They use herbs and whatnot to soothe travelers sore and very muscles. Mm. Let's move over to the inn. Let's go. <laughs> what have we done today? Um, shrines cleanup. I'm now oh. doing quest cleanup. Then I'm heading to Elden. All right, here we are. Mm. As you can see, the frame and the central pillar managed to hold up just fine. But if you look inside, you'll see there's a puddle of rainwater. Getting rid of the water won't be difficult, but the junk in there is a hazard and will make it impossible for me to work. Oh. I don't want to damage the framing, framing since we're lucky it's intact, but I'm not sure how to get rid of that debris. It won't be easy, but I think we're gonna have to pull it out piece by piece from above. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> that was a nice frame I paused on. Link literally essentially turning into a construction like crane. Will that work? Or do these ones count too? Is that not fine? I think it's empty. Wait, did these other locks count and I just didn't have range? You got the diamond, you're gonna be rich? Yep. Enjoy. Or oh, is this one not like, removed far enough because it's still in the surrounding area? Hey. Wait, let me read this again. Maybe I'm... Move the debris in there. What other debris is left? Like, it looks like there's two locks there. But I can't pick them up, so the only thing I can think of is that these are still too close to the boat. No? I don't think there is debris. 
Does the dupe glitch only work by one each time? It's quite slow then. If so, yeah, I think so for now. Still really powerful if you do it with like diamonds, but I think for now it's only one at a time. Which doesn't make it completely broken, but still basically completely broken. <laughs> well, not IST level of broken, right? But it's a start. Okay, I'm pretty confused. I think the debris is empty. I don't know if he wants me to destroy the ward, sir. Uh, not destroy, obviously, but like... Maybe he wants you to break the door now? Chat idea time? Not quite, not quite. Um, only one more. Let me try one more thing. Remove the debris in there. Believe it or not, I think we gotta pull it each and every piece of junk from the um off there from above. Once all the junk is done, gonna start rebuilding. Okay, let me try removing these um a little bit more, and then I'm willing to take your ideas. <clears throat> Can I recall the locks upwards? I'll try. You can! But that doesn't even make sense. Unless you can't. Okay, even if you can't, though, that means that I can grab them and I'm just out of range. Because they're not moving. So I need to be able to grab them, but I'm not. But I can't stand on here. But I'm like as close as it gets. No? I'm probably over. Like, either I'm missing something obvious or I'm. overthinking. Yeah, I was gonna say Ice Block was my next idea. Or like, yeah, like Ice Platform. Which would be kind of. Crazy in my opinion. Because I don't think I've been okay, it does work. I don't think I've been taught the ice um thing anywhere yet. In the game, so they just expect you to you know it by this time at this time. Okay, wait, now I have to remove the ice. Interesting. Sand on the wood in the water. And then pick- th that's what I tried, but it, it's too deep. Link was just swimming. I don't think they do this simply one way to do it, but what is- is there another one? I'm curious now. Oh, I could have used the planks that were in there to get them out. Interesting. I see. Yeah, I unintentionally learned the, the ice plank thing too. Restored it to its former glory, some of my finest work. Right. Who's... Oh. Jessica. The owner. Ma. You two rebuilt it, didn't you? I was hiding out in the Gerudo region in the southwest, but it's just sand, as far as the eye can see. Missed the ocean so much, I had to come back, and then I found this. I'm stunned. Oh. So when cooked into a dish, it proves... Okay, cool. Five volt fruit from the desert. <laughs> I brought this back as a little treat for everyone. Please come on by and enjoy our famous salt spa. Soon enough. Oh. I will do so. Um, we gotta build two more houses, I know. Am I sleeping here for free now? I have to thank you for what you did. Without my inn, I'd have no way to make a living. And indeed, the whole village benefits from the customers I draw here. So I saw from the bottom of my heart. Oh. Sorry, I spent some time as a refugee in the Gerudo region, so I picked up some of the local oh. language. Thank you for coming. Now then, my special salt spa will soothe your body and soul. Oh. But I will still charge you for it. Omega lul. Oh. Okay. Mm. The music is always nice, yeah. The village's head house or the army's house? Okay, let's start with the head house. Oh. Um, 
what are all the diamonds for? Uh, I'm not sure if you're asking me because I'm not making diamonds. Somebody in chat is, and I'm assuming they're making them for money and to uh, get the champion weapons. How about we head over there so I can explain what we need to do to fix it up again? Okay. Oh. So charge me is pretty pretty rough. Here we are. We have to remove the box and then place a log from roof to floor again. All right. Why is that guy sneaking like that? He's kind of freaking me out. Actually. That's so funny. Great game. Um, Numa. You want to hear something pathetic? During the whole pirate raid, I was holed up in my house. I saw you. After the evacuation, I'd snuck back to grab a change of clothes. But before I knew it, there were pirates outside. So I had no choice but to hunker down and pray. They didn't find me. If it wasn't for you. I would have been demolished. You saved my life. You helped me come to an important realization. An outfit isn't worth risking your life for, no matter how good it makes your legs look. Oh, I, I, I got... For a second, I thought I was going to get an outfit. My biggest wish in um, Breath of the Wild was to get an outfit in Lurlin, and it didn't happen. So I really hoped to get one in this game. Not sure if this will end up happening, though. Here you go. Have I scanned any amiibo? Yes, I've already seen that the fish amiibos are back. The spadge. I'm pretty sure attack up is still valuable. <clears throat> I wonder if they can give more fish now though. I haven't tested that yet. All done. How's the game going for you? Um, it's a 10 out of 10, mm -hmm. shaping up to be my favorite game of all time. I've already played it for 50 hours, so pretty good. It's all done. From here on out, I'll have a comfy place to sleep at night. Wait. Ah. Oh, I thought I heard the sound of hammering coming from the house. Wait, did he want to try to take it over? It's exactly how it was before. Ah. Luckily, the house main building went undamaged, but the detached hut where Bolson is staying was destroyed. I was so worried about finding a place for him to sleep, but not anymore. Mm. Sorry, you had to go to the trouble fixing up our house. Here, I'd like to give you something for the repairs. Three armored porgies. These guys are so generous. It's the tastiest fish you can catch around here. Grill it, stew it, whatever you like. It's always delicious. There was a picture from Princess Zelda on display in the detached hut. Quick, let's make sure it's not damaged. Hmm? What? Oh, she took that one? Cute! This badge. Um, no matter how much debris I dug th through, I couldn't find the precious painting. Honestly, I lost hope it would ever be recovered. But Bolson told me that thanks to you, it was in the perfect condition. Nah, I can't read this. I'm still scarred. Um, anyway, let's build the last house. I first time here, saw your tip video. Nice. Hopefully you learned something new. Amis house is in there. Alright, last house to build. Let's go. Has anyone found any new glitches in this game? Yes. You can duplicate weapons and oh. materials pretty easily now. And there's some movement tech already. Mm -hmm. The central pillar is broken, so we have to repair it. Piece of lock. Okay. Oh. Same thing, essentially. Is this one fine? I think so. Sorry. Wait, was there something about a plank? Did I just skip something? Okay. Mm -hmm. 
There's no way I wasn't able to lift that up. It's annoying that you can't look up during this. I don't know why they did that. Probably for reasons. I'm sure. Kind of turns your camera even. Nice. Sometimes rotating gets you to your results. Boom. There's the last one. Now, I'm sure this was worth it. Is it like a Terrytown side quest? Um, kind of, in a way, but Terrytown is still a thing, so I wonder what's happening there. I agree. I, I, know, I don't know how that would have been possible, but a third rotation. I'm missing a third rotation axis too, a lot of the times. Like, I don't know if it was going to be possible, but I definitely um, feel that. Uh, behold, what you see before you is the work of a true craftsman. <clears throat> you really fixed it. Thank you. I can finally get back to making a living. I'm really sorry it wasn't any help. Please take this as a kind of apology. 50 bucks, I'll take those. Even though you just ruined my uh, 404 rupee count. He's gonna go fishing again. You know, I don't need very many fish to feed myself, so I share the extra I catch with other folks. With me? <laughs> I usually save them for the people here in the village, but I really owe you for fixing my house. If I have extras to share, I'll put them in front of my house. Please take whatever you need. I, there's weapons there right now. Is, is, this, is this a swordfish? <laughs> hmm. Bolson, is it true? You bet it is. Every last building in the village is as good as new. Incredible. How can I ever thank you? And to think you restored the village so quickly. A feast is most certainly in order tonight. Oh, a big feast? Did you hear that? A feast? He said a feast is in order. Oh dear, you think I should change my outfit? Is he gonna change his outfit for the first time ever? Nice, Norm. That's cute. It's a harp, right? Harp version of Lernan. The day the pirates attacked and overran the village, I was desperate to get everyone to safety. Before I knew it, that's actually really pretty. The learning theme was already good, but... I, I really like this. Every time so far I've done like a big quest in the village, they give you like a new soundtrack, like a celebratory one, like a cute one. Very nice. Before I knew it, our beloved home was gone. After everyone fled, the only sound coming from Lurland Village was the sound of monsters. I never thought, never dared dream. I'd live to see the day we could all laugh together again like this. Why so happy, man? This moment right now, it's all thanks to you. We've worked quite hard for this. I want to get a good reward. We've like killed the pirates, built the houses. Of course, I'm extremely grateful to Bolson as well. No, no, there is no need to thank me. After all, when I first drifted into this village, you all welcomed me with open arms, didn't you? The work I did here, it's just my way of paying back your kindness, I think. Bolson, thank you. This village owes you a debt. In fact, I think it's safe to say that you are this village's savior. Now, I talked about uh, this with the rest of the folks around here. And we do not have enough money or treasure to repay you for saving our home. But the treasure we do have, well, it's this village and everyone in it. So from now on, we'll do everything we can do to share our hospitality with you. Oh it's the friends we made along the way. For the villager saver, I'll provide a bed for free anytime. Okay. Oh. Uh, you can also welcome to... You're also to welcome to, e um, to eat at the restaurant as much as you like, free of charge. What? That's actually kind of good. I just paid 40 bucks, so I actually got scammed. 
Um, you get to play the treasure chest game every once in a while for free. Okay. Please feel free to take anything you find in this village. Oh, I'm awash in emotions. I can't hold back anymore. Zuta, Kinov. Look lively. It's time for the... It's time for the dance. We got the perfect setting too. The Lurlin Revival Dance. Let's see it, Bolson. <laughs> Beautiful stuff. Uh, hey Lim, are you a full-time streamer? Yes, currently yes. London Village Restoration Project. So how does it work? We finished it. We have free access to all of the village's facilities. Still no armor. Madge. Um, but can I just walk up? Uh, can I just walk up to the restaurant now and get free food? Like as much as I want? Or what? Only once a day. Sorry, I'm sold out for the day. I need to sort out a new menu, so please give me some time. So I paid money and I can't get my free dish. Wow. Thanks, game. At least I finished the quest. Anyway. So I think... Oh, the tech lab. Really quick. To see if I can update the travel medallion and then it's Elden time. To see what they are o uh, doing over there. Because I think Robbie wanted to see. Always a good sight to behold. <laughs> Let's make it truly great. Um, travel medallion. What? You've done- you've got the data? Hurry up and let me see the Pura pet. I hope you too, Dele. Enjoy your time. Um, now give me just a moment. This mysterious tool was built. Um, can I just re register another location? Unbelievable that I fully upgraded the travel medallion. Consider it a great honor awarded to you for your extensive travels. Uh, did I get the master sword? Yes. Um, though you can use the travel medallion feature now, your Pura pet is not yet perfect. It still needs... Okay, right, the, because of the sensor. Bell, thank you for the 1000 bits. Please um, enjoy your game. Once we're all done, we can get together again. Okay, I might still have time to make it to Nadra to get another, uh, some other materials. Oh, let me check real quick. Wait, I don't know what changed. I thought I was able to do two of them before. <clears throat> Thank you so much, Bell. That's really generous. Again, enjoy your game. And get out of here. I'm just kidding, but still, actually get out of here. Like, especially now. Leave. I need to get some of those as well. An incredibly hard stone mined from a spike on Nadra's back. It's very destructive when fused to a weapon and it's also, it also imbues that weapon the power of ice. It's kind of crazy how many of them you can get. Um, do you already have the travel medallion? 
Do you already have one out in the world? Oh, you're right. You're right. That's why. I did get a third one. Good point. It was because of... Um... Oh. It was because of the one in Lurlin. Yeah, I, I found it yesterday after looking for it for so long. And the crazy thing is, I'm pretty sure the game only teaches you that you can do this after the final memory. But I thought of it because of a completely different reason. So many of them. Isn't that kind of broken? Actually, now that I think about this, I wonder if... Uh uh, I have no idea. I wonder how much they sell for, actually. Maybe this is a pretty good way to make money. Oh, they don't... They don't seem to be growing at the back. No, they're not one-time use. You can have three out at the same time, it seems, when it's fully upgraded. It's because my the one on Lurden is still out, that I have two more left now. So the final version basically allows you to put down three, three uh, points. It's just... <laughs> it is not Butter the Dragon, no. Um, I'm sure somebody's gonna do that. I actually didn't want to scale, I wanted to hit the horn, but you know what? I might have I, I might want one at one point anyway. This precious scale contains super cool air inside, attach it to a weapon to greatly increase its attack power. Right, still only one per swing. Yeah, okay. Oh! 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 <laughs> That's cool. I didn't know that. So it, it stops glowing when it when you can't get apart from it. Every time it glows, you can get apart. I... I see. Um... Why was I here? Oh, just to stop by. We're going to Elden. Before I go to Elden, I'm going to stop by the Spring of Power to find out which of the parts I need for Dinral. Ten, ten minute timer? I see. Uh, I still don't really know the route they take. I know that they go underground, but... It's kind of confusing. <clears throat> they can be hard to find at times. Alright, I think this is probably a perfect spot to do our auto build wind bomb. Actually, this might be. I haven't tried this yet. But my hypothesis is. I don't know how quickly it loses momentum. Actually, let's see. Ah, uh, wait. Oh. Because of auto build, it disappeared. If I had used a real plank, I think the plank would have stayed. I wanted to see how long the momentum would be preserved. Interesting. There's some building materials here. <laughs> I 
All right, this could be pretty sick. Uh, not bad. Oh my god, I feel like I almost got like launched there. Now I could technically reuse it. Right. Like, this is not quite on Windbomb level, but it's also not that far off. Right? Like, seriously. The Vowed Swordsman. Um, right, the, the Goddess Statue, the Dinra Spirit. What do you need? A claw as well. Okay, so it seems like you always need claws. Yeah, if you have a bunch of Zonite, you can move like that all the time, basically. Please don't tell me this goes all the way around. It goes all the way around. <laughs> hey, please stop. Please. Bye bye. Okay, next up. I think I saw a shrine, right? Helen Kent, you just do two fans and a control stick with the fans. In a 45 degree angle, it's fast and very long lasting. I don't have a control uh, stick right now. I can try it if I have one, but I don't think I do. I don't actually know where to get them. I, I don't know if I have a single gacha machine with them. The problem with this is it would cost more zonite. It would cost nine zonite, right? Oh shit, I didn't even see those guys. Do I fight them again? Actually, this might be a good time to test this. It should be extra powerful, right? Ah! Okay, okay. I know I'm getting gloomed. But I have this. Okay, it's this version again. I think we learned the pattern for this pretty well. Or not. <clears throat> this is a harder location to fight it in. I fought two other Phantom Ganons, yeah. Ah, okay, it's much earlier than I... Last time I kind of got it down. But not this time. Oh my god, that was way too early, but it worked. The timing for this one is so early. Like, look at how early I parry. That's kind of crazy. <clears throat> uh, this one here seems to be basically next to the Spring of Power. Mm. Uh, I, yeah, I guess I get rid of this one. Oh. Um... I want to keep the spear. I literally have I'm, I have too many weapons. <clears throat> I 
Um, what do I fuse to this? That seems pretty good, actually. And also pretty cool looking. Although, it's just gonna be like, um... It's just gonna be like a small version again, isn't it? But still powerful. Like, this should do 80 damage, right? <laughs> yeah. It's weird how when you fuse the Gleok onto it, like, the entire weapon just disappears. But it's still a lot of damage. And it looks cool. I miss Wind Bomb so much. Um, yeah, Flurry Rush timing seems definitely tighter in my opinion too. Again, I just showed something that's basically a little bit of a Wind Bomb alternative. It's not the same. And I also don't miss them, honestly. It feels nice to play a game differently, you know? But if you haven't speedrun the game as much as I have, then I can definitely see why you would miss them. Flurry Rush is better in this game. I've noticed that too. It seems like you get more hits, right? So higher risk, higher rewards. At least some of the combos seemed like more hits. My hardest fight so far was the, the Gleog by far. Well, that's actually... I don't know if that's true. I think the first time I fought a... The first time I fought a Phantom Ganon, um, that was probably the fight that was the hardest. I died like three, four times, but I had much less hearts. I did the Gleok first try, but it still required me to prepare properly with like attack up and stuff. And it's definitely the most epic fight that I've done so far. And like, I want to go to another Gleok. I have not been able to get the Gleok theme out of my head the entire night yesterday. It is, in my opinion, the best uh, like fighting theme I've heard yet. And I guess you could argue like some of the boss themes are better, but I don't even know. Like this one really stuck in my head. Oh, it was, was it this shrine that I saw all the way up there? Yeah, Colgara is definitely up there, but... Um, I don't know, the Gleok one hits different. I swear, I thought I saw a different shrine from somewhere. Like, closer to this place. Maybe it's just out of view now? Oh, it was the one down there! Okay. See, I'm gonna show you one more time, because you just joined. What I mean with basic, basically making your own wind bomb. What I've been doing is uh, this. Hello? Why is it not scanning the plank? Wait, I think it was bugged. Yeah, it was kind of weird. <clears throat> it's not quite on the same level, but you know, it gets you there too. You can favorite stuff in auto build, yeah. I think it's Y. Sina Tanika. Let's go, Blasco. That's really annoying. Holy shit. Um, I'm sorry. This is also a giant cousin that I don't think I've jumped on. I'm just here because I wanted to be on my way to Elden, but of course I'm getting sidetracked again. Combat training sneak strike. Ah, these are my least favorite trines, I will say. But it's okay. Gotta teach it to the players. Beetles like the insects. Yeah, true. That is interesting. I haven't seen one and I wonder if Beetle gives you like extra good rewards for them now.
What? <laughs> what the hell? I broke it. <laughs> well done, Omega Logan. Oh wait, was I not supposed to do a sneak strike? Because I definitely didn't. He, he saw me. Oh. Yeah, they, they, they seem to be more aware, these guys. <clears throat> What's, what is the wind sound I'm hearing? This is indeed harder than I thought. Why? Why do they hear me crouch? As a result of your inexperience, holy shit, rolled by the game. They must have changed their detection. Uh, compared to the previous game. Maybe stealth gear is actually useful now. What? They hurt me more with the stealth gear on. If you mean um, the eventide shrines by Dachi Kano, then yes. These ones are kind of eh. That was really weird. Okay. What? He noticed me anyway. I feel like this is kind of broken. I have triple stealth gear on. I shot an arrow. I crowd. Maybe crouch jumping doesn't work anymore. Oh, I think that's what they may have fixed. I kept, kept crouch jumping out of habit. Because in the past. Uh, you could crouch and still get the crouch bar, but maybe you actually have to crouch. I didn't even think of that. Also, this combo looks so ridiculous. Please, let me switch it quickly. I mean, that's pretty cool. But I do like the long hair. Your samba was not spiking. <laughs> Good one, Sneak Elixir. Um, it wasn't spiking. No, it is. Uh, well, I guess it's still the same when you crouch. Uh, it's a little bit louder than doing this. Like, it seems more dynamic. Maybe they reworked it. I have so much armor already, how? I mean, that's kind of what I've been doing the most. Um, exploring... I've done a lot of shrines, I've been doing a lot of, like, sky challenges, I guess. And I bought, basically, whenever I saw a cool outfit, I bought it. I did the Hateno quest, which is all about fashion. I definitely prefer the, um... The Eventide Shrines, where they like strip you of your gear and you have to win the fights anyway. That makes you like seeing those optimized will be super fun. Okay, I know there's a Blood Moon, but from my testing, if you go underground, it just doesn't happen. I just want to see if there's a light route nearby. And then I'm not going to Cherry Town before going to Elden, but I do have to eventually. No, I haven't been on Eventide either. Actually, interesting. I just assumed that it's not the same. Is a massive cousin because of the trailer, but maybe it is. It, wait, this feels like the biggest one. Maybe the Kakariko one is similar, 
But this one is legit massive. Also, is it dropping me right on a frox? On an obsidian frox. Thanks, game. So generous of you. Wow. Really a great, really a great. Really, really thank you, game. Really, it's really very inviting. I don't have my wing shield, do I? Uh, nope. How did I not take damage? What? I took like delayed damage. Honestly, I still haven't really figured out these fights. Um, any minute now. What? That did not work. How? How? What the? No, I did not want to switch to auto build. Man. Oh, that, is this what makes him obsidian? Gonna oh shit, wait. <laughs> oh, it's already broken. I hate these guys, man. That's scary. I hear dragon. He's here. It's the first time I'm actually encountering this. Oh, that's actually good timing. Obsidian Frog's Fang, 24. Giant Fang for excavating and crushing ores. That's good. Attention to a weapon to greatly increase attack power. Yes. Okay, I want the Zonite, I want the Light Root, I want the Dragon Fang. Wait, where was the... But how do I get up there now? Oh, I know how. I believe so, at least. That's good enough. <clears throat> now this is already worth it then. <clears throat> uh, th this is the first time I'm s I, s I, s I already knew they fly down here. But this is the first time I met one in, in here. He's about to leave. <clears throat> Holy shit, that frog's... <laughs> Destroyed my food. My food value. What's up, Andrew? These extra hearts are from my armor. I don't know if they're... Act I think they act as extra hearts. Actually, now that you say that, I think they deplete before your real hearts get gloomed. Yeah. But it's called gloom protection, basically. But only for gloom, not for other th stuff. 
So did Zelda travel back in time when Link lost his arm and the Master Sword broke to restore the Master Sword again? Uh, yes. With the recall to you. That's a big... That's a big... Wait! Was I meant to be here? No, I think I'm meant to go down here for Koga. It's a pretty big hideout though. Insane that the new menace is called Gloom exactly like you predicted with the hearts depleting too, yeah. It made the most sense at that point. Because they never use the word menace anymore in the promotion for the game. And we had the item description for the Sunder line from one of the previews. That's where I understood it. You got so much, it's actually crazy. Yeah, there's some things that I didn't think about at all. I'm not gonna say them now because they're like pretty big spoilers. But there's some things that were pretty close. Do you think Zelda will turn back? I I have no idea. Um, I feel like I want her to, but at the same time, it would be kind of it would kind of defeat the whole purpose. I don't know. I almost hope they do something entirely different, where they use like recall to get back to get. I don't know. I haven't reached the end yet. Yes, I agree, Melstor. The It's the Japanese name as well. This is called Miyasma in Japanese. And I think symbolically, this is much better. Um, it's essentially poison. But it's not like the, your classic poison. It's like, this is what I said, right? At the beginning when I started playing the game. It's darkness. It poisons your mind. It makes you depressed. That's why people get ill. It's literally pure darkness, pure poison. Poisoning of the mind. Um, I actually agree. The symbol the symbolism works better that way. <clears throat> yeah, it's called Miasma or like Miasma. I don't know how you how you say it, but it's essentially poison. Okay, so did this. Now we can go back here though. <laughs> because we have the, the claw. Pokemon of the same name comes to mind. That's true. Uh, snakes or serpents are poisonous. And I, I, I've, I've been thinking about this a little bit. Please, please don't say anything to this theory. Um, because I haven't reached that yet. But I wouldn't be surprised if, if Ganondorf at the end either turns into a serpent or dragon. Um... I don't know if in the final effort he's going to try and like eat the tea or whatever, but it, it's definitely setting up to be that way. <clears throat> but it might also not happen. But again, please no reactions. Uh, I don't want to know if this is really wrong or really true. Why do you think that? Well, because I already reached the final memory. Um, and because in the mural from the imprisoning ward, there's a tweet that I put up some time ago where I thought that the horn on Ganon's head there always looked like a dragon horn and he also has the dragon eyes in the mural. Uh, actually, I think I have that here. Here, this one. Um, if you look at his eyes, they look exactly like that. Um, he has draconic features. Also, um, another thing that I haven't reached yet, another tweet that I put out before the game was even leaked, this place is called Dragon's Exile, right? And I'm pretty sure this is around the area where the structure will rise out of the ground. I haven't even reached this. This is all because of the work I've done in Breath of the Wild. Um, where is it? I think it's gonna be here. Right, this looks like it. Uh, it's quite far away. Maybe this is not related. I, I kind of made that connection before. We'll see. Ha hasn't he always been a boar? 
uh, of power. Well, it could still have some sort of features like that. That's how I kind of imagined it. Like a boar dragon. Um, I'm not sure if you notice it, but Raru has uh, essentially like a moth antenna. So he has like features of a moth and a dragon, which makes perfect sense since he's a light dragon. Um, like he even has like the, like his hair is kind of like a moth, right? Like the fluffy parts. His ears are like moth ears, yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope you're right because that would be sick. Um, that's what I was thinking too, that's what I thought. That you can eat it, turn into dragon memory was initially alluring to ride, ride. Well, he's also a goat man at the same time because the dragons in this game are inspired by goats. Um, that's confirmed in Breath of the Wild. But yeah, the, this is also what we got right, that the, the Magatama or the secret stones are basically just prisms. They are like initially, initially blank and a sage or anyone can like amplify their power through them. That's why they turn different colors depending on who gets them. That's why they get etched the second the sages get them. They're just empty prisms and uh, depending on your power, that's also um, how Ganondorf once changes, right? It just changes. Yeah, the, the game hinted towards that prism theory with the, the logo. When the logo shows up for the first time, um, in the trailer, it does like a doom and it's like rainbow colors. Uh, thank you, Angelican. I hope you learned something new. Wait, I already got a claw yesterday. I'm trolling. Thank you to God Saltzman. I've sent a measure. My strength to the Mother Goddess statue. For the small PS deed, I shall bestow upon you a small blessing. One ruby. Right. There's still one last spring. I will go there. Um, when I, Whenever I see Farosh, I'll try to get his claw. Then I can already... Because I haven't been at the Spring of Courage yet. And apparently there's a shrine here. Yeah, there's definitely a shrine here. Did you ever find the memory to go into the number one slot? Not yet. I have a freezing master sword? Me too. It's uh, pretty cool. How are you approaching the exploring of the game? I feel so overwhelmed. I don't know where to start. I'm going everywhere. That seems interesting. It's basically just a sidetracking mission. It's just like... I, I I have a plan, and then I changed my plan 15 times along the way. That's an Adrahorn? Yes. I know, the, the, this, this is exactly what I mean. The plan, and I will do it now, was to go to um, Elden and then to Korok Forest. But I've been so busy for the first two and a half hours, finishing up shrines, finishing... And I actually missed something again. I was, I was going to max out my stamina because I have like, yeah, 14 light blessings. That is okay. Next time I see one, maybe I think about it. Well, the thing is, I will eventually, I've started to focus more on main story completion because that's the one path you can follow, right? I'll eventually finish the main story and then I'll slowly clean up everything area by area because there's just so much to do. Also, does anyone know if the original dragons go back into the sky portals? I don't think so. The sky portals the dragon went into were destroyed by... Um, the, I'm still gonna say fourth dragon. I... I, I, I if you know, you know. You know. <laughs> but I just... Maybe somebody's joining the stream. So that's... Yeah. The fourth dragon destroys the... Um, destroys the barrier at the start. Like I predicted, by the way. Little flex. Um... <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't predict the identity of the dragon, though. I feel like no one did. Um, they they dispelled a barrier at the start. That was the reason we didn't see the Sky Islands through the entire uh, Breath of the Wild history, right? Because the cloud barrier was there. And um, the dragon destroys it at the start after the Sky Plateau. See, I got sidetracked again because there's a minecart here. 
Dude, oh my god! Look at this shit! How sick is this? Great. No! I wanted that stick. That was... Oh? Did it fall over there? I like how I'm leaning over in real life. I, I think I missed it. Um, the dragon destroys it. No, it's it's a, a cutscene when you finish the Great Sky Island. The fourth dragon comes from the surface and like flies through it, dispels the, the clouds. That's why at the start, like canonically, you can't fall down. It's after you send the Master Sword back in time. Yeah, the, the Great Skyland was pretty leggy and Lurlin was pretty leggy, but for the most part, the frame rate is surprisingly fine. What is this? Okay, need three more. Well, I need a lot more of it. I don't know about running better than Breath of the Wild, but it definitely feels and looks better than Breath of the Wild. But I don't know if this is just because of like textures or whatever, but there's just so much... I don't know, it's just much more pretty, like from the way the shrines look to the lighting. Ow. These sticks are pretty cool. Oh, I love those. Like they do, they do 14 damage. On a one-hand weapon and they look cool which is a lot of base weapons I feel like don't look that nice like see this is pretty cool it's like a dragon claw hammer that is 38 damage per swing and it takes so fast too What has been the most fun fuse creation that you've used until now? Only weapons or everything counting? Because as boring as it is, fusing like springs and bombs to your shield are incredibly fun. Um, but yeah. I still haven't found a Lionel, nope. Um, again, I haven't really properly looked for them today. But if I don't find them at the end of the stream, I will just ask for one of the locations because I played the game for over 50 hours and I haven't seen one. They've been eluding me. I wonder if they're still the hardest. So far, I mean the frogs are definitely... Well, the thing is, I don't think the frogs are actually that challenging once you know what to do. Like... Um... You just have to get one headshot, right? The Gleox, I think, are definitely up there. They're incredibly tanky. They have, like, multiple mechanics. But I'm sure the Lioness will be hard again. Yeah, don't take me to location quite yet. I'll see if I run into one today, and if not, at the end of the stream, I'll ask. Wait, I've done this shrine already. Oh, this is how you were supposed to get here. But I saw a map over there that I haven't gotten yet. Tear to kill for sure. Yeah, I already have a th my theory for that. Uh, I don't know if all of them will be like that. But I know the trailer had a line with a shield on his forehead. Which suggests that you can't headshot them. Which means you can't stun them. Which means they're actually difficult.
Wow. I was hoping this would be a map, not gonna lie. But it is what it is. So where's Elden? What? I mean, I'm like over it, right? Yeah, basically. How do I even approach this? Oh, I go down there to this bistro or whatever because one of the NPCs went there. I'm going now, yeah. I'm going to Elden now. This is the... I think it's called the Zonai material. It's... Uh, a... It's one behind a quest. Hidden behind a quest. Let's go to the shrine first and then go to the... I'm assuming Rock Roast Bistro. How far have we got? Um, pretty far. Um, I still missed two main locations, but I've done basically the memories. Uh, I've progressed quite a bit. I feel like it's hard in this game to talk about what you've done without potentially spoiling. But I've done all of the memories. Um, Timmer Vak. Where do you find the look? The thing to locate shrines um, in the tech lab. Hateno tech lab, it's also hidden behind. Oh, it's not hidden. Um, it's behind some quests uh, completion. I found a bug with holding items. Has anyone experienced it? I'm not sure how to recreate it, but it has happened a few times. What happens is when I press X to hold an item, it holds nothing. It says 0 out of 5. Uh, I think I have no kind of what you mean. I think I have a, I had an event like that. Um... I don't know how that happened either. I don't know if it was related to speed. Does it just stay that way now for you? <laughs> Against the flow. Okay, so far, so good. pressing only X. Yeah, yeah. When you only press X, it would start at zero. That just starts the holding process. Then you have to press A on the items you want to hold. I feel like I've done the shrine before. It was probably a similar one. Or maybe I solved the other one the same way. Did you see that? I feel like Recall has the potential to really launch stuff. Um, what happened to me... I don't know where I clipped it. Maybe here? Yeah. I was fighting this Flux construct. And I was recalling this block, right? And then look at this. Like, that was quite high and pretty quick. I know that they punish you for wisdom sprinting now, yeah. If that's what you mean. <clears throat> or for trying to. Fan and a hydrant. I was gonna just... I was going to just shoot a choo-choo. Personally. And then recall it. But, um... Hmm. else could you want me to do? I mean, I could probably just like... Yeah. 
Autsch. What? Takes quite a bit until my hydrant is leaving. <laughs> what is going on? It's an obsidian farm. Um, wait. Again, I can think of another way to solve this already, but I'm trying to think. How would the hydrant even help here? Yeah. Oh, am I supposed to attach the fan to it? Make like my own obsidian boat? I could try that. Remember the shirt is our Numa meme. Yes. Where is he? Still waiting for sure to but wait, I don't even need I don't even need to make an obsidian boat. Where are we going, boat? Um Okay, now we're stranded. All I need is to just make, uh, uh, put a fan on there, and that's it. Maybe I'd, I'd turn it on first. I like how the vile looks on this outfit too, like stands out a lot. Also, actually one of the biggest quality of life updates for speedrunners is that they removed the staircase. The staircase to reach the monk. I can't tell you how much time I lost to jump into the staircase. You can just run up there now and press A. It's actually gonna matter, unironically. It would be sick if they made uh, like a game based of Raru's time frame. Um, wait, I'm trying to fix my chair right now. You mean? Um, wait, what's going on? There we go. Um, you mean like in his time, like playing as him? Dude, I love Raru so much. I'm shocked how cool they made him look. He looked so weird at first, his design, but when he's like moving around, he looks so elegant and cool. Morning, lady. Um, Muiri? Muiri? How do I say your name? Muiri? Muiri? Muiri. Muiri. It's hard to say. Maybe I just say lady if that's fine. These guys are just chilling. I just got an item with insanely high fuse damage. Yeah, I'm. I still. I'm sure I haven't found all of them. What's going on here? <clears throat> also, who is this dude? Look, I'm sorry I wasted it, but asking me to bring you another marbled rock roast is re isn't reasonable. How about this instead? Mm. This guy's munch. Oh shit! I see what's going on here. They're eating the gloom-infested rocks. And it turns them evil? These mysterious things were only discovered after the upheaval. It looks a little strange, I know, but it's a hard curio to come by. Huh? Marbled rock roast is in short supply and high demand around here. Everyone wants it. I've barely even I've barely been keeping up. 
Letting our hottest commodity go to waste is unforgivable. You can make up for it by bringing me a fresh mumbled rock roast. Now get that thing out of my sight. Uh, if I was able to get you some, I'd clearly have done it by now. I checked out the caves past the cart tracks. Just like you told me, I couldn't get anything. You know places like that aren't way too uh, are way too dangerous for Hylian like me. Not my problem. And I don't want that hunk of junk. I'm not letting you off the hook till you get me a marbled rock roast. Muiri. Muiri. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Here for Cookie's famous culinary concoctions too. Recently I heard about a rare delicacy being offered here known as marbled rock roast. I'm told it's indescribable. Mm. I interrupted my travels to come try it, but they are fresh out. Not sure edible rocks would appeal to a Hylian though. Too much tooth crunch. Normally there's a menu just for Hylians, but everything's sold out on that one as well. Seems like we're both out of luck, hmm? It does seem that way. Yeah, this guy is actually high, literally. Okay, at the end of the minecart tracks... There's two minecart tracks. Which ones are... Oh wait, is this one just... I mean, this one leads, looks like it would lead into a cave, yeah. Jesus, that's scary. Are you a traveler? You might not want to go to that restaurant over there. You probably shouldn't go to Goran City either. Ever since the marbled rock rose showed up, everyone's been acting funny. Big Bro was so happy to get into Unibo Code 2. But now it's like he doesn't even care. He feels like a stranger to me. Unibo is, is high? Unibo is corrupted. This is a common prediction, but yeah. Yeah, you know. The team that digs up ore around here and sells it and stuff. Big Bro is always feeling proud about the growth in Goron City. Saying it's all thanks to Unibo Co. But ever since they started selling marble rock rocks, the whole city's been feeling weird. Yeah. That, uh, the yummy rocks that Unibo Co. sells now, they're like everywhere. Wait, is it Unibo's fault? <laughs> is it essentially Unibo's fault that everyone is fucked? But they're so hard to um, and crunchy that us kids and elders can't eat them. Our teeth can't handle that crunch. So the kids are not corrupt. It's similar to... Wait, I didn't even... Th yeah, that's actually... But it's kind of... It it's actually kind of weird. It's almost kind of in reverse. Because in... In Rito Village, the the parents were the ones that believed in the legends of the Stormwind Arc. Um, and Tulin didn't believe it at first. But here the kids are like the non-corrupted ones. Well, some of the kids did sing those songs. I haven't tried this, actually. I don't know if anyone did. Um, and maybe I should try this myself first. But I wonder if you can register deer now. You probably cannot. But if you can, I would be very happy. Reminders for Hylian workers. You need fire resistance in the cave. If you run out of fireproof licks, you make more fireproof lizards and monster parts. When bathing, try dipping the way into your shoulders. If injured while work walking, uh, working, quickly report to Unibuco in the North Mine. Okay, I um, hmm, I don't have it yet. I can make an elixir though. Normally it would be wise, probably, to get the resistance first. Now what do I throw in there? Do fire fruits work that way actually? I feel like it would make sense if, they, if it did. Oh no, this one raises attack power on high temperatures. Okay. I have some sizzle fins. <laughs> we throw some rock salt in there for more duration. Can cook what enemies are near? Really? But I don't want to. I don't want to hurt the dog. Okay, the, the dog hurt me first. Now it's fine. <clears throat> yeah, don't do drugs, kids. Very destructive when fused to a weapon and also imbues the weapon with the power of ice. I want to see how much these sell for. If they sell for a lot, that's a really good way to make money. Wait. 
I'm trolling. <laughs> of course. Where's my salt? I'm doing this in hopes that one of these quests here will reward me with flame proof gear, but we'll see. Wait, what? Heat resistance. Wasn't there a fish that did this? Chilf and trout. Did they always do heat resistance? I feel like they didn't. Do you know about the duplication list? Yes. I've already done it, but I'm not using it for the playthrough. But I, I, I know it is, is a thing and I know how it works. Cold resistance. Heat resistance. Is everything just heat resistance now? Are they, what about the lizards? Do I still have some of those lizards? They definitely used to be. I only have high tail. Huh. Butterflies. But heat resist. It's not heat resistance, right? It's still like fl flame guard or whatever. Fire resistance. Okay, let's just go in and see if there's like any safe points. There might not be. Aren't extra hearts a thing anymore? Uh, you mean yellow hearts? They are. Okay. Nope. Doesn't seem great. I thought there's maybe some water puddles in there. Yeah, but I think they changed that, right? Okay, there's a fireproof lizard. Okay, there's actually a bunch. Um, I don't know if they changed that or not. I thought there were other ways before to make fire resistance, and I just changed it to heat resistance, but not sure. In, in runs, we would usually just, um, we would usually just say, uh, fuck it, because we could use a spin attack to just put out the fire. 1150, pretty good. Wait, you're telling me I need level two? Oh no, that was the keys. Okay, I was like... Right? That would be kind of insane for like the first cave you reach. No, it's just level one, okay. Oh, do we have any new ones? I thought the, um, the chill fins in the past gave you fire resistance too, but maybe I just don't remember that correctly. Because I definitely know, yeah, f flame fireproof lizards is like the only elixir that I was used to cook. In my casual Breath of the Wild playthrough, I um, remember buying the elixirs from that one stable, which, uh, what was the, the lore here again? It's just gun, isn't it? Oh no, it's still there, but they said this is like the, 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 the red root, like the dangerous root or something, I believe. That's what they said. Okay, so those are these gloom infested rocks, and there's our. We have another rock roast quest. Great. This one is much more convenient, though. I'm assuming people have already tried the the old flying machine. How do you feel about speedrunning 80% with probably all dungeons? I highly doubt you have to do all of the dungeons. Um, if I'm being honest. I don't even- I don't know what you need, but... I don't even know if you need the Master Sword. That would be the only thing that I feel like you might actually need. <laughs> but I'm not even sure if you need that.
Yeah, this is much more convenient now. Compared to the old Rock Rose days. Also, I feel kind of bad for even doing this. I'm, I'm giving these guys drugs. And what a timing indeed. Oh my god. Wait, actually, let me bring this here quick before the Blood Moon unloads something. Here, I brought Rock Roast. <clears throat> yeah, no any percent discussion yet. That's just my prediction. Wait, did I just see the Blood Moon through the roof or something? No. Hey, that's... No, that's a marbled rock roast. Hey, you. That marbled rock roast, would you trade it for this? <laughs> oh, for this? Ah. Mm. I was hoping to get some flame gear, but okay. See, I'm, I'm a meat man. <laughs> when I heard this place served a rose to die for, I came running. Little did I know the meat here is actually rocks. <laughs> this isn't meat or a rock, but it's the rarest thing I own. Take it with my thanks. Great. I was hoping for something ah. better. Before you go, have you heard about the rumored beast? I have. This is supposedly the one that's like half uh, rhino, half bear. If that creature's really out there, I'm gonna find it out if it's edible. When you love meat, it's just what you gotta do. By the way, we're not strangers anymore, buddy. If you see me out there in the wilds, give me a shout. Okay. My favorite game of all time before this was... Um, oh, this guy has something new to say now. Elden Ring. Uh, well, casually. Uh, before it was Breath of the Wild. Um, and it will still be Breath of the Wild for a long time with how much memories I have with the game. But this game... I kind of separate between just favorite game of all time and favorite casual experience. Because I do speedruns and stuff. But, um... Yeah. Uh, this game is on pace to become my favorite casual experience. It's a shame, but it looks like Marble Rock Rose isn't on the menu anymore. I took a detour from my travels and came all this way to try it, but there's nothing to be done now. My apologies for the delayed introduction. The name's Gomo. I travel the world sampling every rock under the sun. I suppose that's why I'm known as Gomo, the Gorom, the Goromand, Goromond. I must ask, have you um, any flint to spare? Inside some flint is a rare and especially delectable ripened flint. Ooh. I could have, if you could have any ripened flint you find, I'd pay you a thousand rupees per piece. Ripened flint looks like normal flint and you won't know one way or the other if it's ripened until you try eating it. I have some flint. Oh, yes. Can there be no doubt that's some delicate, delicate, earthy aroma? You have some? Yes. Ooh. There's no telling whether or not it's ripened fleet until I eat it. Is this a new Gamba game? Oh. Wait, how much flint do I have? I have 75. I'm I'm giving you 50. Surely there's at least one ripened flint in there. <sighs> the polite way to enjoy it is to roll it silently beneath the tongue, allowing it to dissolve. Hmm? Oh me, oh my! What have we here? Alas, it's only normal flint. Ripened flint is incredibly rare. Eat a hundred and you still may not even find one. So that isn't too surprising, really. I should spare no expense for ripened flint. I'd be thrilled if you brought me more to test out. Oh my lord. Is that a quest as well? We need to find at least one ripened flint. Does that only work once? Oh my god. I just realized what that meant. Okay, I'm not doing 100% speedruns. If this is a quest. Is it a quest? I'm not doing 100% speedruns. Losing your run to not getting ripened flint? Good luck, man. Good luck, man. Yep, it had a red marker. That's scary. I should uh, collect these 
when I see them on the way, because I don't know when I'd actually get my first flame gear uh, armor. Yeah, but that's exactly the problem. Imagine one time a hundo runner gets ripened flint on the first run and saves a bunch of time. Unless there's something like IST where I duplicate items, this seems like an absolutely awful quest for speedruns. Eh, uh, what's up, Bob? You're trying to get into this cave? I'm not one to stop, folks, but I'll tell you it's boiling inside the cave. You get going to a crisp going in there like that. Oh. The caves here have lava, so it's burning hot inside. For Hylians like us, we have to do extra protection, basically. Mixing fireproof lizards with monster parts to make elixirs, for example. I can't help out with the ingredients, but if you have them, feel free to use that pot over there to make them. Um, there are some in there, but the path to them is collapsed. You have to be careful. I already got my rock roast. This path is what I take to get to the city, right? Mm. These are probably setting for quite a bit. You can already dupe items faster with double unfused duplication. The bow mod method. Wait, is that the one that we did or say, are you saying there's a new method of it? Um, oh, I can activate Toolin again. I had to active this uh, disabled for my um, video recording earlier. Oh, shit. What's in here? Nothing. Oh, I was still wet there from the puddle. Maybe that lasted for a little bit. The Death Mountain music is still always nice. That was still... okay. Now what someone pointed out about this game compared to Breath of the Wild is nowhere new. Nobody knew Link in Breath of the Wild. Now he's town famous in Tears of the Kingdom. Everyone likes him. But like, I've my problem is that I that that's not really true. At least not always. I'm actually kind of annoyed that a lot of people who definitely should know Link don't. Like for example, um, there's like literally a history lesson about the Great Calamity talking about the hero who saved the world. Um, but. And Link is like next to them. And yet they still don't uh, they, they don't say like, yo, this is him, by the way. This is the hero. Is there uh, I can find heat resistance armor for free or do I have to buy it? Um, I don't know. Um, I currently do not have heat resistance armor. I would be interested in that too, but I, I will find out myself. Uh, thank you. It's going good. We actually made it into Elden after finishing the Lurline quest. I'm rebuilding Lurlin. Sorry, Lurlin. Okay, I should have probably used the fan, but you know what? <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. I did not want to use a, a fan. To this, we take it. Wait, did the other cave? The other cave might also have a, a bubble frog that I didn't find. Oops, catching up on those later. Yeah, like it's it's um it's kind of a mix. I think. Like some some NPCs uh, know him, especially in Lookout Landing, but then others seem to like ignore him. And then also, again, I'm still confused to this day. What happened to all of the shrines and divine beasts? They were never really referenced. Not sure if that will still happen later in the game. Okay, so are they gonna be are they gonna be enemy Gorons? I assume so. Oh, this makes sense. This explains the shot in the trailer. In the trailer, Link is fighting a Goron. And there were kids just watching. It's because the kids don't eat the rock roast. Mm. 
This Marbid Rock Roast is mine, mine, all mine. Nobody gets a single bite. If you want some for your own head to Goron City, it's up this path. Okay, I need to try this. I've seen these spine things before. I assume you can fuse them to stuff, but I've never done so. How much do they add? Spiny bone plus seven. Pretty ugly. I want to keep the spear for when I find a uh, flux construct again. There's got to be so many caves here. Oh, right, they use metal plates here. Makes sense. I'm gonna miss this Zonite bow so much when it inevitably breaks. It's really good. A star fragment just up next to me as I was gliding. Yeah, yeah, you can catch them in air. I, I actually saw that, yeah. Oh, fireproof lizards, come out and play! Ah. Oh, I didn't see you there. I've got fireproof lizards on the brain. So, uh, did you need something? I'm kind of busy. Fireproof oh. lizards are uh, the key ingredient for elixirs. Fireproof equipment is too pricey that I can't afford it. But fireproof lizards, they don't cost a thing. Ah. It seems like their burrow is inside the cave, and that's where I'd like to get. But the cave is sweltering hot. A Hylian like me wouldn't last. Ah. If you're after lizards too, please go catch them somewhere else. They're always on high alert, really sensitive to footsteps. Nope. I will catch them right there. Also, I haven't really found a great way, by the way, to deal with... Um, did my sapphire rod break? Looks like it did. To deal with armored enemies yet. Okay, you basically need a blunt weapon, like this one, I'm assuming. Oh, so it's not even hot out here. It's only hot uh, inside the caves at the moment. <clears throat> it definitely feels cool to catch them, yeah. I'm assuming you can do the same with the dragon parts. <gasps> that guy went for a big throw, holy. How can he throw like this? He's crazy. Why does the Master Sword have no damage? I actually don't know. Um, I don't know. Because um, it definitely does damage. I have something fused to it, but maybe it doesn't do damage normally unless you fuse something to it. Uh, only to like demons. I actually don't know how it works. I'm interested to find out eventually. I don't know if the game will tell you if we have to like data mine it. Doo -doo -doo. Uh, that was not very good. Goronbi River Cave. Has the Master ever run out of the ability? Not yet, but I haven't... Um, I haven't used it a lot. Maybe that's how it works. Maybe it's basically just an unbreakable weapon to fuse things to. And it only does as much damage as whatever you fuse to it. That could be... Like an unbreakable fuse stick. How long am I planning to stream today? Probably between 10 and 15 hours, depending on how much I am enjoying myself. I definitely will finish the um, fire temple stuff today. Ooh, fire leg stone. A stomach stone that persists 
even at high temperatures. Contains heat even outside the body of the creature that contained it, which makes it a useful elixir ingredient. Um, and then I would like to go to Korok Forest as well. And then tomorrow's Holy Gerudo time. Eh. Eh. Don't really need that. Hmm. I wonder. This could be really cool. Oh, that would have been sick. Maybe. I'm not sure though, Slappy, but it could be. Again, I haven't had it for a long time and I haven't used it a lot yet. But that would be incredibly powerful, yeah. Ooh, a treasure from Misko is in here. Flameproof gear? Barbarian gear? Whoa! Ember shirt, that's sick as hell! Used in ancient rituals, this item is made of heat absorbing cloth that produces flame in high temperature environments. That's the armor! Dude, I've been looking for this for so long. I've been looking for this for so long. This is the one that Link has on in the trailer. When he is uh, on the thing, right? When he's using the ruby arrow. Oh my god, that's sick. Oh my god, this is my favorite piece, I think. Where on the map am I? I'm inside the Goronbi River Cave. Dude, this is the sickest piece in the game so far for me. And it also does this, right? <laughs> Only when it's hot though, but... Holy... The Slash of Elements. <laughs> Jesus. If you just swing your sword, does no, 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 it's only the finisher. It's either when you do it like this, or a um, spin attack with um, one hand weapon, or a spear charge attack. Hmm, that's super interesting. Man, Misko's treasure chests are sick. That's the real, that's the, that's where you get the real quests. Dude, that is so sick. I need to get the leg piece for that too. But even this, oh my god, okay, new favorite ammo. Visitor from afar, should you thirst for treasure, remain unslaked, read on. I discovered the tunic of awakening. This game is just, this game just never stops. In a strange land and have hidden it away. Solve my riddle to make it your own. On the Tabantha frontier, where rain, piper, and Tanaga meet. That's probably rivers, right? Tanaga Canyon. Oh, wait, wait. Tabantha frontier, where rain, piper, and Tanaga meet. Ruined pillars stand together. On one of those mighty pillars opens the way to my treasure. Solve my riddle, find my treasure, and earn my respect. The great bandit Misko. I get a quest for this. Misko's Treasure of Awakening 1. The message from the bandit Misko said, on the Tabantha frontier. Okay, I can't track this one. Um, where Rain, Piper, and Naga meet. Rain, Piper, and Naga meet. Tanaga Canyon. Piper Rain. Where they meet. Rain Highlands, Piper Ridge. So where do they meet? In Tanaga Canyon. Huh. 
How can I? Hmm. Broken pillar stand. Like they, I know these pillars here. Oh, oh, is it gonna be? It's basically okay. Okay, it's basically like the temple of time. So like, I guess the lo locations literally like here. This is the broken pillars. It's gotta be up here. But it, yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. We, I need to go there now. Sorry. <laughs> Wait, do I have a war point close to this? Ah, uh, not really. Okay, whenever I get the next war point, I'm chasing this. Dude. Do I have a good headgear that fits to this? But I, I think the... Oh, oh. Look at this with the weapon in the hand. And I guess it's only glowing because the effect is active. Actually. So if I'm not in the heat, I think that this doesn't glow. Because when this was shown in the trailer, this didn't glow. Travel medallion, I have that now, smart. Actually, this is not even the good spot to put it, but... Also, how do I... Oh, I don't even think you remove them, right? Oh, you do. Oh, okay. And let me just collect the one on Lurlin too, because... Ah, oh. oh, this game, dude. This game. Damn, that looks actually pretty sick. But I don't know if I have something I want to get rid of. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. I know this is an amiibo treasure, but I don't like it. Not that much of a collector. Now, how can I get out of here? Huh? Not there. Oh, I saw it. I can't wait, dude, to get these really intricate ascent setups where you can ascend in specific caves to reach like the top of that mountain and shit like that. Like, look at this. How high did this get me? Actually. Okay, not super high, I think. Actually, yeah, not bad though. Nah, still pretty good. Let's. Oh, Monka. Okay, yeah, I, I uh, again got sidetracked, but for a good reason. I think this would be best. The UI and effects on weapon have greatly improved. Love it. Yeah, I mean everything is just improved. I think the only argument to be made is that the menu... I don't know, I, I can't even say anything bad about the menu anymore. Eh, what feels a little bit an intuitive is sometimes finding the right material that you want to fuse, scrolling through like an endless menu. But you can sort it like over time, it's just so clever. Yeah, look! Oh my god, I feel like I might like that more. <laughs> this is the non-glowing version. Jesus. There's already a glitch discovered in Tears of the Kingdom. There's many glitches discovered, but I think you probably talk about the duplication. That one is uh, not bad. It's probably gonna get even better. What is it? You can duplicate every material in the game. Because I have new people here, I guess I will show it uh, one more time. Uh, once I'm over there, okay. Yeah, I mean, I think calling it infinite money, it, it technically means infinite money. Um, but like, it's a bit misleading because it's not as broken as IST, where you do one glitch and you have infinite money. It's still a lot of work, but you can do it. I feel like we probably find a better version in the future. There's another uh, a glitch that I talked about in my video today. It's not really a glitch, but what you can do, I like to showing this too. If you fly in the sky and you let Link go neutral and then drop a wing and hold forward, you can land on it mid-air, which allows you to make traversal really easy. Um, you can go one step further even and do something like this. <clears throat> 
you think it will be more broken glitches than Breath of the Wild? Not sure. Um, the potential is there. Keep in mind, Breath of the Wild was not broken for like a long time. It, ah, okay, Misko. Okay, Misko. It wasn't gonna be that easy, was it? Well, I do have Flame Guard this time. I don't know if I need level 2, so I could try it. And I beat an electric one. And I like the theme. Actually, would it even see me? I don't know how the detection is. I already saw... This is very suspicious looking. I think this is probably the entrance to the Tunic of Awakening. This looks like a door. Misko is a famous bandit who has like a lot of clothing related quests in this game. I haven't tried this yet and I'm assuming they patched it because they patched basically everything. But I kind of want to try it. That was the wrong button. Okay. I feel like you would have at least gotten one jump, but there used to be a clip through grounds like this. Hmm. How much ice stuff do I have? I do have an icy master sword, that should help a lot here. But I don't have as many keys ice as I would want. They're actually not bad in this fight. It's okay, I'll try, but I see what I can do. If I have level two, if level one flame protection is enough, then maybe this is doable. There's definitely a lot of unbroken pillars, I am aware. And one of them will be the one. The key. We're gonna have to find that. I know if we can like I don't know if we can. Okay, wait a second. <laughs> Well, I'm still, now that I'm here, I'm still going to try and fight it, but Ancient Columns Cave. Now, what is this going to look like? Visitor from afar, should you thirst for treasure remain unslaked, read on. Discovered the trousers of awakening in a strange... Oh, so this is like a line. In a strange land have hidden them away. Solve my riddle to claim them. In the ruins of Hyrule Field, where warriors once tested themselves in battle, offer your soldiers claymore on the two sculpted soldiers. The sword will point the way to my treasure. Solve my riddle, find my treasure, earn my respect. Soldiers claymore. I don't know if I have one of those. Wait, that's a knight's claymore. Maybe I can check. Maybe this one uses the soldier's claymore? We'll see. Maybe this is one, actually. It is. Um. Flame is the easiest one. For me, flame was harder than thunder before because I didn't have flame protection. But we'll see. We'll see how tanky it is. Oh. Okay, that's a lot less epic than I thought it would be. Uh, legend say, says this armor was worn by a hero who explored a mysterious island that one could visit but not leave. Oh, okay, so Link's Awakened. <laughs> I prefer the item that I found first, um, not gonna lie. Ooh, wait! The Ember Shirt is actually good against the Gliog. Because it gives me the hot weather attack. Um, right? Produces. F oh no, it's only hot weather attack. It's not hot weather buff. And he's probably. Yeah. I still try fighting it. Yeah, this is my new favorite armor. Um, the Ember Shirt. Even more than the Depths Tunic. Okay. 
Okay, I mainly want to fight it because it has a cool soundtrack. Um, also, I'm not looking too good on the food front. I just fucked up. I need to do more cooking soon again. I removed the, the buff. This could actually look good with the Yiga pants once I find those. Or even if you can die. Oh, wait, I need to try that. Dying this. Leg wrap. These leg wraps. Maybe like full black or red. Could be cool too. Does say it's going to work for Zonai tools? I haven't really tried that. Maybe it doesn't. <clears throat> I wonder if like an Ice Gleog blade would be good against the Fire Gleog. Also, there was a Bubble Frog in that cave that I haven't found. But so far, the Bubble Frog rewards have been kind of mid. So I'll see if I want to get them all or not. Anyway, time for a banger. Uh, Mr. Gleog. Mr. Gleog. There you go. <laughs> this song, dude. Did I just one shot the eye? I think I did. Ice, ice one shots the eyes. Ice one shots the eyes. This soundtrack always gets me so hyped. Ooh, he took fall damage. What? I've never seen this. These guys are so tanky, they have to have some sort of resistance. Ooh. Actually, very convenient, sir. Weed. I can make pizza finally. Perfect time to get this one. Whoa, even Sidon is flying away. I feel like the heads take more damage, right? Yeah, it seems that way. Oh, the Master Sword is running low on energy. Okay, never mind. 
But I wonder if that means the fuse material doesn't break. Maybe the fuse material is the one that never breaks. So if you have one strong one, you can preserve it that way. Oh my god, dude, <laughs> that wind. Ah! Ouch. I think this is, uh, yeah, okay, this is for sh Well, I think the reason this is harder than the shock one is because... Um, where is it? It's because I don't have a tag up this time. This does no damage. Yep, the Mazasaur can definitely run out of energy. Wait, unbearable heat? Did he turn up the heat? To level 2? That is different. That's very different. A Sidon? Oh, that was actually sick. Wait, I actually don't know if it works. Did I even block it? I thought it was really cool there by like last second blocking it. Last time he died from that. These fights are so insane, dude. <clears throat> Gleok Flame Horn. A crown like fire mute horn of a Gleok. Attach it to a weapon to vastly increase its attack power. Cook it with a critter to make an elixir. Okay, we only have the fire one to go. Uh, the ice one. I mean, I still lost two fairies to that. Mainly because the laser just does so much damage. <clears throat> so that wasn't even close to as clean as the electric one. Attack up definitely helps a lot. Okay, I guess since I'm already sidetracked, I go to Hyrule Garrison Ruins. Is that not it? I guess I haven't discovered the location, but it certainly is. And then I have to do something with the soldier's claymore. Pizza percent speedruns incoming. Oh, that is actually not that bad, right? Like, there's actually some content there. That's a good idea, because you need to make the cheese shop first, right? Unless you can make cheese any other way. If the only way to get cheese is making the shop, that is actually kind of interesting. And then where you get tobacco weed and the tomatoes everywhere. Interesting. Unironically, really good idea. What does the Gleok Wing do? Uh, I haven't fired a single one. I think it's... You can attach it to an arrow, right? Um, the question is, how powerful is that? Like, maybe... Oh, no, those are just normal Gleok Wings. Oh, no, it's just like a, a super key swing. It's not elemental. It's like a super key swing, essentially. Okay, I think next time I'm making a... Uh, when the Master Sword comes back, I'm making a... Fire Gleok Master Sword. That sounds pretty sick. <clears throat> I should have made pizza. I think I have the ingredients now though, right? 
Next time I at a, at a cooking pot, remind me. Um, I definitely have tomatoes. Tomatoes, cheese, uh, weed. Yep. Okay, definitely a Korok here. <gasps> the first white Boko. What is that? What does he have? I don't know what is going on on his head. A lamp? I was pretty certain he would be dead, but he was not dead. Oh, what? I've never used one of these. Okay, since I headshot him, maybe it didn't work. I was wondering um, what the react, what happens. So what is this? Silver Bokon 31. This is the highest attack power horn I have found. More than a Gliok. A large blade-like horn with a unique flourish on the tip. It's sharper than it looks. Attach it to a weapon to vastly increase attack power. Okay. okay. Um, that's interesting. It's mainly interesting because this makes me think that, like, yeah, the, the, the higher level enemies, like, imagine, like, a white or silver Lionel, like, God. God. <laughs> ah, I have space for a weapon. What's his stick? Knight's broadsword. Those are pretty okay. Now, I'm assuming it's still gonna have the weird finish. Ugh. Okay, yeah, not a fan. Is it- does it actually work as a lamp though? No, right? It kind of does look like it. I wonder if it works in the depths. Wow, okay, let's read the quest real quick because it says something about statues. Where once test okay, does it make sense where Hyrule Field where warriors once tested themselves in battle? Tested themselves in battle. Isn't that what you do in a garrison? I think so, right? Oh wait. Does that count as Hyrule Fields? So it's more like the Colosseum. But they say ruins. Uh, yeah, I guess. I guess the Colosseum makes sense, actually. Uh, in ruins of Hyrule Field, the warriors one system offer your soldiers claim to the two sculpted statues. The main reason the, the um, Colosseum would make sense is because. There's a Gliok there. And there was a Gliok at the first location. Now the problem is that I had beaten the Gliok. That's in the Colosseum. Um, but it's probably back. <laughs> so I'll try to avoid it. But the one in the Colosseum is even harder to avoid.
Any new enemies in here? Another white Boko instead of blue boss. Okay. Oh, this tower is kind of dangerous. I'm looking for the white Lizalfos for sure. Well, I haven't even seen the black Lizalfos, I think. No, no, I have, I have, I have. Also interested in white Moblin. Yep, he's definitely back. Now, two sculpted statues. I don't know what that thing up there is. I was actually wondering that the first time I came here. I don't recall there being statues inside the Colosseum, at least in the past. I really don't want to fight another Gleog right now. Maybe that will wait for later. Especially because I'm not even that big of a fan of the Awakening outfit. Thank you for the uh, raid, Relku. Okay, there's a Goron here. Is that a Goron? Yeah. Is that, is that who I think it is? The main reason I'm thinking so is because this looks like... A, oh, actually? No, this is a gong. I thought maybe this would be Beige. Because Beige is the minigun Goron. Yeah. Nope. Strad or Strayed. Hey, I made myself quite the tower, huh? Just look at that. Again, oh. sidetracked. Omega lol. How's it going so far? I'm having a blast. 10 out of 10 game. Maybe my favorite game ever. Um, I put a bell right on top. Um, why you ask? Because I thought up a great new game. A test of strength. Wanna give it a go? Test of strength. Oh. I know those. Your goal is to make the bell at the top of this here tower ring as loud as you can. Throw something at it with as much force as you can. Only then the bell will answer. Oh. You're welcome to try all of the stuff over there. Some of it's left from when I built the tower. And some of it is weird junk. Okay, I already have an idea. Oh. Once you ring the bell, the game ends. So it is a, a minigame. Okay, 30 rupees. I mean, my first thought is the rocket, right? But I don't know if that's too obvious. I try it because it seems like... Oh, wait, but I'm not allowed to use other stuff. I'm still going to try it. That was so low. It was like, ding. What the hell? I think this is basically a mini game. Oh, that must have been a, at least a 38 on the mega ding scale. Yeah, did pretty okay, but you can do better. The trick is... Really heavy, real fast. Okay, okay. So, so that gave me nothing. No, no, no. I get it now. I get it now. I know how we do this now. So we need to take one of these. Attach a boulder to it. And then that's probably not high enough, right? We need at least one more. Okay, let's play it safe. And attach this one too. Boom. Then we line it up. Like this. And then we take this thing. This is the sleeper one. This is the sleeper one. And we attach it. And then we hit it. Oh! 
That wasn't bad. I thought it was thunder, but then I realized it was you. Today I learned what that bell is capable of. And what you're capable of. You're amazing. My head is still ringing. Um, I haven't watched the last LimQ Plus era. Will those come back? My favorite Lim content of all time. Yo, thank you, first of all. Um, they will, for sure. There's always another Zelda game. A 105 on the Mega Dings scale. That was impressive. This is for you. A topaz. So I guess I barely made my money back. But I know you can go even louder than that. What? Wait, let me think first. Oh, these are metal. I think I took the rock boulders. That was the mistake, I think. I think the metal ones will be even louder. Okay, I'm trying again. Yeah. But in general, it seemed like a good idea. I got the record already. Oh, if it says record, that means that's it. And I can that's like the best price. Yeah. Maybe I'm about to get scammed. If it, if I if I am getting scammed, then I know for the future. But yes, ADN. I will also make more videos on LimQ Plus in general. One once we once I look more into glitches and stuff, like small tutorials. I made one on my main channel today, but mainly because I was obligated to due to sponsor stuff. Wait, that video already has 35k clicks? Okay. Tears of the Kingdom content broken. <clears throat> the gameplay plus commentary is cozy. Yeah. It's also fun to do. I'm also getting pretty close to 100,000 subscribers. If you're not subscribed to my YouTube yet, I would appreciate it, by the way. Um, because I'm literally, what, no, 1,500 subs away from 100,000. Should be fine. I feel like that sounded the same. It says new record, though. I'm gonna get the play button, maybe, maybe soon. Um, I thought that was thunder, but then I realized it was you. That, okay, that's the same thing. Ah. 112, so new records. And you get another topaz. Wait, how much do they sell for? Oh. Wait, do you realize what this means? I know we have um, item duplication now, but... Uh, this is topaz money farm, and it's even easier because... Unless I'm mistaken. That is not bad. <clears throat> that is actually not bad. You pay nothing and you get a topaz. Now, can we make it even louder than that, though? What if we also fuse a rocket to it? This is gonna improve it. Probably, right? Let's see. It was less loud, I think. The ro the rocket worked kind of against it. Oh. A monster rank oh. 83. That's how you get an opal. Okay, okay. So I think 100 is probably the best, and you get a topaz. Um, unless there's a way to get a diamond, which would be absolutely ridiculous, because then you just like auto build the same thing all over again. Did you get the hide and shield now? I didn't even know it was in the game, but I guess I know now. <clears throat> dun, 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 dun. To be fair, it's probably not that surprising, but yeah, anyway. Um, two statues. Two statues. Oh, no, I don't want to. I don't want to. 
I really don't want to. I just beat one. I like the theme and all. Okay, I think what I might do is I might want to hop down there and see if the statues are in there. And if they are, then I'm bouncing. <laughs> because, um... Oh my god. No! Yo, yo, yo. I've already defeated you, remember? I've already, I've already, well, already, what the <laughs> Tulin, Tulin! Please cover me! Okay, we can do this though. Uh, as long as I don't alert him this time. Again, I don't even feel like I'm cheesing because I beat this Gleog yesterday. Yeah, I know. Okay, let me show you the item duplication once because more people are here now. Um, but I'm aware of it. Um, if you want to do this yourself, maybe do it now before it gets patched. It is not super easy, but not super hard. Um, basically what you do is you need two bows, that's it. Um, literally. You activate fuse. You take out your bow. You fuse the item you want to duplicate to your bow. For simplicity's sake, because this is probably what you'll be doing, let's use a diamond. You fuse the diamond to the bow. You can press B here, so the diamond is stuck to the bow. Then you drop this bow and you equip another bow. And the next step is the one that usually goes wrong for me because I'm not good at it yet. Because here you need to quickly unpause and pause the game. And the timing has gotten a little bit weird. Like that was too slow. By f easily too slow. Normally what you would do at this step is to drop the other bow, pick them both up, and then you would have two diamonds. But it didn't work because my unpausing was too slow. Right? But I tried until I get it. So drop the bow, equip another. This was pretty fast. Drop this bow. Two diamonds. Again, it will hurt, but I'm going to leave this diamond here because I'm sad I'm not going to be using this glitch for my casual playthrough. So rest in peace. But uh, this works right now. I wouldn't be surprised if it's patched soon. Okay, I would need to dis despawn my sages. They're going to attack him. He just, he just sensed my presence. Oh, what? Okay, I'm using stealth gear. But this theme, though. Three heads, three perceptions. Yeah, but like, I don't see them turn around. I was able to kind of avoid... Okay, I have triple stealth gear. Dude, I just realized. The Sheikah mask together with this outfit is like sick. Oh my lord. Um, But not for now. This is like a samurai. All right, I'm super stealth right now. Triple stealth. If not, I have another idea what I can do. Also, I'm not sure if any one of you follows Bot W, who's the guy that found early Master Sword in Breath of the Wild. Okay, he just knows. My other idea is to just stay here. Oops. 
Okay, this definitely works, but... What am I even supposed to do? Wait, the, the music stopped. He gave up. I think he gave up. I can't fuse it to it. Okay, he knows again. I think. Wait, why is everything shaking? Monka, dude. Um... Is there a way to quickly switch? No. Like in the menu on the left. Oh yeah, okay, so you have to press left. Okay, 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 that makes sense. Um, the sword will point... Wait. Offer your soldier's claymore to the two sculpted soldiers. Is that not a soldier's claymore? The other one already had one. Do you have to put it on the thing? No. Again, I'm hiding from a Gleog right now, which is why I'm doing this from this uncomfortable angle. Okay, but this is like... In his hand, no? The Gleok doesn't see me right now, I have no idea why. I guess it, he only sees me when I fly down there. He was up, Piston. How are you doing? Okay, I can finally get out of this awful outfit. Oh yeah, you're not safe here. Also, the solution to this puzzle that you just saw is uh, not the solution. Usually it would be this guy, but yeah. Colosseum Rune's Cave. That's a big hammer. Visitor from afar, should your thirst for treasure rem remain unslaked, read on. I discovered a mask of awakening in a strange land and have hidden it away. Solve my riddle to make it your own. On Hyrule Ridge in Lutfo's land, ruins sleep beneath the towering mushroom trees. I haven't been to Thundra Plateau yet, but I'm assuming there's another Gleok there. Um... Lufus and Rune sleep beneath the towering mushroom trees. Connect the southern column's midway shadow to the northern at the shadow center. The way to my treasure will open. So this is time-based? Like the southern? So this is definitely Tundra, right? Tundra Plateau. So if my riddle, find my treasure and my respect. <clears throat> Trousers of Awakening. Interesting. They look weird. They look kind of like cell, like not cell shaded, but like they look like they don't belong. <laughs> I mean, I guess they're from a different game. No, I know it's from Link's Awakening. I know it's from Link's Awakening, but that's not what I mean. What I mean is that they. Like, the material looks different than all of the other armor. It looks different like the, um... Different from the Amiibo Link's Awakening armor. Oh, dude, yeah, this is actually... It's not even close in terms of outfits now. I like the tunings of the depth as much as the next guy, but this one is just... Can I please get a diamond? 
again, you does a safe scum here, but no. Okay, then the last location should be here. I was actually gonna dive down there, but then I found the gliding challenge. And got sidetracked, like, every time. But it's I actually I'm not sure if there's a Gleok there. I feel like I would have loaded in last time, but so far the Gleoks have been consistent. Also, it would make sense if this was an ice Gleok, but why would an ice Gleok be on the Thundra Plateau? You know, if anything, that should have another Thunder one. Also, I definitely need to switch my paraglider fabric to the red one again now. Enjoy, Sleepy. I mean, if any, this would make a great arena. Okay, I feel like it would be loaded in by now. Huh. Maybe this is the first of the locations you're supposed to find. Because it's just so easily visible. Like, maybe this is how you're supposed to start this whole thing. Uh, connect. What did it say? Am I, like, in time? Connect the southern columns midday shadow to the northern at the shadow center. But how how do I connect them? Do I have to make a light? Well, there is a suspicious claymore here. What's the claymore? Do I... Can I... How can I cast a shadow? Seventy one of those? Huh? Yeah. Nah. Okay, so I can connect shadows. Is there anything to build? Build with? Wait, this looks so suspicious. Was this here before? I don't know if it was. Um, hmm, yeah. I mean, if I stand on top of it, that's not gonna be enough, is it? We need essentially two pillars. Ultra Hand recognizes like nothing here. What I could try, and that would be. Interesting. And definitely cost me a lot of zonite. Hux. 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 
Man. Well, not enough. Mm, I could have moved that more. But now I'm connected. Uh, but it's not all shadow. Yeah, it's midday now at least. Um, Okay, wait. It's pretty easy to reach midday because we can just sleep till noon. But this does not really feel like the right solution to me. <laughs> Wait, I can't even get it up here. Oh, maybe this way. But it doesn't even hold. Uh. Wait, what's that over there? Oh, that's an island that I can um, go back with. Balancing Zonai device is smart, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. I shouldn't be reading chat, should I? It's just hard to unsee stuff like this when somebody just said, yeah. I just... Uh, I should be reading, I should be reading, I should be reading, I should be reading. <laughs> Until I'm done with the puzzle, at least. Why don't I fill my hearts? Why should I fill my hearts? I wonder. I usually only fill them when I need to. Um, or for example... <laughs> this is so scuffed. Uh, when I'm about to do... Please tell me if I make a campfire, this thing is not gonna despawn. Oh, my battery ran out. Wow, I have to time this so well. I feel like we're, we're probably solving this much more... I think we're solving this really unnecessarily. It's probably a much easier way. At least I wouldn't be surprised. Why does it turn off? Am I too far away? I have to sleep up there? I was gonna say, is there a battery? I didn't turn it on. I didn't turn it on. Oh my god, dude. There's gotta be a much easier way that I'm completely dismissing. Also, I wouldn't be surprised because I know that when you sleep, technically the game resets your coordinates. 
I wouldn't be surprised if that just turned it off. Then. for 13 hours please enjoy but be careful i'm much further into the game than you don't get something spoiled for you unless you don't care but just saying okay wait until noon now surely the stabilizer won't turn off then the midday shadow will make the connection Are you kidding me? It turned off immediately. I mean, I'm not that surprised, but... Okay, wait, maybe this is good enough. Nope. Please, let me ascend, let me ascend. <laughs> Shoot an arrow from here over there. Is that good enough? Because the arrow technically... What? Okay, I don't know why it worked. Did it work because of the arrow? Because the thing fell over. It probably was the arrow, no? Because the, the shadow flew over there. I feel like because the shadows weren't technically even connected. I think it fell and Link's shadow connected it. Do- are you sure? Okay, I'm- I would hate it- oh man, okay, okay. Wait, let's do this. I surely got an autosave, right? Let's save here. Load here. And do this. I feel like it might just be the arrow, because it seems way too easy. I don't know if any of you actually know for sure it's not possible with an arrow, but I feel like it's probably just an arrow, because it reminds me of that other shrine quest. <clears throat> oh, there's a Hinox here. Why is it still a red one? Is it red or...? Yeah. I guess you have to kill them once to scale them. If it was really that the thing fell over and my shadow wasn't the perfect spot to connect them, that would be wild. But I feel like, again, what makes me curious is... The, um... They put no building materials here. I feel like they would. Like, the other statues literally had a soldier's claymore attached to them. Like, they were, like, right there. But if it was really pure luck, I'll take it and run with it. But the shadow would travel from here over to the pillar if you shot an arrow. And I would honestly be shocked if it wasn't that easy, but maybe it isn't. This is a kid's game, right? Copium. No shot. <laughs> okay. Luck must have been on our side. Also, what do you even if, what do you do if this happens? There's a cloud. There was a shadow everywhere. Well, you know what? I'll take it. We built a contra contraption. We're gonna run with it. Maybe it was... The sh maybe it was both. Like, the arrow was the shadow that linked it at the end. Who knows? I'm just... I'm just not gonna question it. 
I wonder what's like the quote unquote intended solution there though. Like I wonder how other people do that. I don't know if any of you have done it. If you've built uh, something else or if you've also just also built it something. Well, I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if you get an outfit again when doing all of the shrines. Um, which would usually, which usually, which is what usually breaks those categories, because like doing all armor is a cool idea, but there's probably an outfit again um, behind all of the shrines. Oh, it took me until now until I made that connection. This was in the art book the entire time. I thought this was like an amiibo. This is the outfit. Legend says this mask resembles a hero who explored a mysterious island. That is so cursed. How do we combine this? <laughs> It is perfect. Can't wait for the combat montages. <laughs> Making the most most cursed out of it is gonna be a work of art by itself. Oh man, you don't... Rupee padding? A rope acquired in exchange for bubble gems. I didn't even read this yet. It protects the wearer, allowing them to lose... How did I not read this until now? Allowing them to lose rupees instead of health when hit? Don't forget to read indeed. I I always I just took this as like a, as an interesting outfit. Huh. It's like the yeah. But what does that even mean? Is it only active for a certain amount? Because I know there's other parts of the set. <laughs> Wait! Does this actually show you the damage? Does this show you the exact like damage value? Because I feel like 120 is pretty close to what a bomb would do. This would actually be really cool to test out damage values of stuff. That took- that lost me 120 rupees. I wouldn't be surprised if that's how much damage the bomb does. <clears throat> yeah, that basically means that with item duping, you can make infinite- you can be unkillable. Wait, that's actually crazy. Uh, being unkillable is not as broken as it is in Breath of the Wild Because there's no wind bombs yet But oh god, this game is gonna be broken Well, we finished that quest. I just need to figure out some Also the other I know the other I know the other room uh, With the treasure chest had a uh, hidden path that I didn't follow for the bubble frog. Yeah, recall and bullet time, but at least recall momentum seems seems kind of oh seems kind of broken. I have already um. I've already had experiences where when the moon jump was active I could have just ascended there right away um, When moon jump was active I got blasted Oh, um, Well the real moon jump not the moon jump glitch What do the frogs do? You can turn them in at uh, Coltin and he gives you that rupees that we just looked at for example. Yeah, please let's not talk about late game enemies if I haven't seen them. Um, 
not as close to finishing as you may think. Right, we got sidetracked. It's time for the third dungeon. That's where we're actually at. How many hours do I have in the game? Uh, 50. I only know it because that's my stream time, though. Like, I don't actually... I don't know if there's a way to track it yet. Read the tablet. Um, why is there... Why is there a huge monster drawn on the map? You probably should know that. Was was that important? Uh, man. Why? I feel like I... It's so weird because I don't want to read the chat, right? Like, I don't want to get backseated like that in the sense that, like, of course, now I want to read the text. Now I want to. Because now I know that I missed something. But I feel like I would have rather figured it out myself at one point that there's more to it. So should I just go emote only? Should I not read chat? I don't know how to handle it. It's annoying because some people are just chatting. Have you been to a colored sigil yet? Uh, I have a shrine on there, but I haven't been inside. If you can get inside, I don't know that yet. To the one who found my treasure, you've done well to solve the, my riddle and make it to this place. Your cleverness and cunning have earned you both a treasure and my respect. Thanks. <clears throat> I'm glad I came back. Unless it changes after you take it. It doesn't. Um, now actually, to Elden. Well, I can... Oh, no, but no, I don't have the bubble gem. <laughs> Ouch. Well, I, okay, let, let's let's say it like this. I get it. It's easy to slip up and not, not know, knowing exactly when you quote-unquote backseating, but it's just basically whenever you tell me to do something, then that's essentially, believe it or not, you are trying to play my game. If you say, read the tablet, go up there, use this weapon, fill up your hearts, all of this is that is like you are playing the game. You're trying to play my game, which I understand because this is an exciting, really fun game, um, but I would also like to play that game. Yep, looks like we're reloading again to get the frog again. Well, it looks like I'm saving one. Oh my god, all of these auto saves. Looks like I'm saving one bubble frog. And then again, like, again, I'm, I'm just cutting them some slack. I still don't want it to happen. I, I'm not pretending like I can't see it at all. Like, I feel like in that case, in that message just now, they... <laughs> they wanted to, like, save me some time. Beautiful. Because they maybe thought I hadn't found the other treasure chests yet. Because maybe it depends on which order you get them or something. Um... But yeah, I don't know. Again, just try not to, please. I wonder if we're gonna find out more about Misko. Because he seems to be... He seems to have been around for some time, right? He was only... He only had one question. And his treasure in Breath of the Wild was so lame. Um, in comparison. It was like a sapphire. <laughs> but yeah, the reason for the big master sword, you should probably find out yourself at one point. Legendary bandit is just that legendary. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he must have been... The big banner, but I still wonder if, if we'll find out more about him, like... It would be cool if he made an appearance somewhere, maybe in one of the ancient cutscenes. Because it seems like he's from that time. Right. Goron City. I'm a little scared. I also like that there's basically a roller coaster leading down. Oh, hello there. So I guess it's not actually going to be hot in Goron City. 
There's definitely something in there. But only in caves or like in the volcano. This place has... Oh my god! Holy fuck! You gotta let you in on something. There are some untrustworthy fellas rolling around the city right now. So if you're loaded up on ore, you should probably sell it before you've scammed out of it. We're good, Gorons. We'll take it off your hands for a great price. How about three rupees for all your ore? Do you think if you press A here, it lit it's lit that you literally do it? You probably, right? I wonder how many people have unintentionally <laughs> spammed A here. Huh? Uh, maybe this would have happened either way. Hey, what are you doing? Mm. Uh-oh, heal. Let's get out of here. Oh wait, that was beige! Right? It, I think it just said it. There was a guy! No! The minigame Goron. I think so. You almost got duped there, huh? Now that Death Mountain's eruptions have stopped and the lava's cooled, I've been seeing more Hylian travelers. Uh. Which is great, except those two have been swindling travelers by offering to take their ore for the for next to nothing. Also, she is um the one who was there before, right? The ember trader. Ten trading trading embers. For rupees. After the marbled rock roast started surfacing, everyone around here has been acting strange. Mm. So be mindful of any Gorons who've got marbled rock roast. Mm -hmm. Jewel trade, yeah. Wait. Is that what it's called? I, but not the one where you get the jewel piece, right? It's, but it's the one where you put, you give 10 ember and you get 500 rupees. My name is Ramella. I'm a jeweler, jeweler from Gerudo Town in the southwest of Hyrule. The ore that Yunobo... Um, that's tools of the trade. Which one? <laughs> I believe she is the one that takes 10 ember and gives you 500 rupees. The one in Gerudo, okay, so this one is a jewel trade. Right? The order Yunbo Co deals is in high quality, so I always come here to replenish my stock. If you're open to it, I'll gladly buy or off of you from my shop. <clears throat> How rude, I'd never rip you off. Well, I guess you did almost get ripped off, so your response is warranted. That's a weird timing. Oh. Uh, I'm not going to forget to force you. If you decide you'd like to sell, then let me know. Right now I'm low on Ember. The run back. Wait, is it really <laughs> Same quest. If you sell me a parcel of 10 pieces of Ember, I'll buy them for a little more than you could sell them for at other shops. Oh. All right, I'm off to Goron City to get more gems. Take care. That's a much worse trade than it used to be. But I think Ember also sells for less, so they balanced it. Eh? Ah. It definitely doesn't sell for 20 now, right? I didn't just get scammed. So check in with me every so often to see what I'm looking for. No, I think Ember sells for like 10 now, so it's still double, maybe? I have a bunch of it and I never really ah. use it, so... Oh! 10 topuses for 1,000 rupees. Oh! You know what we just, what we just found? The topaz farming spot? Huh. But I think she's probably gonna change her offer again afterwards. I think you get much more gems just by wandering. Yeah, for sure, because they sell for... They sell for less? Oh my god, that's so sick. The music is so cursed. Oh my god. Okay, they're actually high. Imagine listening to this while high.
Hello? Hello there? This is wild. <laughs> Kabetta's diary. My two brothers and I have started work at Unibo Co, which is really, so Unibo is the boss, I mean, now, I guess it makes sense, which I, is really taking off. Unibo Co is a big company that's single-handedly taking on mining in Elden. President Unibo, who heads up the company, is all about making Goron smile. Is he going to be a gigachat? He wants to make travelers visiting Gerudo a Goron city smile too. So the three of us have important work to do. I'm going to do all I can to make President Unibo proud. Today, President Unibo is treating everyone to this new stuff called Marbled Rock Roast. He's... he is... it's his fault. But it's kind of weird around here lately. He hasn't been himself since he started wearing that strange mask? Some of the others are acting funny too. But President Unibo is being mighty generous, treating all of us to a fancy meal. My two brothers and I have started work at Unibo Co, which is really taking off. Unibo Co is a big company that's single-handedly taking on mining in Elden. President Unibo, who heads up the company, is all about making Goron smile. Let's make a smile too. Oh wait, th uh, that's the same one. <laughs> but, um... Okay. The Gorons, they didn't become stones, they're eating gloom-infested stones. It w it w wait, maybe when, he, when he's high, I can get this for free? I cannot. Yo, customer, only re only reason I'm still running this place is because Boss Bluto will get mad if I close up the shop. If I had it my way, I'd quit and live out my days covered in a massive pile of beautiful marbled rock roast. Buy my stuff. Okay, um... I haven't sold stuff in a... in a minute. Living the life here without some um, duping stuff. Oh. I do want to eventually try to collect all armor, by the way. Which means I'm even gonna buy the expensive, annoying mask, but then again, maybe there's a way to get it from a quest again, but maybe not. I'll buy two pieces for now, but eventually I'm gonna wanna buy the mask because I want it all. 30 rupees for these. Damn, that's pretty good. It's pretty easily to farm. Pretty easy to farm as well. Um what's the problem? Guts. Solid price. I think I might have enough now for the first two. What's up, Star? How much is Ember selling for? I believe 10. So, I made double, basically, from the quest. Flame-resistant equipment must be popular at the time. Nowadays, the only folks who buy the stuff are Hylians or Lava Lovers who uh, work at the caves for Unibo Core. So that's why I'm saying dirt cheap. Wait, it's the same price. This is one- this is this- Okay, they balanced it. The mask used to be 1,200, uh, 2,000. And this used to be 600. Interesting. I I feel like we will definitely need double frame, flame resistance at one point. I wouldn't be surprised. Um, I don't know about triple, but definitely double. So I might as well get there now. The blue ring in my armor inventory is a hairband. Oh, this is worth so much, but I'm obviously saving it all. Um, it's something you can find. I don't want to give it away. It was one of the cutest moments in the game. <clears throat> uh, I hate dealing with customers. Yeah, okay, okay, chill. I need to sell stuff, sorry. You just found it? Yeah, try to not give it away. I think it's a really cute and... I get cute discovery. I'm gonna be broke, dude. Mm, I hate the pants. Maybe I get the mask first. 
I'm gonna have way too many horns at one point, so I guess they actually become a money source. Like these, I'm not even really gonna be using anymore. Yeah, finding out is, is, is very cool. Um, ah, but I guess if I had the pants, I could keep my favorite armor on. I'm gonna get it all eventually anyway. It would look ugly though, this combo, I'm not gonna lie. Flame resistant armor, never the cool, never really, really nice. Never really that good looking. This music is so cursed, I love it. I guess I can sell an extra Dinrald's Claw because I used the one for the quest already. It does have 18 fuse power, but I have a much better fire fuse material. I'm still not sure what armor you need luminous stones for. Apparently, it says apparently the stone can be used as a base in making special clothing. If it's still the radiant set, I don't care because I hate the radiant set. It does not look appealing. Yeah, exactly, Ghost Ship. That's literally my experience with it. I kind of unintentionally got the scale. Probably same thing for now. Okay, I'm almost there. I almost completed the set. I like keeping one of each of the materials just to like have them there, you know. I think that's it, right? I'd be broke, but at least I've completed another set. If I can find Flame Breaker gear somewhere, it is what it is. But now I can have double Flame Breaker gear while not looking as ugly as usual. Still not great, though. That's blue, though. What is your current strategy for building stamina versus hard container? Seems like you've changed your mind. Yes, I have. I still think stamina is overrated. Um, but there's a reason you'd want stamina, but I'm not gonna tell you it. I was essentially spoiled into changing my mind. Uh, Crane, not you too. And after all my warnings about the marble... Um, there's... I, I think you can be safe though, because there's still a way to change your mind later. That's what I can tell you. Um, Crane, not you too. And after all my warning about... Oh, he's not eating it. About the marbled rock roast. Aww. So everyone's acting funny cause... Because of the marbled rock roast that President Unibo is mining. Hey. What are you mumbling about over there? Is that him? Is he a bully now? Uh. Of course. You all talking about marble rock roast, are ya? What the fuck? Oh. Unibo co-president. Of course. Well. There's nothing to worry about, in my opinion. <clears throat> now stop flapping your rock chompers and get over here, Goro! Wait. Was that his voice, though? What so we were. Oh. Want? So we were fighting him in the trailer. Because he has the chain. Because it, was his voice only super high pitched in English? Uh, in uh, in Japanese? Uh, I guess it's kind of like it. Well, if it ain't Link, you're so tiny I barely even notice you. Bro, I hard carried your ass. Hey. Unibo, what's the big idea? Talking like that uh, to our esteemed guests. Huh. In German, it's pretty high, right? Bluto, or should I say, boss, you really don't know your place, do you? Okay, Bluto's kind of mad. Slurgo, tell him. Tell me who runs Goron City these days. Oh. Unoboko. Hey. And Ofrag, who's in charge of Unoboko? No. You are President Unobo. Do you hear that, Bluto? You're not need around here anymore. Hmm. <laughs> what the fuck, he became a bully. Uh, you think I'm gonna just sit here and... Oh. So, Link, what's your business in Goron City, huh? Huh? Princess Zelda, huh? And you're wondering about any strange going on, going song. 
Princess Zelda? I heard she'd, uh, she'd gone missing, but you're telling me she's still missing? I mean, it's hard to miss those lovely blonde locks of hers, after all. Locks? Does that mean hair? Uh-oh. The lady with hair like that? She's the same one President Yunobo talks to about marbled rock roast. Ah, uh, it's not really Yunobo's fault, I see. Pipe down, you two. You, you keep your traps shut if you know what's good for you. As you can see, Goron City is the picture of peace, and we can't help a Princess Zelda. So you'd better shove off. We've gotta go um, get more marbled rock roast. I can't afford to keep her waiting. You know, I swear, if you bring in any more of that stuff, I'll... Uh, uh, my aching back. Stodgy old guy sticking your nose into things when you've got your spine to worry about. Slogo, off rack. Time to head back to Unibo HQ. <laughs> this this version of the theme is sick. Uh huh. Unibo is a bully now. Sapphire for three hundred. That's a scam. An absolute scam. Mm -hmm. Customer, who so far is old news, you know. Um, it's all about marbled rock rose, which I'm busy eating. As you can see, shop's closed. Oh, so I can't even buy it, even if I had the money. Oh no. I Interesting. Uh. Since you're speaking to me again, I assume you have to. S oh no, sh it's the same one. Yeah, yeah, no, I don't have those. Sorry, sorry, sorry. A loving your content found you last month on YouTube in the lead up to release. Watching the Beard Bear playthrough, but started yours last night. Plan on watching every second. Loving the commentary and the god gamer skills. Thank you, Doctor. I appreciate it. To be fair, I played the game, uh, the first game, quite a bit, but I'm glad you enjoy. Wait, is that the Boulder Breaker? No. It is. Hey, Bob, keep your hands off that. Hey, Fugo, get this guy out of here. Oh, that's right, he's not here now. Anyway, the tank of junk is still a work in progress. It's fragile, so don't touch it. Give me a break. That Hylian Blondie had me making the weirdest stuff. She said it was a simple mask, but it looked funny to me. And she had me make it with an odd material. At the time, my apprentice, uh, apprentice Fugo <clears throat> kept saying he wanted to be a smithy like me. But now all he talks about is marbled rock roast. And it was finally a time uh, for me to pass along the secret of our trade. How to make the boulder breaker. Customer? Sorry, Bob. I'm a smithy, not a shop shopkeeper. I focus on the boulder breaker right now, the art of crafting. Such a beauty has been passed on through the ages. Only a chosen few can make it. It's a historical weapon and making it is an absolute honor. Here I thought I'd be teaching my apprentice Fugo to make it. Right. I'm done with him. Okay, so this is probably the same. We have to like avert the crisis first. But it's actually here. Can I try something? We've tried most of the glitches um, from Breath of the Wild already, but something immediately keeps... I mean, I'm sure a lot of you already know what I'm about to try. <clears throat> something immediately catches my attention here. Oh, it doesn't automatically catch on fire anymore. Ah, uh, the prompt doesn't seem to change. Okay, this might not work. Based off of this already. Did they really pitch everything? <laughs> I mean, this seems like a big one. If you don't know, there was a glitch in Breath of the Wild that... Oh, but I wonder... Okay, it probably won't work. But there was a glitch in Breath of the Wild where if you had the prompt, you can't stand a bit away. Right, what if I break this? There was a glitch in Breath of the Wild where... Essentially, if you made... 
If you made a campfire <laughs> and you slept on it, um, you could grab weapons like the Master Sword early because the coordinates would break. Oh. Hmm, this could work. <laughs> it probably won't, though. Are you trying the new glitches or are you avoiding them? I tried out the item duping. Okay, the prompt didn't even show up. Basically, what you would want is you would want the take prompt to show up. But then changing... Like, changing your camera should change it to a different prompt. Like the sleeping on the campfire prompts. But it looks like they made the prompt work differently. Prompts work differently. Uh, I tried out the item duping, but I'm not using it in the playthrough. You can start looking down as soon as the screen fades? Okay. Okay, I mean, I did move there. The prompt took a while and it's still... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Huh. Very interesting. Okay, he does not like that. It, 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 it's kind of as eluding as the uh, the shrine orb. In um, the Sensu Racing Shrine. Okay, that shop is still there. They still sell Goron Spice, which I have not picked up yet. Made from several types of spices. An initial wave of spiciness paves the way for the sweetness. Oh! Oh, oh, oh actually, I need to try a bunch of things. I was wondering this entire time if ketchup is in the game. Um, and I need to make pizza. At least that's how I would have imagined it working, right? You have tomatoes and sugar, essentially. It's okay, we'll make pizza then. Tomatoes, tomato wheat, cheese. I thought that's the recipe. Hylian tomato pizza, baby. A pizza made with fresh Hylian tomato slices. Melty Hateno cheese make it irresistible. Pork. <clears throat> yeah, um, actually, I think there was discussion about this. If, um, all recipes will be needed for 100%. <laughs> that would be absolutely wild. There's... Oh my god. I am at 227 and I don't even know... I don't know if it goes higher than that. No way, do I know her? She looks familiar. Oh. Duma? I don't know. Hey fella, what are you thinking? Um, what are you thinking strolling into this war zone? You must have seen the beware of Gorons going wild for Primo Red Rock's headline in the paper. Yes, I actually have. Huh? You kidding me? You don't read the papers. Here, let me give you a sample of this peerless reporting. How oh, does she work for Gazette? Goron scams are rampant these days, so Goron City bound travelers should exercise caution. And you see who wrote that? Me. Duma, reporter extraordinaire. What? You've never heard of me? Oh. Uh, but, I'm, but that's yesterday's news. Time is money, and I ain't rich enough to spend uh, it taking, talking to some random stranger. I gotta get back to the trial of the great mystery. It's something um, so secret, nobody's figured it out. Oh. Hey, now now is the part um, where you're supposed to ask the great mystery. <clears throat> the great oh. mystery? Ah, oh, jeez, I hate to let this slip, but since you want to know so badly, I guess I can't let you in on it. 
We all know Gorons lived underground way back when, uh, but the particulars are still a total mystery. A great one, even. Aww. All we know is the place name. The place is named Gorondia. Gorondia. And you're lucky to even get that. Ask most Gorons, and they tell you uh, they don't know a thing. Aww. But uh, am I going to let that stop me? No, because I'm an awesome reporter. I'm going to get to the bottom of this great mystery and turn it into an even greater book. Aww. Duma's Guide to the Unknown. It's gonna fly up the shelves. Wait, Duma, I think that's like a location in the game or something. Time to start practicing my signature. Interesting. <clears throat> you who have conquered the shrines and claimed their lights of blessing. In exchange for four lights of blessing, right. I don't have more sages' wills. This one has a crown. Okay, we max out with stamina, just so it's done. Duma was the woman you met in front of Sokofi who warned you about Sidon, when then gets angry at you for telling her who me first after doing Ruta. Wait, so is this Zora? Or is there an actual woman there? Because I know there's a Zora next to Sokofi as well. No! I just misclicked. Okay, it looks like we need to do another shrine. There's a shrine right here, though. No, the Star Horse lady is like Juanel. I actually met her already somewhere else. Or like Juanel. She's actually still in Hebra. I believe? I, I met her somewhere. I actually recognize her. She looks similar, though. All right, I guess we're doing the new Shemo Sam. Whatever it's gonna be called this time. Is it in the same spot? Not quite. Wait, didn't I just see one? I just saw a shrine. No, oh, it's up here. Wow. <laughs> a huge, a huge move. How are you finding? I'm finding them infinitely more enjoyable. Well, it's 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 interesting. Um, what I don't like so far are the combat training shrines. I get why they exist. Uh, I get they exist so that you basically um, teach players all of these mechanics that they didn't teach in the first game, like sneak strike, throwing items. But I feel like they could have combined them a little more. There's quite a few of them. But there are some shrines, I'm not sure how many you've seen, that are just so much better than anything they've put in Breath of the Wilds. They're just like pure fun, pure joy. Yeah, rockets are obviously huge for shrine skips. Um, recall is also very powerful. I mean, there's like 600 ways to beat most of them. How much of the story? Okay, rip. <clears throat> I didn't forget to pay the internet bill, but I had a disconnect yesterday. It's been a bit weird, it's been a bit bad. Um, I actually literally almost forgot to pay my rent because of Tears of the Kingdom. I did it last second. Um, like, I think yesterday or the 14th. I was like playing 14 hours and then I realized that was interesting. Um... But I didn't forget to pay the internet bill. My internet has just been bad yesterday and today, apparently. <laughs> Thinking about real life stuff is hard these days. But uh, we arrived in the shrine and I connected this bridge. That's all you missed, I think. And I also said that I've done around a little bit over 50% of the sto story. Was that supposed to be that easy? I don't think so. I was going to say, what? I guess it just works. Um, okay. Um, da, da, da. The worst part about the- Ooh, it's like a snake. The worst part about the shrines is that they have the Among Us theme. But everything else is great.
Some people would probably call that the best part. Okay, I don't know if this is gonna work, but yeah, you 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 can be you can be lucky about that piston. Okay, and now we drive. Now we cruise. Let's go, baby. We're making it, baby. Um. Let's go, baby. Okay, whatever. Whatever, dude. Really? No, don't attach this. Oh, oh my god, chill, 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 chill. Don't run me over. Why does this have like a life of its own? I'm, I feel like I'm, I'm doing this completely wrong. You're supposed to like a conveyor belt. Or something, right? So janky, I managed to start it wrong. Yeah, I think, I, I think there's probably a, another way to do this. Like... Am I supposed to go over the lava first somehow? How would I do that though? Because it seems like you're supposed to connect the bridge first, right? But then like, why do I even need to build the bridge? What? But what is the... What is the... Wait, I'm actually confused. Right, but now I've crossed anyway. Even if I was supposed to use the car sideways or whatever. I think I had the attach prompt on screen there for a second. But like not completely. Like even that is like, eh. see, I had it there. I had to like mash it. What? And then it broke. The glue broke. Okay, I guess there's another part. I have to take one of these parts now. No, I can't even take this one apart. I have to take the car itself. But then why am I even going back? <laughs> this is so weird. Okay, so I made it here. I guess I could have made a bridge and then the, I'm already here then though. What? Maybe there's a chest that I didn't see. And now this car can just drive over. Is there a chest up there? Let me see. Is not. It's just, it's just strange. Because can I not just like take the car now and get over to the other side? <laughs> right. Okay. Sure. Now what? Hmm? Do you have to put all of the orbs in there for it to be heavy enough, maybe? I believe so. I have to make a monster truck. I knew it. Okay, that's pretty cool. I didn't get all of them, but I don't know. Maybe that's already enough. Yeah, it doesn't have to be literally all of them. 
Also again, I'm sure I missed the chest. I don't remember. Oh. I never tried ascending into a wheel. I don't know if that works. Great game. No, but seriously, it is just so good. Oh, I have to drop it through this. Wait, what? Oh, I did have space. Those sound quite heavy. Dun, dun, dun. I just love the shrines visually as well. And again, I said this earlier, like the biggest quality of life is that you can activate them from like anywhere. You don't need to walk into like a small staircase any anymore. That's going to save me literally minutes if I ever run all shrines. <clears throat> can I say the answer for the first part now? You can say your answer, but that doesn't mean that mine is invalid. That's how this game works. Somebody said to turn around the wheel and go across. I can see that you can probably also ascend into the car the same way and then glide over. You can bomb jump over, rocket jump over. You can probably, I don't know, you can, there's probably infinite things you can do. You attach the car to the far end of the bridge and have the car stretch it. Oh, the car rolls it over is what you mean. I can see that's another way. That seems like the intended one. But again, there is no intended. I need to stop even saying intended. Uh, is that Unibus? Why is he a Cooper? Oh, that's Unibus headquarters now. Where we sa once saved him. Dude, I can't believe that this is just gonna force... This is gonna make our hatred to Unibo even even bigger. Like, you always pissed us off, and now we have even more reason to be annoyed. Wait, are these hands, or is that a cousin? Or is it just random gloom? Oh, there's just a bunch of gloom that's, like, oozing out. How did the Sunderline get here? Remind us why it work as the red substance that spouts from the cracks is called gloom. Avoid it at all costs. Coming into contact with gloom drains your vitality. If you touch it, get away from it immediately and rest. Resting in the fresh air or the surface is recommended. There's an armored white boko. But I hate these horns, so I'm not gonna bother. Is Unibu really worse in this game? Uh, well, I'm not sure yet. But now, he seems to be, from what I'm understanding so far, he seems to be working with uh, fake Zelda or whatever. To um, feed everyone, essentially, gloom-infested rock roasts. And he's kind of a bully now. Oh my god, there's a literal roller coaster. There's no way they don't make this game into like a theme park at one point, right? At the end, um, they have the, the Universal one now, right? Universal Nintendo Land. Pretty sure someone said you can uh, get to the end of the tracks if you get into this minecart, but how do I make it move? I bet. The ancient city of Gorondia is over there. Gorondia? Uh, oh, hey, who are you, guy? Me? I'm not doing nothing. Wait, is that... Doug B is the guy with the drill shaft, right? Quest. Well, if you're wondering, Gorondia is the legendary place where the Gorons of old used to live. I heard there's an amazing treasure stored there, too. They had even more advanced technology than we do. And I heard they used to ride in strange vehicles. Oh. I wanted to use this minecart to search for the treasures, but I can't get it to budge. <clears throat> How many region quests have I done so far? This is my third. 
Anyway, you better uh, not tell anyone all my secrets, okay? I just don't have the... Um... So how... Wait, how is that even a quest? He, he had a quest, right? Um, oh, searches for Gorondia. He wants to head down the minecart tracks, but is having a difficult time to move. So, is it just... But this track doesn't really lead there, does it now? Whoa, that's so sick. Thankfully, I didn't see that in time. Um, wait, that is... Okay, I'm going in there. Whenever I see the Misko thing, I'm going. <laughs> Unobo Co. HQ South Cave. Oh yeah, metal um, uh, wooden weapon. I feel like I've never seen these guys attack. Okay, it's over there. Easy enough. <laughs> Very easy. That was a stick drift. <clears throat> the controller drifted. <laughs> really bad. Yeah. Okay. What is this gonna be? I should have come here much earlier. I've been looking for this piece like my entire playthrough. Used in ancient rituals, this item is made of heat absorb uh, absorbing cloth that produces flame in high temperature environments. Oh, so I guess... Okay, so there's gonna be like Ember and the, the there's probably a Nadra one as well. So this is the general one. And if you're in fire, it glows red. That's why the nader one glowed blue in the trailer. Wow, does that actually increase the range as well? How does like a triple fire buff look like? I feel like it is very cool, but there's almost too much going on. Um, I feel like I prefer this when it's, uh, that is so cool though. Hmm. This is even interesting from a lore perspective, now that I think about it. Use an ancient ritual. This item is made of heat absorbing cloth that produces flame and height. Because, like, it's what we know now from the story, right? Dinral was probably someone. At one point, maybe. I don't know if you can even take it that far. And maybe that was like what they wore, but it was using rituals. Hmm. Not sure. I have the memories done, but let's. I, I'm still trying to talk about it as little as possible because some people are joining the stream and just watching for the section I'm at. But we don't really know the stone's origins yet, either. I think it wasn't really shown, at least, per se. I think they were just bestowed. Like, I don't really, I don't really understand. Actually, yeah, there's still some questions about Raru to me. Because Raru descended from the sky, possibly sent by Hylia, because he came with the aspects of, like... 
And, and I'm not even sure about Zonya either. Like, did both of them come from the sky? But Zonya doesn't look Zonai. Um, but he was the one who bestowed the the stones. But we also know that they were down there and then there wasn't, like, islands in the sky yet. Um, yeah, I mean, I have to beat the game before I really truly th theorize and stuff. I think it says in one memory that him and Mineral are the last of the zone, which implies there were more. Well, um... Which could also imply that there were more stones. Like, maybe their gods were people like the dragons Din, uh, Nehru, etc. Maybe there were people who once became dragons, I don't know. There's, I, I, I don't really want to theorize before I have watched everything. Also, if I pull out this bomb, it's gonna blow up, isn't it? I don't know if I want to risk that. I I'll let someone else figure that out. Yeah. There's a car in here. Maybe that's my way back. Please don't roll down, please don't roll down, please don't roll down, please don't roll down. Don't roll down. It's rolling down. Oh man. It's hard to build a car if it's not if you don't have it upside down. <laughs> Bomb floors are incredible. Huh? Wait, why am I even going here? Oh, this was how I supposed. Oh, yeah. well, I see. I guess this is how we're supposed to get to that armor. The question is, where is the bubble frog? Do I care enough for that right now? Probably there, right? Wow, they nerfed that so hard. But it is still possible. How did you get the cape with the hood down? Um, it's part of... You have to talk to an NPC in Hateno. If you haven't been in Hateno yet, um, then... Um, It'll be pretty clear once you get to Ateno which NPC you have to talk to. I mean, I feel like, I feel like that's uh, something that you can just say. It's, uh, there's an NPC called CC, you have to talk to them with, the, with your hood on. It's kind of hidden. Did you find the fire tech chest piece in the cave too? Yes, I can show you which cave. Um, well, actually, I, there was... Was it this one? I think it was. Goronbi River Cave. I'm assuming the last one also has to be here somewhere, but I haven't found it yet. I did get the Dinral horns, yeah. Um, I want to see them outside here. Yeah, I feel like I prefer that like this. I feel like I prefer it like this. I feel like when it's glowing, there's too much going on. Uh oh. Oh, they're like time bombs as well. Oh, the suck octoroks are back as well. Wait, I want to do the trailer thing. <laughs> I 
I literally recalled on the frame I got hit. That's what they should have put in the trailer. Wow. Just like advertised. <laughs> nice combo, coffee. Not bad, not bad at all. Just watching you move, I can't tell you're not no ordinary guy. Yeah, I don't think I look very ordinary. <laughs> it was destiny that brought us together here, and destiny that I give you this as thanks. Don't fight fate now. Mighty cheesy baked fish. Low level attack boost. Ah. I'm still traveling the world in search of Misko's treasure. Yeah, sorry, I just found it. Ah. The rumors say, say there's a piece hidden in the cave around here. Mm. But I couldn't find it, so I think I'll head to my next destination. That's not to say I don't have time to chat if you're so inclined. Ah. Let's see, why don't we talk about CC's cloud fashion enthusiasts? Um, you must have seen them on the road, the folks wearing those adorable mushroom themed ah. outfits. Those outfits are high-end CC brand fashion. I guarantee you anyone dressed like that is after Misko's mm. treasure. To them, Misko's treasure represent the peak of fashion. And that has them searching high and low for any piece they can find. <laughs> I'm so excited about the whole thing that they're always telling me the latest rumors about caves and treasures. Ah. Um, okay, what if I put on this and talk to them? Okay, no reaction, even though I'm literally wearing the most prized possession of CC. Sad. Um, dude, this looks so sick. Like, how sick is this outfit? I don't even have the right pants, but the Hylian pants in black work with it just fine. Doesn't this look like I'm playing Mario right now? I feel like to me this looks like a Koopa base. I haven't really seen... Um, oh, I can't hold it. I just realized I haven't really seen what happens if you just dive on the ground. Oh, it actually didn't damage me there. Because I guess it wasn't far enough. Yeah, true, like lucky too. Yeah, true, true. Um, this is the same text from the other uh, cook pods. I realized though that I am... Um, should be doing some cooking. Like again, the, the amount of the speed that you can mash with it here now for cooking is just wild. Like, if you have really fast menuing, this is kind of insane. Oh, no, 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 not Saminoka. Yeah, even the text mashing. And I made Koro cutscenes longer? I didn't know that yet. Great, thanks. Thanks, game. Pizza percent speedrun will will happen. Seems too fun to not do. Wait, what have I sorted it by right now? By type, that's cool. So it puts uh, if you do by type, it puts like food up here. It's good. In certain situations. Have I, do I still have gloom food left? Not as much as I would, would like. What is the armor? Looks so good. Is the ember armor? I found it in caves around Elden. I think it's just called ember. Yeah. Has this new dance is great, yeah. What else can we make with cheese? 
cheese. What do people eat? We have we've done pizza. Probably something with milk. Like some like some 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 cheesy creamy pasta or something. Yeah, let's do cheese. Oh, I don't have another Tabantha weed. I was gonna say cheese, milk, egg, and weed. Maybe we would have made some pasta. We'll try just like this. Egg, cheese, milk. All of the dairy in one. What is this gonna make? Oh, just an omelette because an egg is in there. Have I tried anything with uh, oil yet? I don't know if I've used... I don't think I've used my oil yet. What about a fried porgy? Match. <clears throat> Wait, don't tell me you sell this for cheaper here. Okay, same price. They, they just wanted to make we wanted to make sure that you don't miss it. I don't believe we've met before. Are you a new worker here? Please tell me you are. Uh, right? <laughs> ah, good. You have no idea how badly you were needed. We have a dire staffing shortage at the moment. All the young Gorons are so obsessed with marble rock roast, but they can't be bothered to swing a pickaxe. Oh, this is probably where, the, where you get it for free or some shit. I'm about to regret it. I hope President Yudo will address the issue somehow, but in the meantime, we get all the workers. We need all the workers we can get. Uh, oh no, this is just a shop. Okay. That might still be a quest where you can get it for free, but I just wanted to have it, you know? So they're not gonna let me in, I'm assuming. Slurgo and Offrag. Oh, this is the tra this is gonna be the trailer. Hey, it's you again. Uh, the one who knows President Unibor. Uh, He's talking about the marble rock rose with the blonde lady right now. No one is allowed to come in. Uh, I don't really like that lady, but it's definitely the marble rock rose fault that everyone's been acting funny. Uh, yeah, President Unibor said he got that weird mask he's wearing from the lady too. Uh, he was always so nice, but as soon as he started wearing it, he got a he got real mean. Uh, Hey, uh, you Oh, I guess, yeah, I guess maybe Unibo isn't really bad. He's like corrupted. Hey, you aren't friends with President Unibo, aren't you? Uh, you are. You know how he created Unibo Co. for mining? It was supposed to be helpful for people who needed ore and stuff. But now it's just making things weird around here. Um, if we let you pass, will you convince President Unibo to make Unibo Co. stop roast, uh, mining marbled rock roast? Yeah, this is gonna be the trailer. Did you hear that? Because there were two kids looking at them f at, at us fight. We have to actually- is Unibo gonna be a boss? That would be so sick. I would love to beat up Unibo. Sure did. Maybe he'll get President Unibo to be himself again. Go right in. Please let me beat up Unibo. Please! 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 I've been waiting for this moment for six years. Please! This is how I mind the gloom infected rock roast. <laughs> Cut it out already, President Unibo. We want you to take off that weird mask so you can go back to the President Unibo we know and love. Oh, boys. Huh? Yeah, he's being corrupted. By the way, I'm not I'm not shocked that Zelda's here because I already have done like memories. I'm already pretty sure that she's like either fake or corrupted. Or probably fake. Princess Zelda's right, marbled rock rose is good. It makes everyone happy. Let's go! Dude! This is gonna be my favorite boss fight of all time. I don't even care if it takes long. I don't care if it Nah. I will literally make save files here. Just for this. Oh, never mind. You can only hit him once? Okay, never mind. It sucks. It's a bad boss fight, but it doesn't matter. Oh, we have to, like, uh, have him roll against walls first. Oh, wait. That didn't work. Oh, did he not roll against the gloom? Ah, okay. He needs to roll against those, like, gloom things. What? 
Oh, he, we can only hit him with single hits. It doesn't matter. He's getting beat up. That's all that matters. He uh, goes pretty quick. Like, I can't even jump in time. There we go. What? I don't really understand it. Like, am I not meant to have him bounce into those bombs? He does that so quickly. You basically have to anticipate it. Wait, what? Um... Okay, did he not hit them before? Weird. Oh, the mask is broken. What happened? Huh? Slurgo, Ofrak, I, I don't understand. Ooh. Everything's a blur ever since I put on the mask from Princess Zelda. I need to talk to her. Maybe she can tell me what the story is. Oh. Where is she anyway? Huh? Ah, Princess Zelda. Huh? <laughs> Uh oh. Well, I'm ascending out of here, boys. Have fun in here. Huh? <clears throat> Is everyone alright? No, nobody's injured. Huh? What's that? I thought I heard something. Huh? Well, it doesn't matter right now. Princess Zelda is just outside the cave. Oh, uh, the blonde lady was Princess Zelda? Huh? Yeah, and I need to ask her about that mask. The marbled rock roast. We gotta hurry to talk to her. Oh. The only way to break those red rocks is with my charge attack. So Unibo has a charge attack as a move? Or? But I can't really see uh, where I'm going when I charge. Link, be my eyes and guide me. Unibo's power of fire. Unibo's aura is charged. She can be aimed in any direction for a fierce, a fiery rolling attack. Do I have to talk to him too? Uh, I don't really like that that much. That's why P Tulin's power feels like the best. Uh, because you can just do it. Goro! Goro! Ah. No, that was not quite enough, Goro. I need you one more time. That did the trick. Come on, boys, let's go up the Princess Zelda. <clears throat> it's going pretty well, DK. I'm heading towards the fifth. Uh, sorry, third. Oh. I forgot how numbers worked for a second. Um, location. Princess Zelda. Mm. I'm. I'm not seeing her. Hmm. Oh. What's that red haze spouting from Death Mountain? Goro. Uh -huh. You don't remember Prince President Unibo? Princess, I was about to say. Princess Unibo. You told us the red haze is dangerous and that we shouldn't go near it. Oh. It showed up at the start at the same time Hyrule Castle started floating and the upheaval happened. The ground was super rumbly and you were worried Death Mountain might erupt again. So you went to check it out. Uh. Yeah. And when you came back from the mountain... You were wearing that mask. Huh. I remember now. I saw Princess Zelda at Death Mountain's crater. She talked to me and gave me that mask to wear. Mm -hmm. So does that mean Princess Zelda lives inside Death Mountain? Mm. Well, she's definitely not here. Maybe if you go up there, we'll find her. Oh. Slurgo, Ofrek, 
I'm gonna go look for Princess Zelda. I can't be having you two along, but I'll sort this out. I'll ask her how to get everyone back to normal. Ooh. So wait back home for me. Everything is gonna be a-okay. <laughs> yep. Link, please come with me to Death Mountain to look for the princess. Cards are sure useful. <laughs> they sure are. I think I saw a drag heading up there. Um, but this... Oh my god, there it is. Holy shit. Time to make a rocket cards. Oh my god. Well... I think this is an escort mission done right, though. Um, I don't think we have to wait for him. He just, like, eventually follows. Shrine of Light nearby. I'm assuming in whatever this cave is. And maybe we can get a minecart from here too. Or maybe not. Isle of Rabak Gallery. So this is... Uh, we, we used to have a shrine right here. Oh, wait. This is the same minecart track. I didn't even realize this until now because it looks so different. Well, I don't know. Maybe they kind of changed it, but... And also, can you shield have this now? Oh, you can. I will definitely shield so down from there later. <laughs> oh my god, that felt great. <clears throat> okay, so the minecart... The, the ride continues. What just happened? Oh, dude, this is gonna be such a broken game. There's no way it isn't. Huh? Is it because, like, the wrong way? Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, Unibo, get over here, I think. I think we're going. We are not going. The minecart has left the tracks once more. Now we're going. Okay. I didn't even press A, but I guess... Holy shit. Wait, this is so sick. Oh my lord! This is literally the theme park ride. <laughs> um, oh, was it supposed to change the... Oh, I think I was supposed to shoot him against that. I missed. I missed. This is off the rails right now. What? The trajectory faked me there. Um. Here I go. I need to be closer. What? I can do it. This doesn't control great. It's probably my fault, but I'm still gonna blame the game. Just in time. How do you get more battery? Um, it is through something called crystallized charges. Oh my god. Um, I wonder if it's just faster to shield surf here. It probably is like a lot faster. Sure. I can do it. 
Because then you can just jump to the other tracks and you don't have to do this. Oh my god, this is crazy. What's going on? Goro. Goro. Have I hit this one yet? I don't think so, right? But I'm assuming I have to. Yeah, I definitely do. Oh, uh, haha. Hello there. There's my shrine. I'm not eating my pizza for this. All right, ice is uh, not the play here. Can I get my minecart back as well? Ow. What? Where did this rock come from again? Okay. You do the shooting. Yes, you're the bull. Holy. Actually doing something for once. Who even threw that rock? Wait, who's doing this? The, the boko from up there? Oh my lord. Nice. Bro! Oh my god, this is... You know what? Oh, oh, oh lord. I do it myself. Okay, now I just need to do this. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Oh! Here I go. <laughs> Holy! I can do it! <clears throat> I don't know if the track is correct now, though. I don't even know what my goal is. Is my goal just to get to the shrine? Oh, no. Yeah, we have to go the other way and then... Oh. And then change this one. Wait. Oh no. Actually, you know what? Good enough. Bum, 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 bum. Wait, so was this all just for this shrine, this giant cave? Geotag. I guess I'll see. If this is a blessing, then probably. <clears throat> if you can't enter the storm in the Fern area. No! Yeah, okay, it's a blessing, dude. I still absolutely love how these blessings look. It's definitely the best shrine design. But it's kind of it's kind of OP because of the background, I guess. <clears throat> no. What? I didn't know.
This is the first one of these I found. Should we have another sapphire, right? I really, I really want to try. I've never fused a diamond to one of these. I don't know if that if it has magic power imbued in it or not. But ice is broken. Try it. Okay, I'm gonna save scum it though because I'm actually saving diamonds. It always made sense to me that the diamonds would have the power of light, but the star fragments have power of light already. How do you get a diamond? Uh, I got this one, I think, from a chest, but um, you can also find it from rare ore. Just like you always used to be able to. Do you do the duplicate glitch? No, not on this playthrough. I know how it works, but I'm not doing it here. Dude, this like minecart system is wild. And actually kind of cool that a path seems to be leading down here now. That's definitely new. There seem like definitely to be there's like more roads. Okay, I will save you real quick. And see what even happens if you fuse a diamond to a magic rod. Does the diamond even have any mystical magical powers imbued in it? <laughs> It doesn't. It's just sharp. It actually looks kind of cool though. But I'm saving this one. Okay, I think it will be this one. Every hit is basically a sapphire rod. Wait, that's more broken. That allows you to do the sapphire rod attack even faster. Well, I know that's in the game now. Kinda have to update my video from today. <laughs> it's fine. I guess it will be a spoiler that this item is in the game. It's a broken freeze from the um, sapphire rod, but it comes out much, much faster. Topaz, I'll take it. Uh, thank you. Ferox. Okay, I believe that this was probably just for the shrine then. I'm sure there's also a bubble gem in here somewhere. But yeah, we gotta go up to Death Mountain. And there's mine a minecart that leads... Oh, there's a minecart that leads there from here. Okay. We just need to make it... Strong. <clears throat> I do not watch football, really, nope. Not often, sometimes, rarely. Oh no, they don't have to stay on topic. I think it's fine to talk about things unrelated to the game, as long as it's not backseating and stuff. But we can chat about anything. I'm probably gonna be chatting about the game, though. Um, okay. I need to finally finish my stamina. This is tilting me. I used to watch it quite a bit, but, um... And then I, then I found video games. Yeah, I will probably not talk about <clears throat> I will probably not talk about other stuff other than the game. Your your thinking makes sense, Jason. But uh, it's fine if people have like a chat or whatever. I might respond to something quickly and then move on. Why no magma anymore? Um it 
Well, the only reason there was magma was because of Varudania, <clears throat> right? Yo, enjoy, bro, the wild boy. Get in the game and get out of here. Explore that unknown Hyrule. Okay, wait, which one is it? It is the the one on the left. I uh, know, not left, but like down here. Unibo, get over here. <clears throat> right, right, Rodania was basically the cause of the eruptions. Oh my, dude, this is such a sick game. Just look at these concepts, these like monster caves inside. You know, caves everywhere, every well has a cave. How is this real? I've been almost playing this, oh. I've almost been playing this game for a week and I still Oh god, I still get just I still stand there in awe so many times. Okay, I want to build I want to build something here real quick. I don't think that's going to be good enough, is it? Will one fan get us up there? Oh, this is re this really is like the roller coaster. Uh, you already know, once I get the shrine, I'm going to shield serve that thing down the other way. I don't know if you blew up the rockets, they might have just timed out. Okay, a little uh, more overwhelming than I thought, but... Is the next shrine really that one up there? This, I believe, is the one, the cave that is in the trailer. What are you doing? It's my marble rock roast. No touching. Yeah, they're literally all high, but there's still some miners out there. Is that our boy from the construction company? No. But why is this guy not high? <clears throat> the old Gorons are not interested in the new Kubo, huh? Didn't you go to Death Mountain? Oh, sorry, sorry, I mistook you for someone else. Just earlier, blonde-haired Hylian like you headed off toward Death Mountain. Now I think about it, that Hylian was a woman. Um, toward that mountain, you say. Blonde haired Hylian, you say. Quite intriguing. It's the Bridge of Elden. I am doing well. I feel just like in a trailer once again. I don't know if you use, I don't know if you lose shield durability when surfing of these on these. If you don't, then that's amazing. Whoa. If you let an Octrox suck up a weapon, it repairs it for you? Really? I'm surprised I haven't heard that before, if that's true. Do I just steal that guy's treasure and move on? Maybe later. And is this track just a roundabout? 
<laughs> yeah, all shrines just seems really sick. <clears throat> I don't know if there's any shrine that would ruin it, so far I haven't found one. Like, it seems like you have to do so much cool content <gasps> to actually reach them all. And Breath of the Wild it works on rusty equipment. Haven't tried it in this game. Wow, this guy just went for it, huh? <laughs> Would the tutorial shrines really kill the momentum of the run? Um, oh, I see. I don't know. For all shrines, no, because even if it takes a long time, the run is still long enough. But um, it's only a small part. For any percent, not sure. Like again, do some of the mazes to understand. And like even some of the, the blessing shrines scheduled. Uh, yeah, all shrines seems amazing. Take the crystal connected to the beam. Okay, is it in the cave, I guess. Wait, this is literally the trailer one. This is actually the exact one from the trailer. And that's the cave one, right? That cave entrance? Well, actually, no, not sure now. It's gotta be this one. I'm, I'm gonna recreate it. it. It has to be this one because it was right next to the cave. It definitely is this one. Because it was a cave entrance here and like an Octorog here. Um, the labyrinth. The labyrinth blew my mind. Like I did not expect that. At all. Like everything. The music, what you actually had to do, what's going on, like, holy. Oh, wait, I see. I can do it. That's useful. Charge. Oh, that's actually really useful. A lot of times I feel like Here I go. you don't want to waste your... Like, maybe you can even take your to mine some Zonite later. Goro. Wow, he really died to that, huh? Is it inside a flaming talus? I believe so. I do believe so. Universe your Rivali scale? Yeah, it seems really powerful right now. And we already have Rivali scale anyway in, in, in terms You're of right rockets or whatever. What fuse material do I have that's high damage? Uh, okay. That does not do as much damage as I was hoping. I need to make some farm some choo choos or something. <laughs> I am doing it. Thank you, Unibo. Okay, hammers still do crit hits. It's working. It's working. Ow! I didn't expect the timing. Should start, I probably have to start making actually good dishes. Uh, 
Dude. Ice rods, ice spears are just insane. Oh, that's the first time I'm getting one of those. That looks sick. I wonder how the rare or Tardis one looks if that's in the game. I haven't, oh, also haven't fought an ice one. Uh, this thing is breaking. Should probably save it for the final hits, but... Less good than I thought. Never mind, it's pretty cool. <clears throat> yeah, I wish they, could, they would be pick upable too. Uh, did anyone find out as from the Masters or this? Um, my theory is that it basically only does damage to like demons or whatever, or like gloom enemies. I haven't tried it. I haven't actually tried hitting anyone with the unfused Master Sword. Maybe I think like it would be weird. Um, and that the damage depends on what you fuse to it. But I'm not sure. Like I thought it's just an unfused. But that would be weird, right? There's no way. I don't know. Yeah, definitely looks cool. <clears throat> looks cool. Anyone knows what to do on the left under tower? I'm assuming you mean this tower? Or this one here? Um, there's a book that leads you to this cave and then you'll probably figure it out. It definitely also does damage normal enemies? Okay. <clears throat> I haven't tried that yet, but that makes sense. It would be weird if it didn't. It is weird that it doesn't show a damage number. so pretty still and i've done like 70 of these yeah gliok fights are my favorite so far but again i haven't found a lionel i will continue to say this if i don't find one by the end of today's stream then it seems like i will uh, just ask you don't tell me yet again i'll give the i give it the rest of the stream <clears throat> if i don't run past one we'll talk Dude, that's such a fucking scam. I'm not gonna lie. The, the reward for all of the shrines better is good. I got a big battery for that. Okay, man. I guess I got I found a talus along the way, which is cool. The Gerudo Canyon Tower that covers left under. I don't know what you mean with left under. There's always books nearby that you have to read. I think the other Gerudo Tower you have to... Um, no, I think um, the other Gerudo Tower you have to um, build, like, like, read it. Like, if you mean the other one, this one, there's a book that says... Please, like, I'm down, like, I fell down, please, like, put the weights on or something. It'll just make sense. <clears throat> I 
like if I'm thinking about the same one, you have to attach weights to like a, um, what do you call them in English? Flaschenzug. It's the German word where you like put weights uh, on one side to carry another weight. Not sure the English word about the English word right now. Um, hide and roll. A pulley, maybe. I haven't heard that yet, but I could see that. Okay, so the shrine that I just got was on this side, but I want to find one on... I wanted to find one on the other side so I could shield serve down. Yeah, so you have to build like a pulley to get the guy up there. I know there's silver, there's white bogos now, but like I really don't care. I don't like how the horns look. I wanna, I wanna see those uh, white lasalfos. Maybe, actually, yeah, sorry, uh, Unibo. Maybe I'll just make it up there now, because that seems easiest. Am I skipping some cave with this? Yes. Will I explore it afterwards? Yes. <clears throat> but then I at least have that war point, and I can shield stuff down once for fun. I'm doing that mountain now, yes. Mm. Am I just using another rocket? Okay. I have to pull some more rockets soon anyway. Damn, I can't... Uh. I am a little scared of how good rockets are. And how that potentially means you need to get lucky to pull them. No, I've done Zora's Domain as well. Okay, whatever. Is that really became a gacha game? Yeah. I don't know if I can stand here, can I? Okay. Yeah, I, I kind of know what the uh, white, I think it's white one, right? Oh, it says silver ones as well. I'm still not sure. I still don't know if silver enemies have different horns or not. But I know I know the white Lizalfos design from the art book. That's why I want to find them. What changed your mind about stamina being good? A spoiler. So I'm not gonna say it. I will go back here eventually, but I just wanted this as a war point so I can shield surf down the rail. That mountain... Ooh, wait, I didn't know that that works. You can close your glider and keep the momentum from Tulin? Huh. Wait, how did, how did that work? Is that normal? Uh, okay, it kind of caps your speed. It still is really sick. Yeah, wow, interesting. The momentum gets preserved. T 
I really like the Tulin sound, I don't know. It was like annoying at first, but I like not annoying, it was like weird. It was like a weird sounding sound, but I quickly realized that I like it. Yeah, I, I remember having this chat in my stream um, called Only Watches Breath of the Wild. I wonder if they're gonna rename. A controlling device. Question is Okay, you can't use the sand while crouched. Some of it I forget I have a hand. Can I unstick this? Oh, but that won't work because the Wheels go the other way. Oh, 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 no. I remember this is a rune. Does this give me probably just a chest? I will take it though. Plus 10 attack up. Okay, our game is definitely starting to scale. I like it. Wait, I kind of want to try this. Is this going to mean the controls will be like inverted? <laughs> oh god. Run him over. Run him over. Is he trapped? Can he get out of there? I think he's trapped. can <clears throat> I need to eventually start taking pictures I still don't know if you can uh, eventually buy them or not Dude, these shrines are just wild There's just so much going on. Oh, was I supposed to take the control stick? I mean, maybe not supposed, but maybe that would have made it easier. I'm at probably close to 70 now, if not at 70.
Hello, shrine count. 71. Not bad. Still a lot to find, I'm sure. Okay, um, now again, I could probably just climb up there. But I feel like we're missing out on this cave. Bridge of Elden. Wait, how did I get up here? This is the mine cards. Where does the Bridge of Elden lead, actually? Oh, wait, there was a minecart track as well that went all the way up here. <clears throat> so maybe we we're actually supposed to break the gloom rock and then take the minecart up. But again, I keep saying, why do I keep saying supposed? Let me just stop saying that. Oh, shit. Okay, I get it. What? Huh? Okay. Okay, I get it. <clears throat> that is pretty good. Holy shit! Dude, they look so scary. Why is anyone coming? When Just when I thought help was finally on the way, it's a piddly Hylian. The stinking track broke and now I'm just stuck here. None of the other workers even noticed. Great, just great. At this rate, I won't be able to go buy any more marbled rock rows. This is my last one. So yeah, you gotta figure out a way to get me out of here. Why? <laughs> It's real simple, just let me know when I can get in the cart and send it flying. Done. I mean, I can't exactly ask the press himself to do it. Um, uh, that's easy enough. Well, I think I wasted my rockets, didn't I? I have one more. Okay, if this doesn't work, then I'm blaming the NPC. Try getting onto the cards. Yeah. Good luck, sir. <laughs> Wait, actually, before um, I'm assuming ah, uh, I'm assuming there's a bubble frog behind this. Yeah, that was the old minecart, the flying machine type minecarts. Oh man, I wish I could just like take these rockets. Oh, I just realized I was supposed to do that first. <laughs> Rip rockets. Dun, 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 dun. I do have to pull them eventually um, because yeah. I would like to just have like a hundred rockets. Again, I could have probably just ascended out of the cave. Maybe it would have been slightly faster. The outside, I escaped. That piece is amazing. Not bad, considering how piddly you are. Want a marbled rock rose as a reward? Nope. Oh. Just kidding. The supply is running low. It is precious to me, so I can't part with it. Instead of that, I'll give you what I picked up in the cave. Oh my god, so many of those. I guess that's good for pulling rockets. I'm not really using that to recharge my battery ever. But uh, using it to pull rockets... 
That's what it can be used for. Really? Come on. You know what I wanted to do that game. You know it. You know, get over here. Here I go. I can do it. So I think this is like the quote unquote official path. I shot him right in the dick. Holy shit. Wait, I got the loot. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Those marble rock rows, yeah, they're like infested with gloom. This is, this is uh, again from the trailer, right? Just Link was shield surfing down. It's so crazy how much more sense everything from that makes now. Yeah, I think that's exactly the spot. Oh lord. Oh lord. Oh, it's, it's fine though. Because we just use recall and then we stop recall and then we hit it again boom well, kind of do octro clean up decay weapons i uh, have heard something like that but haven't tested it yet which of your predictions are you happiest came true uh, one that I don't necessarily want to talk about, which wasn't even a story prediction. It's just something um, really cool that I unintentionally found yesterday. It has to do with what I predicted was going to be the intro of the game, which wasn't. But it's still something that you can do. I kind of like maneuvered around it. Maybe you got what I mean, though. This looks so sick. It has to do with the uh, dragons, that's all I can say. Maybe you get it then. That's all I'm gonna say. Here it is. Oh. Link over there. Oh, we got it. we're gonna jump in. What is we gonna dive in or what? Oh, is this the thing that? Oh, this is probably the thing that the development team talked about. They said there's a dungeon that you can dive in, and it triggers an event. So there's probably a way to like get enough height. Like maybe if you fly over from here and just dive into the volcano, it triggers an event if you come here without Unibo, or something like that. Now I kind of want to see that. I bet somebody made a YouTube video on this already. Oh, but you can't actually go in yet. Never mind. Never mind, you need to do some other stuff first. Huh? Maybe it's the Gerudo one then? I Not sure. It was Maybe actually here. the wind one. When I came up the mountain, <laughs> I saw her. The princess was standing right here, Goro. And then she gave me this fancy mask to wear around. After that, um... Mm -hmm. Oh, jeez. It's oh, no geez. use. I can't remember anything that happened after that. He went up to the mount to investigate the gloom. That's what... Because, you know... It started... Oh. It started like spewing is, gloom. Princess! Princess Zelda! We need to talk to you! It's... Dangerous! <laughs> Holy Oh 
also from the trailer. What? Moragia. Moragia. Are we fighting this now? I thought there's like a dungeon first. Oh. That that thing broke out the crater like it was nothing. Jesus. Is that marbled rock? Is it alive? And there's three of those things. Hang on. Those are heads. It's so big. How could something that large appear out of nowhere like that? I've never seen anything like this on Death Mountain, Goro. If we don't take that thing out, who knows what will happen to Princess Zelda. Mm. But I can't exactly charge at it from down here. Oh. Any ideas, Link? Ah. What's uh, with... Oh boy, it's real big! Oh my lord. I'm kind of confused about fighting something now. I can do it! I guess uh, the, the Zora's to main quest also had a small mini boss before we even went in there. Sure. Here I go. Dude, this is so fucking Be wild. Be careful. This is so wild. The reason of mini-boss, yeah, like a mini-mini-boss. It was like the... Oh, I got it. Nice shot. I can do it. it was the like-like, the, the sludge like-like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, this is essentially you're taking Rudania again, but like differently. Not difficult, but like, that's been true for most of these fights so far. They're not difficult, but some of them are. Like the Gleog ones, I believe. I mean, I feel like between Gleog and Frogs is so far the hardest fight I've done, like mechanically. Or maybe Phantom. Yeah. But, um, the bosses are just like, well, the water one is on. But the wind one and even this one are just like huge spectacles. I thought Princess Zelda walked off somewhere around here. Okay, oh. but how are we not like sus? Um, you don't suppose she fell into that hole, do you? Oh, I remember now. This dungeon is literally in the depths. There was a light route in the back. Oh, shit. It would be awful. Come on, Link. Let's hurry down there. Yeah. Princess Zelda, don't you worry. We're coming. Goddamn. This game makes you feel like you're Link. <laughs> this is so sick. Jesus. Yeah. Dude. What the fuck? There's so many light routes as well. Damn, okay, 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 okay. The tool and tech is pretty broken. What's these light routes? Wait, this is really called Musti's Light Route? I just like read that without even questioning it. That's kind of funny. I have a friend who's called like Mustafa, who people just call Musti. It's his Light Route. Is this the last dungeon? Not for me, no. I've only done two so far.
Light runes kind of make it ruin the point for you. Mm, I can see that as a point. Light will spell the darkness and brighten the surrounding area. But um, I feel like I still like them lighting it up, but it kind of takes the point away. I, I think I think about this differently because I know I'm going to be replaying the game from scratch many times because of speedrunning. That's so sick how it like connects to the underground and now we're literally in the depths doing the dungeon here, the other two are in the sky. I'm assuming the Gerudo one will be in the depths too now that I think about it. Well, maybe kind of? I don't know if the thing that rises out of the set, uh, that's still a whole other thing. It would make sense if two were in the depths and two on the sky. Because there's definitely nothing really flying over and there's sinkhole, so it would just make sense. Gotcha machine, maybe rockets. Maybe it's time for rockets. Okay, let's do a test pull first. Where are my charges? I feel like I don't get as many as I want. I still don't need Lionel coordinates? No, only when the stream is over. Oh, I actually like steering stick. There's still one undiscovered one. I, I, if there's one that has wings and rockets, that would be the dream. Okay, this is pods as well, whatever. Okay, so that's the Goron. So we got an underground Zora, an underground Goron, and an underground Gerudo, but also an underground... Like Ganon or like Boar Guy? Hmm. Dude, how sick are, is this armor um, underground? Not the frogs. I think I have to talk to Unibo. Are there more shrines in the Breath of the Wild? I believe so. I am not sure yet. Uh, I would be surprised if it wasn't. I, I could see it be up to 200, but 150 is probably a good guess. That's at least what I've been saying most of the time. <clears throat> Who knew it would look like this inside Death Mountain? Now that I look closer, I see a whole lot of those red rocks. Why would Princess Zelda be down here with all the marble, this marble rock roast? We're gonna hear the sage's voice. Oh, this is so sick. Wow, actually, now that I think about it, I can't believe the last trailer showed so much. It showed like so far, it showed three bosses in the main story, kind of, like it hinged towards the one that we just did. It basically showed the one in Water Temple. It showed the um the wind one is kind of nuts and show this dungeon and probably the Gerudo one as well because I haven't seen it rise out of the sand anything rise out of the sand yet I think it was coming from that way I guess it makes sense to, to, that they did that but they did hit it really well yep I've got a heaping pile of questions for her so let's hurry to where Zelda is come oh, okay I'm a little I don't know if we'll ever learn the original sages names um, because I don't think any of them had names yet. Whoa. Glue Maracuda. Looks like we're... We're cruising in, but where exactly are we cruising in? Just follow the road. Wait, I just lost. I lost. Uh, I lost the wheel. Oh, 
Adios. Ah, he's left. No! 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 I almost ran myself over. Wait, can Unibo activate the car? Man. I can't wait to be watching all sorts of like clips for this game of disasters happening to people. Okay, that should do. Here I go! So sick. Okay, this is actually a bigger camp than oh lords. Ha! Ah, this one didn't have a rock fuse to it. Oh god, oh god, oh god. I thought this had a sapphire fuse to it already. Yeah, a fire blade is probably not a great idea. This guy really has a shield and armor, huh? What's already necessary? Oh my god, let's go, boys. Oh man. Wait, I've never even heard this part of the theme. Oh my god, this this Boko is fucking rolling me. This is the first time I've seen it. This is actually the first time I've seen a horn attack. They do it. That's so cool. I don't even want to know how many times this guy hit me, but wow. Starting to feel a little weak here. Maybe I shouldn't shy away from using my good gear. Um, I don't like what I've used to it now, I'm not gonna lie. This doesn't really help here. It's 27 damage, but it's... Uh, Fire. Which is like the worst. Fuse has already been used. Oh. <laughs> Wait, that's actually so sick. I can't wait to see the line of horns. Using those to the master sword seems like a really cool idea. Again, I will find one one day. Oh god! Here I go. Oh lords, a fire, a gloom fire like like. That is absolutely awful. At least we got some Zonite. I needed that anyway. Oh, I, I keep pressing A twice. Will he finally drop a good item? These uh, like likes have not dropped good items for me. 
Strong Zonite Shield, Shield Guard up 10. I think it's fine. It's time to finally drop the Sledge Shield. I'm never breaking my shield, so... I guess uh, it's still good to have durable shields, so rockets don't destroy them as much. What is going on here? More cars. Wait, how am I supposed to get there actually? <laughs> I just went this way thinking that this is the road. I was expecting to find like a flying machine. Again, I could just make a bunch of rockets, but... Oh! Flying machine? Poke champ. Well, yeah. Good enough. What I am curious would happen... What if I do this, and then this? Oh, it would unfuse. Okay, it would unfuse the stick. What if I cancel this now? Oh, that's perfect. I still gotta get used to using auto build like smart. Right, now how do we get this started? Maybe in the lava? I don't know if it would sink. Alternatively this. Quiet. I got the right idea, but I need more height. I don't think that's how you're supposed to do it, but... Also, uh-oh. Okay, you know what? I'm just climbing. I feel like maybe I'm missing something, but... Yeah, there's no suppose. Right, right. See it, okay. It looks so sick. Like this is the shot of the trailer where I truly lost it. When they showed this location. If you go to LimQ Plus, you can still find my reaction to the trailer they did. And I saw this place, I was like, oh shit, okay, this is a different game. This is a different game. What do you think of the Zora dungeon? Um, it was very fun to move around in the area to get there. But itself, it definitely ranks... I mean, again, I've only done two. It definitely ranks under the... Okay, Unibo, he's breaking the armor. It definitely ranks under the Wind Temple. Ha <laughs> 
Yeah, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Wait, no, I don't think... Uh, maybe flu rushes are faster, but I think they still have the same amount of attacks. I counted seven there. What may have been off? I would raid the... It's kind of weird because like the wind temple itself was kind of... Uh, whatever, right? Like the temple itself. But the music, the atmosphere, the boss fight, and especially I think my favorite part about the wind temple was getting there. And the music of getting there. But I would rank that probably like um the wind temple like a nine. Uh, if the dun or like a, maybe like an 8.5 if the dungeon itself was like a little bit better and then in comparison i think the water one was like a seven yeah it's hard because so much goes into it like what i really liked about the water temple was like the lead up it was really epic and like tragic but if I was to just rank the dungeon and its mechanics itself, like let's say the late up and the dungeon itself, this other one would be like a 7, like a 6.5. The boss didn't really blow me away. Can you guys just leave me alone? Please don't drop on me. Okay, thanks. Oh, I definitely did perform the Divine Beast. It's not even close for me. Oh my lord. So is this uh, Goronia then? Or is this just a fire temple? Because apparently there's also this Goronia place. So far it would make, make sense if it's just called a fire temple, but... That's so sick. Okay, yeah. Lost Gorondia. Rediscovered. Okay, it's both. <laughs> it's not Goronia. <sighs> Is this where I heard the voice coming from? Oh, we got the choir going on. This is very Twilight Princess. Well, to be fair, there's choir and more traditions in other games. Fire Temple 1F. Ooh. What is this place and why is something like this inside that mountain? Huh? There she is again. Huh. Ah, it's Princess Zelda. Ah. Please wait, Goro, I gotta talk to you. Okay, you know, like, don't pretend you're still believing that that's her. Huh? What the? Where did she go? Goro! Charge! Oh, Lord. Huh? There's something up ahead, Goro. Wait, it isn't Zelda. Do you think Zelda is able to... Do you think Zelda would corrupt Unobo and summon giant monsters to attack us? And uh, I mean, I don't know how much else you have the story you've done, but even just in this stream, like she's just going around doing all sorts of evil stuff. Link over there. Huh? Yes, yeah, probably. It's Zelda Goro. Zelda Goro. Do you think this? Do you think this right there, Zelda? She's just chilling there. You think and like floating on the gloom. Do you think Zelda is about to turn into a giant rock? <laughs> we'll see. This is is this, is this gonna be the arena? Oh my god, that looks sick. Huh. Not good, not good. Princess Zelda is stuck inside there. We gotta hurry and help her. Huh? But how do we get in there, Goro? Ultra hand? No. 
probably these locks. Five locks. It's a bit, it's a bit laggy down here, but it still looks phenomenal. Maybe Zelda ate some of that marbled rock rose there. Yeah, they're essentially just Rudanias. Like it's the same face that Val Rud Rudania has. Rudania Gorondia. Huh? Hmm. Did you see that the gate, it moved a little just now? Goro. <laughs> His catchphrase. Hear that? There it is again. I hear it. Young little rock. Holy. The gate you must pass through is firmly locked with five padlocks. That's a Giga Goron right there. You have the power to unlock them all. Do so. Then the gate should open. I see. Oh my god, this map. Heed my words. <laughs> Lots of rails. Huh? No denying, I heard it loud and clear this time, but who could it be? And what did they mean by young little rock? Mm. They did tell us how to open the gate, so they can't be all bad, right? So all we gotta do is unlock the five locks and then we can get in there? Sounds like it, my friends. Then let us investigate. I want a Sheikah DLC would explain some of that. Yeah, that could be um, needed. Well, again, I have some hopes that there is still something. Again, maybe that's naive of me. But I'm still expecting a fifth dungeon at this point. Uh, centered around Minoru, but not sure if that's the truth, if that's gonna happen. Like, basically Minoru and maybe you take Pura there. We'll see. Uh, thank you, ghost ship. <clears throat> and maybe it's also unfair of me to expect. Also, I feel like this is the dungeon where Ascent is broken. Unless it's not. And they don't let you. chest yep. god it's gonna be so much work to get all of the light and dams but i actually am looking forward to that i do definitely want them all before i finish this playthrough that feels like something i would definitely want to do okay but i feel like shield surfing also kind of breaks this temple now that i think about it what did you do it oh Bridges? And what do these things here do? Do I hit them? They're belts. And they change the mining system. Or the minecart system. Is this one of the terminals? But it's inside lava, so we have to destroy the rock. Here I go! And then the lava will make obsidian. Ah. These jumps are kind of hard. That's much easier. What is this? Wait, what is this? Is that a level... Wait, what? Is that level 4 constructs? What is this? Walling, check that out. What is this? 
What is that thing? It looks like a gong. Or is it just a fire construct? Is it a depth construct? What is this thing? It's super tanky. Is it level 4 constructs? Oh my god, it just killed me. Wait, what is that thing? Oh my god, I need to find that out. Okay, I only had four hearts, but like... I think one of the reasons, by the way, I never eat food... ...is because uh, Breath of the Wilds taught me how to do wind bombs. Uh, taught me how to play the game with infinite fairies. Um, okay, I got an autosave right there when Unibo talked to me. Uh, because of Breath of the Wild, I'm used to thinking I have essentially infinite uh, food. This this is crazy though. I'm I want to find out what this is. Very tanky as well. It's super tanky compared to any construct I've fought so far. I did not expect that. For some reason my brain was just like level 3 has to be the highest. The implications are immense. Does this mean there's level 4 flux constructs? Does this mean there's level 4 captains? Soldier construct 4 horn. A horn embedded with a sharp disc. The disc spins mysteriously and can slice through almost anything. I was not- I did not expect that at all. Not gonna lie. That is a soldier and it's a soldier version 4. So the implications are just like, if there's soldier version 4... Oh, that's gotta look so sick on a spear. Then is there- there's gotta be captain level 4, right? Wait, where did the horn go? Oh, here. That would look really cool with the short blade as well, but look at this. 35 damage spear. <laughs> uh, actually... It resonates with attached zone devices to increase some of its attack power. Why is that only on 35 then? Oh, because it's the, now the zone spear power went up. Never mind, that makes sense. Damn. I can do it! Let's go! Be the first padlock, Link. Oh, there are four more for us to find. That's a lot. That is a lot. We got this, though, Unibo. Believe. Believe. Okay, music changing. Here I go. At least slowly but surely. I like it. That kind of, that kind of sounded like the Ganondorf theme, da, 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 which would actually make sense, um, given that uh, this is Death Mountain, and Death Mountain has always played the Ganon theme from the original Death Mountain from Zelda One. How many enemy rarities do we have until gold? So it's like red, blue, black, white, silver, gold. But I don't even know if gold <laughs> is in this game. Because gold used to be master mode only. Okay, not all of them are leveled up that much. This one was just a level 2 ver version. We don't seem to have widened this one either. We don't? I haven't taken a picture of the Boko. I thought that was just the, the white one. I have, Or was it a silver one? It gives you silver horns. So does it say silver on them? Oh, it does. 
So maybe all of them just have four levels. Including constructs. Because we just found a level four construct. I really need to find out if there's a flux construct four now. That would be wild. Please don't stop. Okay. Wait, so if I head this way... I have to head this way, but in the m middle. Wait, isn't this just... Isn't this where I just got one? Four F. God, there's so many floors. There's one on the first floor. One more up there. <laughs> what will this do? Just turn the card around. I haven't seen a um, silver boss boko either. So this would just take me... Oh no, it would take me this way. I haven't been this way. Into the next floor. No, not the next floor, but into a new location. <laughs> Hang out for a second, Unibo. I want to investigate what... Uh... Wow, that's actually kind of cool. The um, it gets frozen, but then because the fr the freeze breaks from the heat, it still counts as having hit it. Ah, no! That was definitely one of the moments of all time. Jesus! I didn't check what was there. What? I hit it twice, so I wanted to hit it again to make sure to turn back on, but I guess that's not how it works. Okay, but this is kind of where the entrance is. Was there a hydrant here? No, but that's okay. That's what we have splash fruit for. Oh wait, there was a hydrant just over here. Wait! I was... No, that's the one I just killed. Wait, that is going back to the entrance. What? I'm so confused. Maybe I should look at the map, huh? So there's one on the fourth floor. And one on the fifth. That is barely too high. There's a chest. Ten arrows. Some random weapons. So this is the minecart track I came from. And then I went over there to get the chest in one of the terminals. So now I need to go up. 
Well, there's one more someone on like the base level. I think basically there, but I don't know how to get in there. Maybe either from below with a sense. Okay, this is starting to get a bit annoying. Or... Wait, how do I jump over to the other one? Like this? Definitely not like this. Ah, oh, hello there. Okay, Link. Please. This is how we just... This is the road we just took. And then we ended up at the beginning. Oh, there's another level four. Level four, bro. They're just chilling in here. They're just having a good time. Driving around on their cards. Big. Why did I decide to get three bars of stamina? Um, what do you mean, why the hell? Is that a really bad thing to do? What is the answer was because I like it. Just curious. The real answer is because I got spoiled and then lied to. Um, I thought Simon was overrated, but somebody told me... First, somebody told me you need two bars to get the Master Sword. Then somebody told me you need three bars to get the Master Sword. Um, otherwise, it would, have probably, it would probably still have one bar of stamina. <laughs> I can do it. Oh, Lord. Oh, no. What is going on? Oh nice, I got the horn, but we're in a little bit of a pickle right now. Uh, that guy kind of tried to go on our track. <clears throat> you don't use hearts either, just don't get hit. Yeah, actually just like, don't even play the game. I think that's the best thing to do, just don't even play it. Okay, so this one just goes in a circle, right? Um, we gotta get, we gotta get up. How do we get up? This is how we get back. Okay, let's take one more ride, and then we just try to get up there. I really want to remove this card. There we go. Is a demon statue in Hatena still there or a cave? It's still there, but not in Hatena. Where did it just go? <laughs> I just sent it to somewhere. Oh god, is that is a Captain 3, I think. There's rocket capsules. Is that right? You can find capsules like that in the overworld? That's new to me. Mm, get rid of this. Pick up this. Take this. Oh, 
25, 24. But this is ugly. This is cooler. Forty four damage. So right now we're in floor three, but we gotta go to four. Does this also unlock this? No. Not quite. Where'd you find the construct for? They were just here, I guess, because my game scaled. At this point, this puts this up. This puts it to the sides. And then, okay. And this is just for these cards. I can do it. Why is he like aiming down? These go up when it's connected. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Is there a way to scale your game on purpose? Is it based on seven or hearts? No, I think it's based probably on the same XP system that before. There's basically a hidden XP system that increases depending on what you do in the game. For example, uh, beat enemies, do main dungeons. There's like a bunch of things that basically credit your XP in the background. <clears throat> Do I find the rail puzzles fun? Uh, not that fun so far. It's just basically just trial and error so far. I guess... Uh, I could also play it in a way where I just always check the map to see where I have to put the raids to go to specific locations. So my favorite. Thank you for the good luck, no. Okay, let's change this. This is where we're probably supposed to go get here. No, 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 no. Okay, I get it. So we have to turn, go up, grab the cards. There's already one on there, actually. One thing that annoys me a little bit is that Unibo always jumps on there immediately. It kind of blocks your view like a little. Okay, another construct approaching. Now floor four, there's a there's one here. So we just have to be able to get into this room, honestly. Okay. This makes water. But don't we just have to hit this gong? I can think of some ways to do that, but... Again, I like looking around for... Some of the clues that might be there, because I could already think of... A way of basically just climbing up where that hydrant is, and you can probably hit it from there. Right? Well, actually, I don't know if Unibo will get here. That's a thing. Mm. So 
Not those plates here. Maybe this is actually how he meant to do it, but I don't know if he's gonna follow on those either. That doesn't seem right. I found a clip that requires a flame pillar and you tag ragdoll into that and it clips through the wall. Sounds really interesting. Maybe you should want to join the speedrunning discord for this game because I'm still not in the speedrunning phase. Wait, can I turn this one around? No, i do this part. This guy is still driving around. From here feels weird. It should be related to the water sprout. But then I don't know if Unibo. Are we just supposed to build a bunch of these and like stack them up? Would probably work. Here I go. I'll take it. That's two out of five. This is definitely um, the most Here intricate one for sure. Let's hurry, Goro. This one just twisted. Was there anything else in floor four? No, we only have one in floor five and I think two on the base floor. So let's try up first. Mm. No, we gotta go over there. I wonder, ah, uh, there's so much I want to try. I wonder if there's a way into that arena early. I think there's gotta be also interesting. Probably some sort of mine. Also, I mean, we could probably just take the same ramp and use it here. Don't, uh, we don't need to fix something that's not broken, right? Uh oh. Hello there. Um, that's not even the opening. This is the opening. Oh, does this get me into floor one? It does. Ooh, but do I want to do this now? Probably not. <laughs> Makes sense. I just enjoy your own game too. There's lots of content on the Limcube VOD channel, basically. Wait, I wonder how I just did that. It was actually kind of good. I sent it in a spot where it made me go to floor five. Oh, oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Okay, the minecart goes. So I guess you're supposed to go there, then there, and then there. 
That is absolutely wild. But am I? Oh, that's why the rocket was here. Okay, okay, I want to do that actually. What's up, Luki? Okay, the rocket is fused really weirdly, but I hope that's not gonna really break it. It it it, it did some. Break it a little bit, I will admit. I'm in a little bit of a tough situation now. You know, in these situations, what's best is um, a good old drown warp. A new Vespa? Damn. We're gonna be cruising. Okay, I hope this won't unbalance it. It didn't on the last time. I mean, I feel like you could also just obviously fuse two rockets. But I don't think that's needed, is it? Okay, it is needed, it is needed. It is indeed needed. Oh my lord. Ah. Uh, okay. I get the message game. I get it. I really do. Have you heard of the new dupe glitches? I have. I'm trying. Well, I'm not trying. I'm just not doing them in my casual playthrough. I'm still not done and it probably won't be for like another week, even though this is the third dungeon I'm doing. This is probably the last thing I'm doing today, which means tomorrow is going to be about Korok Forest. And then I want to explore the depths much more. I haven't been to Tarrytown, I haven't been to the Spring of Courage. I haven't been to... Um, what are the other big locations? I haven't really been to Gerudo Canyon. I haven't done much at all in Hebra other than the main quests. Oh, that's not a rocket. Is this Volcano Manor? I mean, close, yeah. Basically. Why'd you do it? Okay, but what am I what what is that not what I'm supposed to do? My rocket's just Yeah, sure, it was not super even, but like Okay, at this point I am kinda curious what happens. I tried to go into this arena. Okay, they locked it up from all sides. Makes sense. Yeah. yeah, the plan was to do this in Korok Forest. Oh, Lord. Okay, we can do this. The plan was to do this in Korok Forest. <laughs> But uh, this turns out to be much bigger than I had first anticipated. This is such pain. Because I'm trying to not break it too hard. Like, I know multiple ways how I would get to the terminals already. But I'm trying to follow the, the real path a little bit. Any theory on who would be in Zelda's body? Um, well, I don't know if you want... I'm pretty sure I, I, I just know it by this point, and I feel like you should figure that out for yourself. Um, so I don't want to tell you. I don't think anyone, basically. Don't tell me what to do. I, I, like, I could also just fuse a rocket and then glide over there. I'm trying to follow the the thing that the shrine, the dungeon is telling me to do. If I want to just get there, I would fuse a rocket to my shield and then tool and glider pump over there. I'm, I'm doing I'm doing it slow. So I'm the only one who doesn't know. Uh, 
No, most people don't know because they probably haven't reached that part of the game yet. But if you play the game, you'll find out. That's what I'm saying. Okay, this is perfectly even. If this doesn't work, then the game is telling you to do two rockets, which doesn't make sense. Okay, why? Why? What? Did you see that? The rocket just left. Like the, the minecart left into the sky. I'm not fusing the rocket to my shield. I know that I can do that and it skips the puzzle. But um, I wanted to figure out what they want you to do here. Now I ran all out of rockets, so I'm not that sure. I don't know if it lets you save the game here. And if it will respawn the rockets. Hopefully not. Unle if that works... Uh, well, the capsules probably won't respawn. That would be crazy, because then you could farm rockets. Okay, yeah, it doesn't respawn the capsules, but it respawns the ones on the shelf, okay. Okay, so I have two theories. Either they want you to just use a rocket, or they want you to use uh, two rockets at both sides. Maybe they want you to use the rocket at an upwards angle. But each of them, each of this doesn't sound very intuitive. Like, uh, I'm puzzled. This is certainly not what they wanted you to do. Can you dupe capsules? No. Because you can't fuse them to your uh, arrows, unfortunately. But you can fuse uh, Zonite and then make rockets. Basically. Like if you... Uh, huh? You can do that though. You can do that though. You can dupe them. You can fuse capsules to it. Like, oh, what you mean is this. Ah, okay. That's what you mean. And then it gets back into the capsule. Right. I feel like the number one thing to do, though, if you do it slowly, would just be Zonite. Because otherwise you just sit there for 600 hours. So these two are stuck together. Right. And the card is... Oh. Is that... Oh, that's cool. No, I need to make it over... The, oops. Okay, honestly, that weapon needed to go anyway. This is a weird one. What floor am I at, am I at right now? So it's basically over me. That's where one of the terminals is. And I'm assuming I can't just ascend. It's probably too high. Again, I could use auto build, build the ascent platform, and then do it probably. Right? But um, I won't do that. You could also probably just climb there. I feel like this dungeon is very weird, like, the intended solution seem much more hidden than just, like, climb, fuse a rocket. <laughs> Duping caps is pretty inefficient. Yeah, duping large zonite charges and then pulling. Ah, uh, not zonite. That's what I was saying. Uh, what did I call it? Large um, double like capsules. Okay, see what I mean? Like I don't even know you're supposed to get here. Otherwise, what? There was this rock, so I guess I was supposed to get there from below. Wait, come here, Unibor. 
Unibow. I can break that one with um, bomb arrows. It's only with Unibow's charge. But is he stuck up there now? Oh no, there he is. No, that was just really buggy. <clears throat> it had something to do with the broken bridges, but like how? Like that bridge is like close to nowhere. And it seems like you're supposed to break this rock here. No, don't you Okay, wait. So I can do this. Here I go. Send him up there, right? And then what? And then nothing happens. <laughs> this dungeon is so weird. Well, I feel like I wouldn't complain. It just is like confusing to me because... Oh, did it spawn a balloon? Is that what it spawned? A balloon spawned from... Where, where else did that come from? Is it telling me to fuse like a balloon to my shield? What would, would even work? What would even happen? I thought it would maybe automatically fill itself up. Most normal shield. <laughs> nice try, Link. This is still the best in the inventory. I don't know where else the balloon came from. What? I said a tedge. I'm really puzzled. So I broke this and I think it spawned the balloon, but I'm not even sure. Maybe the balloon just came from somewhere else. But then what would this do for me? Tell me to climb up? That would be weird though. But it, of course it works. Or at least work on the other side. And like, what is this contraption good for? That's gotta be good for something. Oh, okay. At least that is hinting towards one thing. Oh my God, this is so laggy. Wait, which side? Okay. Stick it on here. Get in there, but I don't even know where this will take us. This will technically take us away from the puzzle I'm trying to solve. <coughs> so I need to change the shield. Performance has been um, good, mostly, honestly. Okay, and now I'm here, and there's a chest. <laughs> That's what I did this for, one chest. With a ruby. With, with no answers how to get up there. Minecart is completely broken. It seems like they really want you to break that rock from below because 
I saw that something is supposed to fall down. But I'm just struggling to understand how. The balloon spawns. I actually can't wait to see more people do this. Because again, I feel like I'm probably just gonna opt to... Maybe ascend now? Is that what the hint is? Like, there's a mouth here that looks like the thing? No, because that's not high enough. What? Wait, was this always open? I don't think it was. Was it? Maybe it was, and I'm just blind. That would be funny. Um, another chest, though. Still no real progress. Ten arrows. But there's platforms that I could attach the balloon to. Like, maybe this is just its just that simple. It's just like, yo, build a balloon, man. Because, like, I don't get... I'm not getting any other messages from the game. It gave me platforms, it gave me a balloon, it showed me the minecart tracks are broken. I mean, I'm sorry, that's just like what I'm getting. <clears throat> I can't wait to see if there's other stuff though. But I, I don't see how these these tracks are like nowhere near any other location. Also, this looks sick. A little unsatisfying, but um, I can do it. like I feel like you were maybe supposed to break that rock, and then this thing would have fallen down, and maybe you could have stuck it somewhere and ascended through it. <coughs> but I honestly have no idea. Here I go. Let's do that. Subtle music change. Um, right. Now we were already back here earlier. And I made the track go over here. Sorry, pretty song. Very dramatic. Wait, is it this simple? Oh, yeah, no, no, this was the gong. And then I, um... Opened this door. But this time there's definitely... What is this? Oh, the combat music changed too. This time there's at least definitely mine cards leading in there. There's one here. Wait, let me see this on the map. This one, it goes down into the fourth floor, which is where I'm at. The second one on the right. Not the one the construct is in. But this one seems to lead you there. It goes down first. But we gotta get into this building. Which... Holy shit, dude. Wait, we could have probably... Hmm. 
This is the building. We could have maybe made it from the the building with the chest, but I don't think it was connected. This one goes into this building above. So this is the one with the chest with the broken one. Okay, wait, so both of the ones I'm missing are on the first floor. One all the way over there, I think that's easy to access. And then this one is the one that I have to access from basically the top. It's crazy how long these tracks are as well. Stop it, Uniborn. We don't need to hit anyone. That sounded like Pokemon. It's really kind of does. Okay, this one just goes in a circle, right? <laughs> yeah, if I, if I let him go, <laughs> let him go. Uh, okay, he does eventually come back, but. Gives me a brief window. Okay, so how about this one? Can't hit that switch. Because that would go down. Oh, dude, this is breaking my brain. That switch will go down. Connecting these two cards. Reaching where I need to go. So that's basically the key. I need to find a way to hit that switch. Um, I've never tried this. But I guess that calls for a first try. That does not work, okay. Yeah, I want to see the 10 yards that beat this, but I'm, I mean, I'm sure it's possible. Again, I can, I've already, I already have like seven other ways to reach this building, but I want to follow them. I want to see what this is about. Tip. I just need to hit that switch and then I have a connection. But of course the switch is blocked and I don't think arrows make it through there. Okay, I kind of want to try this. Use it as a visual cue. That was slightly too high. This would be like the most precise shot. It would have to go over. Unless you know, there's no way you can do that, right? No, not even with the ramp. So, but I don't really see how else we get into. Okay, no, 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 there is one other way from five to four. You gotta make it to this building. Because this building also gets in there. Then we can maybe make a shortcut. Maybe that's how it's meant. <clears throat> One. Two. Three. Four. I'm on four right now. Okay, this is... This is a video game. Right, this one goes to three.
Wait, that's not even correct. No, is it? Wait, no, there's tracks above me. It's those ones. How do you get there? Again, now I'm here again. This is... Certainly something. Okay, I did this earlier. I'm just gonna do this now to at least get over there. Mission failed. This part sounds so much like Pokemon. The dun 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 dun. dun. I will say I'm kind of thankful for chat saying that I should go again. I basically want to just skip this building the uh, the thing again. The zip line. Yeah, but this is just like on its own. There is no. Wait, that's this building. No, it's uh, yeah, it says basically behind this wall, but that comes from here. Nah, I, I am glad um, that chat basically hinted me towards doing Gerudo last because I feel like if this was my last dungeon, I would be disappointed. <clears throat> it could just be because I'm stupid and I'm not getting it, but this seems just very weirdly intricate and like all of the easy solutions seem to be just there. I wonder what other people think about it. Maybe other people think this was like the best dungeon ever and they were just much smarter than me. Maybe I'm too impatient to figure out this entire, like, railway system. And others, uh, did that? Like, here, this is what I mean, right? There's, like, literally, technically, a path to go where you need to go. Or you can look at the map uh, for, like, hours to figure out how the, uh, the minecarts work. That's what bothers me. <clears throat> yeah, I wonder if this is going to be a common opinion or not. Um... Like, like I see it, right? I see the solution here was to like somehow access this card to reach this, so I can reach this card to reach the building to fall down to make it to the terminal. Like that's apparent to me. But then tracing back that card the entire time, maybe going all the way back down to hopefully build the cards correctly to reach it, seems like too much to ask if I can just literally climb the wall. But that's the thing, like, I don't even think that's necessarily hard. It's just tedious. Like, I understand what I need to do, right? Like, again, I need to find a way to access this track and then probably go all the way down and try out combinations until the track will eventually lead me here. Like, I've already, I've already arrived at the conclusion, now it's just a part of testing and figuring out which switches to it, and potentially going down again, building a minecart again, placing the minecart again, driving, oh no, I need to hit another switch, going down again, that's what I mean, right? Wait, I think I'm not e Am I even in the right spot now? Wait, there's a hole here. And a bridge. So now I have to get around. Over the bridge. In here. And now I can hit the switch. <laughs> And then what? <laughs> then I'm still not in there. It definitely looks cool. That's what I'm what I'm gonna give them. For sure.
so I have do I still have to get into this pillar here? I think I believe so. But into the fourth floor. But there's an entrance there that I couldn't reach because the bridge was broken. But there was a minecart in there too, so what is this part even good for? <laughs> Maybe this was part of the puzzle I was I already solved a different way. Oh lords. Well you know what? Um I give up. I'm solving it with gravity. I can say I already forgot how I got in there, yeah. Strong Zonite, uh, zonite Long Sword. I'm very interested in the boss though. We're literally gonna fight in the pot. Maybe this is gonna be like an Omega Talus. Like a, like a Gloom Rock Talus. I feel like that's kind of what it's shaping up to be. Oh, the music's getting faster. Scarier. Yeah, actually, I feel like so far, I can, I, I mean, we'll see. Ooh, I like that a lot. We'll see how the boss fight will change it. I like, okay. The soundtrack is uh, giving it its all right now. I was about to flame this temple and then the soundtrack is popping off. Okay. We got the Daruk theme there for a second. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Okay, okay, giving it a chance. Um. I was gonna say this is definitely was would have been my least favorite so far from the three, unless this is the most insane boss ever. Because even the build up to it felt kind of different. Like the other two had like such an epic build up where you climbed these giant stairs. Oh yeah, I think okay. So I took this path the other way around earlier, which is why that was confusing. <laughs> Okay, let's actually try to figure this one out correctly. We gotta get into this room. So, we have to go even and then switch the track. <laughs> dun -dun, dun -dun. We go down here. I think that might already be it. I think we're done with the tricky part now. Not quite, because he rolls down. We need him to fly up. Can you do it like this, Unibu? Here I go. Again, seemed a bit janky, but it definitely worked. Wait a second. They're hitting us with the... With the jazz? Wait, it's not even... Is it jazz? Yeah, kind of jazzy, right? Pretty sick. I cannot wait to listen to all of this music. Um, I can't wait to listen to all of this music later on. That's all the locks, Link. 
Holy shit. Okay, this is definitely evolved. <clears throat> this definitely evolved. In all the good ways. Yeah, but definitely the Rook's theme in there. The offbeat organ, yeah, yeah. I wasn't sure if it was an organ. It almost sounded piano esque, but more organ, yeah. I guess it's like a like a Hammond organ, not like a church organ. The music is carrying this one so far, yeah. I like how the music just stops though when you get here. All right, let's go. It, it, this, this, this already makes me nostalgic for the Wind Temple, though. The Wind Temple was so special. I feel like everything about it, like leading up to it, then like the boss fight, the music during it. Anyway, let's see this one. It opened. We gotta smash those red rocks and rescue Zelda. Rescue. He doesn't know. Okay. This is definitely a pretty cool looking arena. These reverse voices are so genius. They just always work so well to give you that like mystery feeling. Every time they they play, it's just like, oh shit. It's real. It's getting real. So clever. Absolutely wild sound and music design in this game like if this game doesn't win multiple prizes for like sound design and music holy shit especially sound design though like i don't know if there's a game board for just sound design but hajime wakai like oh my god it's literally better than i've ever heard Wait, how can we break them? I can do it. You can't shoot up there. Oh, you can? Never mind. Oh, because he like, ah, uh, because he like, yeah, like a half pipe. Where's Zelda? <clears throat> That's that is not really Zelda. Big. What is this? I, I thought it was like a crab at first. Oh! Is it? That... Oh! That gives the oh, crab oh. island a completely different so meaning. Inside the monster? The one that's up here. It's just straight up Goma. Straight up. Marbled Goma. Oh my god, okay. This is fucking sick. Sorry for the loud reaction, but this reminds me of like Shadow of the Colossus almost, like damn. Okay. Ah, great. One hit. Oh my god, what's going on? Spend to win, baby. What? Oh, the secret stone is up there. Okay. Imagine I hit that shot. Um, okay, I'm running away. I'm running away. I 
I don't know if this is what I'm supposed to do, but it works. I, I need to... After years of playing Breath of the Wild, I'm still asking that question. Like, is this what I'm supposed to do? There is no supposed to. I doubt that I have to finish it, but just... It's gotta be the way to get it down, right? I was thinking... Use recall at the blocks? Oh yeah, those ones, those ones, okay. I was gonna say, the other ones didn't make sense. That did nothing. You like the streams. I'm trying to figure out what to do about Mr. Goma. I, can do it. <clears throat> I feel like it might still be the play to recall them, but maybe you have to time it differently. Okay. That definitely exploded right in his eye. But it didn't get it down, did it? Oh, oh, okay. I'm, bl I'm, I, okay. I literally said this. Wait, where did it go? Yeah. I literally said that he's capable of doing this. Okay, he's trolling. I was trying to use um, to hit the legs, but maybe I should hit the main body. Oh, okay. That sounded like wild. Can we just wait a second here? So Melis is still there. That's what they are, the monsters are made of. But Gloom is something different. So there's two different things. Third secret stone. And another heart. I'll take that happily. Boom. What is burning right now? My weapon. Okay. <clears throat> I feel like I want to jump into it like a moon in Odyssey. Alright, Unibo. What's up, Astro? That guy's finger is massive. Oh, 
only. I've heard that voice. Are you the one who's been talking to us this whole time, Goro? Yes. Jesus. I am your ancestor from a time long past. I served the first king of Hyrule as a mighty warrior and as a sage who, like you, could command fire. Right. You fight using your body as a weapon. Impressive. You are my descendant, the pride of the Gorons. Let's go, you know, you made it. You defeated that monster, the source of those foul rocks. But it was the Demon King who summoned it. He sent that monster to keep you from obtaining the stone you just found. My secret stone. Secret stone? Demon King? Huh. So this is the first you've heard of any of this. Then listen carefully to what I have to say. Let me tell you about the imprisoning war and the duty of our people. Well, these are not the people that piloted the Divine Beasts, I'm pretty sure. Many these were the people that fought in the imprisoning war. In the Kingdom of Hyrule's earliest days. Like, look at Minoru's mask here. Sought to conquer the kingdom and kill everyone who resisted his rule. Roru, the first king of oh, it doesn't show it here. Rose up to oppose him, along with me and five other warriors. Oh no, here, here. And See, it looks like Pura's. It looks like Pura's Ro thing. Like Pura's, like stones. golden mask thing. Incredible Which is why I'm still thinking there's more. That amplified our power. I stood beside my fellow sages as the Sage of Fire, stronger than ever with my secret stone. However, we were no match for the Demon King. Right. Even my strongest blows weren't enough to break him. Rauru understood <laughs> that we couldn't overcome the Demon King. In one last brave act, our leader sacrificed himself to imprison that monster. That was the imprisoning war. Her mask looked like and an Albert Soda's Puras or Puras, if you want to put it that way, I think. They, I think they both the do, representing like the one wisdom of the, of the Sheikah. Came to me. Her visit would set the Goron's duty in stone. If we know she's literally inside the, the Pura Pet. restraining the Demon King will be undone. He will return. When that time comes, a noble swordsman named Link will oppose him. But Link will need help. Lend him your power. Your fire. The Goron's mastery of fire. This, this soundtrack is so good. In that moment, the duty of the Goron people was clear. I'd like the one that more this. to smash the Demon King. I swear <laughs> that okay. when the Demon King returns... The this will definitely be... This will definitely be again. quoted differently. <clears throat> the Goron Sage and the Goron people will fight alongside your swordsmen. Very nice. And that's what you need to know about the imprisoning war and of our people's duty. You saved Goron City, but the Demon King is still out there. Yonobo, Little Rock, take up my secret stone Are we... and honor the pledge I made to the Sage of Time. Do we think this is the spirit realm right now they're in? Fight alongside the swordsman. Or just like some... Some like parallel universe. I'd say so, right? Like that's probably what the Zen God meant the entire time. So it's my duty to help you fight? <clears> hmm... <throat> And he wants me to inherit this? Really? You can do it, you know. I don't know if I'm nearly as great as my ancestor was. 
But then, if I don't help out, I'd be letting everyone else down. Oh, that's cute. There's no way I'll let that happen. I can do this. Okay. I am the Sage of Fire. I've got an awesome new power, Goro. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, you know what's why I killed it there? Tulin's one the two though during the scene. Link, hold out your fist. The power of friendship, baby, one more time. Hmm. You can count on well, the same. And then again fire. later. I'll fight by your side till the very end. And take this. <laughs> it's proof of Oh, that song is sick. Yeah, linking hands. Oh, I love that I have this armor on during this, actually. How sick does that look? Wait! Of course there's a fifth dungeon! Why did it take me so long to realize that Link has five fingers? Oh man. You'll be able to call on my power anytime, Goro. I promise. I'll be strong enough to fight beside you, no matter what happens. Okay, let's head back. Wow. Okay, yeah, maybe not, but like that would be weird at this point. There has to be a, a shadow sage. We have five fingers. We'll see. But I, 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 okay, more, more is hinting towards this now. I, how, how I did not make that connection before? I wonder. <clears throat> oh, they sell diamonds here. Oh, that's big. I think I saw, just saw diamonds. Didn't I just see diamonds? I thought it was a table with three diamonds. It took me only 50 hours to realize that I think it's five fingers. Oh, no longer high. <laughs> nice. Ah, we're back, baby. Oh, I see it. I see it. I'm kind of broke, though, so I don't know if I can purchase them. I'm sure they're going to be more than 500. But I need only one more to get the lights to get tried, which I really want. I can hardly believe you're making me worry like that. I ought to... Please don't be mad at Prince President Unibo. I was going to say Princess Unibo again. <clears throat> it's okay. Slow ago, I'm, I'm the one who made such a mess of things, after all. If I had just been more careful. <laughs> you said you'd put Goron City back to normal, and you did. This is true. <gasps> you're the hero of Goron City. You were, uh, you were when you made Uniboko, and you are still now. <sighs> I thank you, Goro. Oh. And we have uh, to thank you too, Link. You got rid of the marbled rock roast, and smiles are coming back to Goron City. I keep imagining what might have happened if you hadn't broken that mask. <sighs> no, can't even think about it. Princess Zelda wasn't angry we ruined the mask, was she? Actually, we weren't able to catch up with her. It was also strange. Now that I think about it, it seemed like she was walking toward the giant monster by choice. <clears throat> After that, we didn't see her again. Aww. President Yunobu. Do you think... Well, one thing that I think is strange is like there's like moments like this in the game, right? Where it's like... Um, it feels like it's made for 10-year-olds, where it's like... 
they, they hint towards the same thing 20 times. <clears throat> but then they also have like some time travel shenanigans going on and some like super in-depth lore at the same time. Do you think that maybe Princess Zelda is one of the bad guys? Huh? What do you mean? Ah. Like maybe the giant monster was pretending to be Princess Zelda. Okay, okay, pretty direct hints huh? here. No way! Oh. Hang on. Come to think of it, the person of uh, my ancestor referred to as the Sage of Time, she said she wanted to help the Swordsman Link. Now that I think about it, that was definitely Princess Zelda. Mm. I don't know why or how she was there in the past, oh. but whatever the case is, that means Princess the Princess Zelda we saw was an imposter. And that imposter is making a bad name for our Princess Zelda. That's no good. Yep. Um, we've got to find him in Pamelum Goro. I'll ask my guys at Unibuco to search the area around the city for any leads on the princess. Oh. Even if you're not here with me, we'll still be connected, Link. Ooh. You can count on me. <clears throat> the Vow of Unibu, uh, Sage of Fire. Proof of the Vow of Unibu, Sage of Fire. Use it to summon or dismiss the Avatar of Unibu. The enthusiasm's great and all, but let's go digging up more. Let's not go digging up more weird rocks. You got that princess, uh, President Unibo. I keep saying princess because there's so many princesses. Well, there's only one, but like, there's an imposter and like a real one and... I uh, just came back. How do you find a dungeon? Favorite one so far? No. Probably least favorite one, honestly. Um, again, I'm interested to see if that's a hot take or not. I heard some people say they also didn't like it that much. Boss fight? Maybe the coolest one, actually. It's between that one and uh, the Wind Temple one. The dungeon itself, meh. It's weird. It's like really mixed. Like so many things about it were good again. Like the minecart ride, jumping into the volcano, the boss up there. Like so much was really good. But yeah, the, the, the dungeon itself, the rails were like kind of kind of uh, confusing. So much do you charge is 1k. I have literally one rupee. I'm broke. I'm broke. How do I make a thousand? I'm not using the dupe glitch. Don't even, don't even say it. Um, pizza sells for 16 rubies. Rupees? Yeah. So I guess fair. I'm currently not using toll passes. <clears throat> and the star fragment is cool as it is. I'm, I'm getting this sept. I'm getting this thing now. I'm getting the, the scale, the light scale trident. That's the goal. Even if this diamond is overpriced, which it most certainly is, I just wanted. <clears throat> how to how do rupees convert to euro? That's a good question. Damn, these are worth quite a bit, but I definitely want to use them. Wait, huh? Maybe the Thunder Gleogs are supposed to be the hardest ones? I don't know, but this one is worth, worth 150. And the other one is worth 70. Yeah, so by value here would be good, true. I feel like, or even by like amount, I feel like I don't even know what I have a lot of. It can be kind of hard to see. Eight of those. I haven't fused this to anything yet. Have any has anyone fused this to anything? Are these things useful? Ooh. Five rupees for flint. Did I know this is quest for flint? But I have to do eventually. Ah. <laughs> Thirty-eight for the Gleorg wings. That's not bad, actually. Yeah, but it's bad, I see. Alright, let me get this. 
I'm at three diamonds now. I'm gonna get this, the, the, the trident. I just need a Zora spear, which I can probably find somewhere in the domain. And then this guy here probably has a quest now for the boulder breaker. Because Fugo is back to normal. Right. Please let me try making the boulder breaker again, Master Rohan. You've got some gold kit after you. Uh, you up and left the workshop in the middle of training for some marble rock roast. I'm done with you. I've got no excuses. But I still need to put the finishing touches on that boulder breaker first. Please let me prove myself. If it's uh, still no good, then you can be done with me. Well, you've got your enthusiasm, but that counts for something. But without materials, how do you intend to do this? You need to. You need. You need a cobble crusher, five pieces of flint, and three diamonds to complete it. Right. I don't have a cobble crusher anyway. Um. There's probably more quests here, but for now we are going to. Zora's domain and try and find a trident. I have, I was so confused there. I was trying to port there and that name didn't seem familiar because I was going to warp to Nizioma, which is the shrine in Zora's domain in Breath of the Wild. But of course it's not there. The cheapest diamond with a decent size is about 2,700. So one rupee is like three euros. Let's go with that. Also, my, my tricks video for Tears of the Kingdom has 70k views. What the hell? I uploaded it like eight hours ago. <clears throat> now, um, if you guys would also subscribe, I would really appreciate it because we're getting closer and closer. Uh, 1,200 subs away from 100k. Thank you very much. Um... I need any Zora spear, if I remember correctly, but let me double check the quest. She requires... Uh, and a Zora spear. Uh, I bet the light scale, the, like the ceremonial trident, is probably not in the same spot anymore, is it? Wow, this, this feels like... I'm playing Breath of the Wild right now because it's raining in Zora's domain. Too nice. <laughs> Hello. There used to be chests at the edge of this. Um, again, like, I'm using my Breath of the Wild knowledge too much, I think. Because usually that was not the case. Like, usually whenever there was something somewhere, it's no longer there. You know what I mean? Like, Koroks are no longer where Koroks are. Chests are no longer where chests are. Shrines are mostly no longer where shrines are, with some exceptions. Wait, do I maybe have a Zora Spear fused to something? I... Don't. Let's maybe port up here. We get a better overview from here. Yo, thank you for the sub, Hot Mintons. This is, yeah, this is still my favorite every in the game. Um, Hmm? Oh, why is it not activated yet? Oh, because I was in the village before. Unibos has granted you the power to summon this avatar. It's a chunky boy. I will say I will probably only have Tulin activated. Unless I'm either in a cave, which is when I'm activating um, the guy. You know, sorry, I will only have Tulin activated, but if I'm in a cave, then maybe I'll activate um, Unabo. And Sidon has been the most overwhelming in terms of powers.
This right now is my favorite armor. Um, not the the leg wear that I have on, but this. An ancient Arovana in here. There's the waterworks, the Zora waterworks. There might be some weapons in there, and we could also go up. I don't remember seeing many Zora weapons there. East Reservoir Lake. Again, if you're not sure what I'm doing, I'm looking for is any Zora spear, essentially. Badge. I feel like sleeping it would be like horrible <laughs> in this specific bed. Wouldn't the, the blanket literally be wet? When the glow of the Holy shit, the every time. Upon the land. My god. Voked. Wait, that's new? Is it? I think so, right? I don't remember seeing that animation before. It's very late, I'm still streaming. Yeah, I want to make the light scale trident and then probably go to uh, pull some rockets and then go towards Korok Forest, which is when I'm stopping. Um... I wanted to go to Korok Forest today, but it took much longer than I thought. Uh, okay, this person has a Zora Spear, but probably not for me. The only Zora Spear I think I got so far, villains. Link, thank you for saving the domain once again. I could never repay you for all that you've done for us. But these villains keep showing up. <coughs> They're monsters. They built a fort east reservoir lake in the north of Jabridge. Didn't I kill those? They're taking advantage of the cows, I was... Yeah, yeah, I killed those. Oh. <laughs> I defeated them. Oh. What? So I guess that means you did all that on your own. Oh. oh, is this again something where I was supposed to, like, recruit people and fight them together, but I just killed them? <clears throat> if you know what endgame is for, it's on tune this morning. I mean, I was planning to today, but uh, the last time... <laughs> The last time, I, I can say it now because I have the master sword now, but the last time I tuned to the small end stream, um, which is actually crazy, because the last time I tuned to the small end stream, I saw him get the master sword, but I didn't see where he got it, because it was the shot where it was like a close-up, so I still ha I still found that out on my own, but I could have definitely been hard spoiled there, um, but that's just, that's what you gotta risk if you tune into the streams of this game, it's just what it is. We assembled our troops and prepared all night, yet you did this alone. That truly is humorous. Oh. But I suppose that is that. It's such a relief that the domain is safe once more. Please allow me to thank you. Huh. Um, this was our war fund for stra- Really? <laughs> 100 rupees and that's that. I was hoping that I would maybe get a Zora spear, please. But there is no way that they wanted me to like, get a whole crew together to defeat these people, to then get 100 rupees. Well, to be fair, I guess it's questionable if 100 rupees is better or a Zora weapon. I guess most people would be more disappointed by a Zora weapon. But that's just what I need right now. Oh, wait. Oh, I think I know what I might have to do. To get one because i think i got like full versions of the weapons in the depths this is the last thing i'm doing today i'm getting the spear and then repairing it I'm not fighting this thunder gliog that's somewhere here. There. Holy shit. Definitely the coolest mini boss that I've found so far. 
But I feel like I've probably seen all of the mini bosses at this point other than Lionel's, which I don't I still don't know if they're mini bosses or not. <clears throat> like if they if they have health bars like mini bosses or not, I would assume they don't. Because that's like their kind their whole like gimmick. Okay, there's already some weapons. Is that just gonna be it like this? No. That's a normal spear. I fought uh, one fire, one shock Leog. Like, I defeated one fire, one shock Leog. Oh, damn. Oh, what? Where am I? I'm still excited to explore this place. I'm kind of actually happy now that it's shaping up that this is like... Um... Kind of like the last thing I'm doing, it seems. Like... I have a lot of stuff to look forward to in the depths, is basically what I'm trying to say. The light will dispel the darkness and brighten the surrounding area. Yeah, it looks like there's a lift. That is not a Zora weapon. What is this place? How do we call this place, game? Ancient underground fortress. So there's even a reflection of... Uh, What? Trousers of Twilight? Legends say these trousers were once worn by a hero who battled. So those are not in Amiibo. But they're just... Obtainable like that. But that's weird because I got the... Okay, so maybe the armor is in the depths now. The amiibo armor, because I got the Sea Breeze Boomerang from the Wind Waker amiibo earlier, so it seems like there's still this unique weapons uh, locked behind the amiibo. But that's sick, the Twilight armor in general was one of my favorites. It, it's not as cool as the one I have on now, though. <clears throat> also, I don't know if there's more to this structure. I feel like there's gotta be. Um, either like some sort of cave or you, you can go into it in some... Oh god, there it is. I see the blue pea. <laughs> I'm not going in there, I just want to uh, discover the entrance or whatever. Right. Of course there's... Wait, it's not even running to that cave, it's running somewhere else. A color citadel ruins cave. And where is this blue bee running? Wait, no, maybe it was running to this cave. Yeah, I I got I got that one earlier. The big head. I'm just diving in here, but this time I'm going towards Zora's domain, so. I think, yeah, there, this is where the map transitions. <laughs> this is such a wild map. I love the entering depth sound too. By the way, so many people under this video already commented that they still like using arrows with uh, with bright bloom seeds, and I don't really get it. Like, why do you wanna? I don't really understand why you wanna illuminate something that far out. I just throw them in front of me. 
Okay, that makes it more interesting. And I save arrows. That's probably why I have 250 arrows. <clears throat> so I'm basically almost under the domain. Does the bright light elixir do anything in the dark? I think it literally just makes you glow. I need to finally use puff shrooms. I'm sleeping on those for sure. No doubts. Did the minus game make you glow too? It does, yeah. Yeah. Wow, now we have a glowing balloon. That's pretty cool. What I actually am wondering is, is there a way to see the coordinates of something on the map other than teleporting there? I don't think so, right? That would actually be pretty useful because then I would know... No. Then I would know um, which light routes are like pretty high up, which probably would make exploring other light routes easier. Crazy. Wait, so can you just not? Is the height difference in the depth really that wild? Like, is there gonna be something on top of here? Or are we just leaving the. Okay, now there's a ceiling. Wait, so is there no Zora's domain version of the depths? certainly see something now. Something that's looking like a flux construct? No, it's not. Wait, what? It's a sludge enemy? Is it like the boss fight from the water temple, essentially? Is it like a boss refight? Or what? We nudge light root. Right. That's a big one. <clears throat> so, what is this gonna be like? But this is not where we fought it. But there's something on the sky here. Kind of mirroring this. <gasps> there's a Zora Spear. Okay, two. This is exactly the reason I came here. There's a chest here. Corrupted or like blocked by gloom. <laughs> so 
Okay. Oops. Oh wow, that's tanky. Is this like a harder version of the boss fight? But is this gonna be like that for every boss? Oh, that's wrong. I haven't even seen that attack. I didn't even see that attack during the, f the first time. <laughs> Actually, I guess I should get my boys here. It's just more DPS. It's still very easy if you have like something like an opal rods, but it just has more HP it seems. I hope there's a Colgara version of this, even though it probably isn't. Bro, bro, chill, chill, chill. Music is great, damn. Stop! Jesus, stop! I'm missing a tech up. This guy has to have 2000 HP or something. No, let's go. The first view is really epic. There's at least 2000 HP, I'd say. Well, actually, then again. Um, maybe not. Watch this be a, a like a light elixir. Oh, Octorok Eyeball. This uh, can only be obtained from an Octorok type enemy. Its nature is to focus on a moving object. Right. Attach it to an arrow to grant a homing quality to the arrow. So they do that too. It's going to be mm, from Octorok type enemy. It's too acidic for cooking, but it's highly valued for elixirs. 
This is this is gonna be an opal, yeah. No, surely this has to be something great. Okay, okay, that's pretty good. Um, that is not bad at all. I won't complain. That's a full battery upgrade, essentially. I have so much to do down here. Oh my god. <clears throat> anyway. Well, it's not really fair, my name here. I play this game. I've played this game like basically 10 hours every day since release. Not a lot of people get to do that. But yeah, the Gleog fights are uh, still my favorite, probably, fight. Yeah, it's unfair because Colgara's music is, like, even better, but... In my opinion. Um, mm, here. The light scale trident. Yeah. I want this. I wonder if it has the if it has the water warrior or whatever modifier, then my god. Entrusting it to you. It does. A spear of peerless grace cherished by the Zora Champion Mifa. Although Mifa specialized in healing abilities, her spearmanship was uh, in a class of its own. If it becomes broken or lost, if it has otherwise disappeared from this world, I will remake it for you. So that's 44 base damage because it's raining. Um, but this still doubles with, with with a fusion, right? I'm not gonna fuse anything to this yet because I don't have something that I want. Um, maybe once I fight an Ice Gliok, that's something I would be interested in fusing to it. <clears throat> Although I could just fight... I could just fuse it with a Thunder Gliok on. To make a Lightning Spear. Because I already have a bunch of weapons, honestly. A bunch of ice weapons, like the sapphire rods. <laughs> right, this is what I mean. Those modifiers scale pretty well. And, yeah. This is definitely not the strongest fusion that you could make. Okay. Um, well, one last thing I think that I want to do today, because we keep wrapping it up, we, we keep jumping around, is I want to go here, because with how much I've heard about this, I'm pretty sure that's where I find what I've been looking for. Strongest fusion weapon right now is a tree branch and a tree branch. I can see that, yeah. But now, how do I get there quickly? Should I have went to the mine? Because I could have flown from there. Eh. Eh. <clears throat> Is that all too steep? Surely here, right? Oh, I saw it. I saw it. <laughs> I did not go to Terrytown. No, I see. I saw they have a roller coaster now, and that's still not gonna be for. Oh, hello there. That's still probably not gonna happen for a little bit. Um. Oh, is that it? Is that building it? No. Um, because I my goal is to, tomorrow is gonna be to go to Korok Forest, and then do some more exploration. And maybe slowly move into Gerudo area, but I don't know if I'll beat it yet. Or oh, if I go there yet, per se. Okay, it seems to be this, essentially. Okay. 
Can we just say our highest fusion damage we managed to achieve uh, on a weapon is it too spoilery? Um, I mean, honestly, sure. At this point. Because I wouldn't even be surprised if it's 1000, like some weird corruption of modifiers. There's probably some more glitchy things <clears throat> happening there. Wait. How do I get. Oh, that's not it. Oh, it's there. It's like. Is this water? Yeah. Good. Okay. Floating? It's floating? Oh, it's up here. Hello? Hello? Oh lord. <clears throat> Thank you for the 1000 bits aired, holy. There's a chest. But it can't be that easy. <gasps> No, never mind. I thought it was something there. Wait, is this gonna be like an actual Colosseum fight? There's like doors. Oh shit. Oh, that's how we're starting. This is how we're starting. Okay, still can jump over them with the... Uh... Okay, so that technically still works. Yeah, dude, there's no way that the Flurry Rush timing has not changed. It definitely has. Oh lord. Like that was literally so late. Okay, that was one. And they're all gloom and thing. They're all Lionels! Lionel Mace Horn. A hard curved Lionel Horn. It isn't fully grown, but it can be attached to a weapon to increase its attack power. Cooked with a critter to make an elixir. Lionel Saber Horn. Okay, we saw that already. Lionel Hoof 20. Oh lord, oh lord. I have an attack up. Oh, plus one attack. Oh god, oh my... Oh my lord. I have like no good weapons here. I mean, I do have this one, but like... I'm not even holding a shield, you can't even straight them anymore, you have to run them, okay? Okay, is that a new attack? I feel like it's been a while that I haven't fought Lionels with just without just um doing the same thing all over again, there's a horn attack.
Okay, but there should have been a full rush, no? That is bullshit. I haven't even tried the, the stun block, but I'm sure it doesn't work anymore. I just want to see if it still works, but there's no way, right? Of course not. Like the uh... oh my god, okay, Tulin. So, is this just gonna be a Lionel rush? Four Gloom Lionels, red to silver, or what? That's absolutely wild. They actually made a pantheon essentially. Not quiet, but like, you get what I mean? <laughs> and now what? I don't have any gloom. Like, anti-gloom stuff. Okay, I wanna see... Oh, no, 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 chill. Before this guy kills me? Oh, no. Wait, excuse me? Okay, there's a white main and a silver main one again. Blue mains, this is already the highest fuse power thing I've ever had. The sharp blade like horn of a blue main line will attach it to a weapon power, increase its attack power. Okay. Main mace horn. I mean, I'm done, so. This guy's endless look insane. <laughs> My bow is pretty shit for this. Was coming too. I knew it was gonna be the horn attack. Okay, I think we can at least make it past this guy, but I would need to trade in all my weapons. I feel like I should prop. Can you do um, travel medallion underground? I'm gonna beat these guys some more, like all of them, but I need to. Wait, it saves. Oh, what? So I can just leave after I have two horns or what? I don't want that though. I want to beat them all at once. I actually don't want this. Okay, this save here. Yeah, I'm going to save. Th I'm going to load this and I'm going to prepare tomorrow. Um with attack up and like other weapons that are not the trident I just made for three diamonds. So there's probably, okay, yeah, right, that makes sense. Okay, perfect. Um, so normal blue, uh, white, silver. And the white one had the antlers. So the silver one has to be the one with the, like the giga sword from the trailer. I, uh, I found one barbarian piece, but I'm probably just going to cook something. 
that's not what I will start with. We finally fought a Lionel. I've seen some of the horns. Um, I will beat them tomorrow. That's for sure on the agenda. But I want to go into Korok Forest first. That's where I'm going to start tomorrow with. I'm, I'm done now. I'm sorry. I, I just... Um, I, 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 I streamed for like nine hours. Um, sorry for the bait. But uh, yeah, so tomorrow Korok Forest finally um, explore there. There's also oh I didn't even think about this. There's also got okay I, I didn't even think about this until I just saw this Melam Melis cousin. But I'm assuming there's an underground Korok Forest um, that I need to check out. <clears throat> what time would I start? I don't have any plans tomorrow, right? Yeah, probably like 10 or 11. I've been to Type of the Ruins, yeah. Um, Korok Forest, Underground Korok Forest. Beat the Lionels and then maybe head towards Gerudo. I gotta know how you predicted it would be called Gloom. That's Crystal Ball type prediction. Really? I feel like that's one of the least impressive predictions I've made. Um... It's mainly because it's visually different from Malice, right? The entire se the entire game seems to be like centered around light and dark. Um, they talked about the mysterious gloom that has showed up in the world um, that they need to investigate. They've never said the name Malice. I feel like that was more like putting one and two together. Um, I wasn't I wasn't completely sure about it. I was sure there was at least a gloom debuff because we saw at this point when I made this prediction, we saw the sun the lion, right? Like I already knew that there's something called in the game like soaked in sunlight it petals can restore health depleted by gloom. Um but that that's actually the red stuff I was kind of like putting things together. Um, what did you do in Type of the Ruins? Basically nothing. Um, I just came here. Oh no, now you piqued my interest. Now you piqued my interest. I, I, I shouldn't go here. Wait, no, that's level 3. But there's also level 4 running around. I wanted to do this when I first came here, but I didn't. <gasps> no, okay. I keep thinking I'm seeing level 4 captains, but I'm not. Oh, my game world has definitely scaled. Hmm. Never mind. Because this used to be in the dark, right? And this was six dragons surrounding a luminous stone. Which always uh, was super interesting when thinking about this game. Where is Dinra going? Well, you, you can guess where Dinra is going. I haven't done the shrine up there. there it's, it's like... It, it, it will surprise me for weeks to come how much there is. Soldier. Uh, yeah, but let's not mess around too much. Uh, again, the plan stands for tomorrow. Korok Forest. Whatever is under Korok Forest. And last but not least... Uh, the line of the Colosseum and then maybe heading towards Gerudo. That's tomorrow at around 10 or 11, probably gonna be live for 10 to 12 hours again. Until I beat this game, um, which is shaping up to be probably um, towards the end of the week. Right, wait, what day is it today? Tuesday. Yeah, probably towards the end of the week I will probably arrive at the main story ending, but my casual playthrough will continue until I've at least gotten all of the shrines Maybe even all of the quests, or at least probably all of the quests, honestly. Um, not all of the Koroks. Um, I probably want all of the light routes. 
Um, yeah, I probably want all the light routes, probably all of the quests, probably all of the shrines. Um, and then I think I'm ready to move on to speedrunning. But yeah, for now, thank you for watching. And I will see you once again tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your days.